things here. Oh god, why is the encoding overloaded already? We just got started. I just got here. Is my microphone still working? It is good. Hello, hello. Wait, oh, let me just do that. There we go. I think I'm in all sorts of good positions. Uh, let's see. Red is very excited. We put it off for hot, <gasps> hot damn. It's overloaded because you're not playing FFX. That is mostly true. Probably. Also, it's, it's probably overloaded because I forgot to uh, run something super quick. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. But that's awesome. Okay, so first off, when you say we, who all is included? Or are you using the royal we? Uh, there should not be two instances of this program. That's probably the start of my problems. Start my problems number two. Okay, that's set to high, and that's set to high. That's awesome. That's really good. I'm glad to hear that, man. But like, who, who all is included? Is it just you? Or are you saying in uh, Cali? Obviously, I don't want you to give out your personal information. Okay, okay. But, um, yeah. Obviously, I don't want you to give out your personal information if you don't want to, but are you, like, staying in California? Or are you moving out? Are you moving to the Bible Belt? The only good part of America? Damn it. Max, you're biased. Fuck yeah, I'm biased. <laughs> it's a three bed, two bath, and garage. It's faux, so it could be a four. It's faux? So, like, it can't actually store a car? Or, like, what do you mean? Like, is it still insulated? Nope, staying in NorCal, uh, far NorCal, where there's still trees. Fuck yeah, that's a lot better than the city. Did I drink my drunk? Garage door is fake, so it's a storage room, or it could be a better. Eh, that's kind of. You guys hear this, by the way? I'm lazy. I don't feel like doing a sound test because... Nah, I should do a sound test. It's Friday. You know how it is. Hold on. I gotta go. Down, up, down, up. Alright, that seems pretty good. Uh, let's begin. Yep, alright. There we go. As I fix my headset. Yeah, it is, it is it is a little laggy, weirdly enough, but we'll make it work. I love that every now and then the Metroid just goes like, wah, wah. Oh god, I don't remember how to play. Also, are these graphics about the same as they were before? Hang on, while you're, while you're telling me this story, let me, I want to fiddle with something super quick. Yeah, while you're telling me about this. Okay, so... She's putting me in charge of renting out a room until she's ready to move in after we fix it up if they take our offer. Uh, like, okay, I understand why she says that. That's a perfectly reasonable thing. Part of me, and I know, like, I know you've been telling stories about how, like, this is just what you've been doing. But, um, part of me still cannot imagine renting out. I'm so you guys see that? Oh, does it think I'm three? Uh, oh, 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 god! I for ah, fuck! I always forget. Like, if you turn the 3D on to max on the 3DS, like, oh god, this is actually hurting. Okay, well, let's let's just turn this down to like the lowest setting. That makes it look reasonable. But like you turn on, but it actually hurts my eyes to look at it. Oh god, I forgot about that. And like when I was little, I um, I like all kids who had a 3DS was fucking stubborn. So I would like just turn that shit on to maximum and leave it. Oh no, valid data. Then I would give myself splitting ass migraines, and I'd be like, why? Why do I have this splitting ass migraine? Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I still can't imagine just renting it out to someone. Like that's so much trust. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing to like, maybe this is just me. It's it's one thing to be like, hey, I have a apartment in this town or wherever. I would like to rent it out to you. I would like to rent it out to you. Here it is. But to like be in the same house, like like they could stab you. I'm very impressed that you would you you have faith like that. What the fuck is that? There? 
I don't remember how to play this guy. I got me. Uh, what the what the fuck is that thing? Uh. 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 Okay. Oh, mate. Oh, I bet that's like the super dash or something. Like, yeah, I, I bet. I bet I need to like. Yeah, I bet I need to like sprint through this. Uh, could even convert the laundry room so it's completely cut off. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't know like the layout, but like you just saying that, I can imagine it. But still, that's awesome. Like, what is the uh? Because I'll be honest, the pictures you sent of the winery or the the vineyard looked very nice. But like, is that guy cool with it? He was pretty understanding of you know, this is all this is ever only a temporary ordeal. I imagine he'd be pretty cool about it. He's still an improvement over the uh, the first guy you're talking about, who sounded like oh wait how do you oh yeah that's how you do that who just sounded like hell on earth. But I should actually give a proper introduction because I got distracted talking. Hello, everyone. My name is Max. Also known as like Joe. Oh, oh, I've, oh! Yeah, you probably mentioned that. I forgot. I apologize. Gotta wait for him to get up. He is shy, little bastard. Look at him. He's so ow. But uh, hello, everyone. My name is Max. Also known as like Joe. Welcome back to Samus Returns. Is he dead? That's unfortunate. Welcome back to Samus Returns. On the last episode, we got what I estimated to be roughly halfway through the game. And basically, this is a remake of the second Samus game that was on the Game Boy, I believe. And, um, but it's on the 3DS. And... Shit, we're literally starting the episode with me not quite knowing where to go. So that's an unfortunate lack of planning. If I gotta be completely honest. But still, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, man. Including with Redwrist is good news. I hope everyone has had a good week. I, yesterday, was the epitome of... I don't use this phrase often. And whenever I do, Megan gives me a weird look. Of, um... Head empty. No, boobs big, head empty. I was completely brain dead. This is why you watch the last 30 minutes of your VOD. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What do you mean this is why I watch the last 30 minutes of my VOD? Did you mention it then? I, did I totally miss it? Alright, um... Oh, wait, oh, you mean to, like, know where to go next. Well, I mean, I got my map here. I think if I head to the left... Man, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I set my, I stayed up till three on it. I stayed up till three a.m. on accident last night, like a genius, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason kind of goes without talking about being brain dead. Um, so yesterday, all I did was I built magic decks, and I'm working on four for Magic the Gathering. And um, I think I mentioned this before, but I recently built. Oh yeah. Oh 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 shit. There's more down here. Um, what was it? I recently built a werewolf deck, a Dalek deck, which uh, my friend Ethan was helping me out with because I was, like, getting stuck on cards because I was trying to, like, cut down cards. And I was having a real hard time with it. Um, yeah, a werewolf deck, a Dalek deck, a Hell Freezing Over deck. Uh, what, what else? What else? What else? A gambling deck. And... I got the dinosaur one in the Mothman recently. Oh, a pirate horror deck. I've been up since three because I'm I'm anxious over if they accept the offer or not. Understandable, I would say. What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck is this thing? Why is this a... Is this like a... Is this like a bomb? Is this like a... Okay, well, I'm guessing, yeah, okay, 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 so this direction ain't it either, that's understandable, yeah, yeah, I stayed up real late, and then I played, I played Magic with Ethan until fairly late into the night, 
and I may have pissed him off on accident, but that's fine. And um, essentially, the decks he were playing, he was playing, and he wanted to test out were. Um, so when I play Magic, I normally play blue, black, green, which are all very slow. It's very trickery based. It's not. Green is the closest to being rampy, but I'm not necessarily the most aggressive player. Uh, I was playing the werewolf deck, and it is green red, so it is extremely rampy and extremely aggressive. He was playing slower pace decks, and um, I know everyone's like, who the fuck cares, but hear me out. Uh, so, the way I built the werewolves are, is basically that... Oh, the way I built the werewolf deck is basically that uh, it's very bad at solving problems except to just pick fist fights. Literally have two creatures fight each other. And um, he was playing a squirrel deck, which is all about making swarms. And he made sw he made squirrels. And I was like, well, I know how this could escalate out of control. There's only one thing for me to do. And I just want you to imagine a werewolf putting on its boxing gloves and fist fighting a squirrel repeatedly because that is all I did so because of that I like essentially never let him set up and I never let him set up his combo so I feel kind of bad and like he kept getting bad card draws and stuff but I was I was up way too late doing that and then I got distracted with Okay, so we, we talked about this before, and I think, um, Red, I think you played it. You were talking about how you really liked it. Uh, you know Vampire Survivors, right? I forget if this game came out later or where it was on the timeline. Yeah. Uh, I stayed up way too late playing a game called Brotato. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. The trailer was, like, honestly really well done. As much as it's, like, as much, oh, shit, I didn't realize that was dead. As much as I was like, uh, among us, fine, whatever. But like, um, it was really well done, honestly. I like the I like the art style of it. But um yeah, there's a game that I wanted to play. Oh, there is making they are making a full on anime of it. Oh wow, I'm like super hurt, I just realized. Fuck it, we ball. I was turning this on. That's awesome. I mean, is it is the kind of the joke of Vampire Survivors that there is no real story though? Cause like we never actually meet the vampire that we're fighting. <laughs> but still, that'd be fun. I'd, I'd be down. Story that's like a riff on Castlevania. That could be good. That could be a good time. Boink. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I was playing Brotato, and you could think of it as very similar to Vampire Survivors in that they lock you in an area, and, um, there's waves that are about a minute. Oh, shit. They're about a minute in length, and, like, you have to collect money, stop endless hordes, and then they're like, okay, you know, you collected your money for the wave, what would you like to spend it on? So you have to, like, figure out combos. It's <laughs> your princess is in another castle, but it's someone they're trying to kill. By the way, is, if, is the game too loud? I'm going to turn it down for me, but tell me if I need to turn it down for you guys. <laughs> your princess is in another castle. Where is that fucker? A pinch too loud. A pinch. All right, let me, let me go into my sound settings. We'll turn it down from 35 to 30. How about that? But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, what, what was I saying? Yeah, it, it's a very similar game, gameplay style to Vampire Survivors. You could equip, like, six weapons at a time, but, like... And you have to find, you essentially have to find the weapon again, but you don't really find weapons in the field. You only find money or health, and then it's like, okay, now that you're done with the level, what would you like to spend your money on? Kind of thing. So it's, it's a little bit of a different style, but it's a very similar game. Uh, I was thinking, I was thinking you guys would really enjoy it. And so I was, I was getting addicted to it a little bit last night. And then, you know, staying up late and watching Tim Pool and other YouTube stuff like a loser. Uh, yeah, let's check out this area to the 
No, 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 no. That's right. That's right. It's not that area. Okay, we have eight, and we need two more. All right. Def put a link in your Discord then, so I can look later. Oh, uh, for the game? Yeah, sure, I can do that. I think I got it for like it was on sale, and it's like normally five dollars, and I got it for like two. Like it, it was some kind of. This is a cheap, small, fun little addictive game. Uh, the a mechanic I really like in it is that like. That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I totally understand. But um, something that I really liked about the game, for example, is uh, most buffs that you get, like um, you you know how in uh you know how in Vampire Survivor you get you get an item and there's like virtually no downside to it whatsoever, that they're just like, uh, let's see, there's that spot up there, but I think if I remember correctly, that had like that crystal. Uh. I want to check out on my map that area down there again. Let's let's just do a quick look see. But uh right, right, right. Which is completely reasonable. Yeah, I I, I totally get it. Uh, I'm actually going to turn on this just to just to keep me safe because I do have relatively speaking low health. But, um, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get around that. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, so this is not the direction. So, let's head. Hmm. Is that a door? I don't think it's a door. All right, let's head to the spot right there again, then. See what we can find. Jeez. A dramatic increase if there ever was one. Okay, oh. I'm mostly just doing this for the health. But um I lost my train of thought. It everyone forgive me, it's Friday. Friday I'm usually pretty brain dead. Oh, um so in Vampire Survivors, you know how you get like an upgrade and it's um there's virtually no downside to it whatsoever it's just like would you like a speed increase thank you daddy may i have another like would you like a power increase thank you daddy can i have another yo like there's there's no downside to it uh in right okay fair enough fair enough that is the downside but like statistically yeah okay yes you're correct i'll give you that but you know what i'm talking about um, oh yeah, that's right, I need to. And when like that little double tap I just did right there. But uh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a little energy thing there. Might as well hit this up just for healing. Actually, but um, okay, so besides that as a downside, right? Uh, in Brotato, what they do is they say, uh, so, like, you get something that, let's just say, increases your, like, um, your health, right? It'll be, like, you start with, like, 10 hit points total. Okay. Is there, do I really have no tools? Aha, I knew it! Sorry, bro. My bad. I didn't mean to pull out your eyeball. I would have walked around if I could. Be good. But, um... Yeah, so in Brotato, they'd be like, Would you like this item that has, uh... Would you like this item that gives you like I don't know if you if you start with ten health it'll be like it'll give you plus five health and you look at that and you're like hey that's pretty good and they're like great um here's the downside you lose I don't know like five dodge which is basically like for every percentage of dodge every time you take a hit there's a chance that you just dodge it 
You know what I mean? So like if you have 10 dodge every hit, there's a 10% damage chance you'll take no damage. Yeah, so with every upgrade, except for traditionally leveling up where they let you just increase your stats, every item, it has an upside and a downside. Now, now the upside of that is that you can have infinite uh, stat, whatever you want to call it, um, modifiers, let's call them. You can get infinite modifiers, but each one low key screws you over as much as it helps you. And I thought that was like really interesting as a mechanic. Because um, normally if it's like, if we go point for point, it would be like, uh, so like CBT, yes. I don't know how this thing works. What is this thing? Oh, that's an energy refill. It's both great and horrible. Yep, that's, that's the perfect analogy to use. But like, um, if we went point for point, it's like, the amount of health you get is more like if we had to if we had to like I'm sneezing, I just realized I forgot to take my allergy pill. Fuck. Um If we had to take like I don't know, one unit worth of stat increase, you get more HP than you would lose in dodge. So it's it's still almost always worth it. But it creates a lot of interesting strategies when they're like So you can get melee weapons and ranged weapons. Oh wait, that's right. Do I need to do? Yeah, I was gonna say, do I need to do that to kill those guys? It's really interesting when you like how you want to focus entirely on like melee weapons, and you get something that's like plus two melee damage, but you lose three range damage. It's like, well, I'm already losing. You know, I'm not using range damage or elemental damage or whatever. So who cares? And you kind of like look out for those kinds of items. Or, uh, you know, like that, those kinds of situations, basically. So it, like, encourages you to work on a build. Uh, since you can equip six weapons at a time, you can also sell them at any time. Uh, what was it? You can equip, you can equip six weapons at a time, but if you want to tier up an item, you need two of the same tier, and you combine it into the third tier, kind of like the Surge. And, um... But it's better to have multiple than it is to upgrade. So there's like an interesting strategy going on there. I thought I could like, can I shoot you through the bottom? There, there you go. Uh, what was another aspect of it that I think is really interesting? Oh, uh, all weapons have tags. So like medieval, pierce, primitive, heavy, whatever. And the more of the more of those tags of weapons that you have, the more benefit that you get. Like from, uh, oops, the more benefit you get from them. So I think like, uh, if you have a lot of weapons with pierce, like uh, pistols and stuff, your uh, your critical hit goes up. So that also encourages you to like build a bit, make a certain build. Uh, the characters are all based on upside downside kind of things. So like, um, what was it? Uh, there's a character that I really like called the sniper. That's basically like, you cannot use melee weapons but you're really good at ranged weapons. There's the gladiator that's like, kind of a similar thing of like, it's mostly focuses on melee, but instead. Jailwood, hello. It's good, to, it's good to see you, man. How's it going? There's, um, what am I talking about? Oh, the, the gladiator is like, they're mainly good at melee weapons, but their attack speed is like way lowered unless you have a different weapon in every hand. So that changes what you try to build and do. Uh, oh, one of my favorite ones is the multitasker. And it basically they can equip. Oh, oops, that's right. The multitasker's deal is that instead of equipping, instead of equipping six weapons, they can equip 12. But for every weapon over two that you equip, all of the weapons get weaker. So you have to like figure out what weapons work best with that kind of like a strategy. Like, blah, blah, blah. It's really good. I really recommend it. If you guys like Vampire Survivors, you will love Brotato. Like, I, I don't know if I'll like complete it, complete it. But um, I definitely will be playing it a lot, yeah. My line made 12 trailers yesterday and goal was nine. Now that you mentioned it's on my wish. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty cheap. Like, you know me, I'm cheap ass. 
Uh, something's beeping. I don't know where or what. You know, like, I'm, I'm a cheap ass. I'll admit it. So just to have, like, this nice little flash game that's just, like, very addicting but very fun. You know what I mean? Oh, something else that I like about the game. Two other things. Just before I stop talking about it. Uh, one. So in the store. Ooh. Ooh. I saw a picture of Sid. Um, you have to tell me about the Game Wars because I did not watch them at all. So I think I heard Baldur's Gate got Game of the Year. But that's about it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know anything else. Still nicely made 12 and 7, 9. Hopefully they paid you for that shit. But, um... What was I gonna say? Shit. Fuck it, I'm leaving. Fuck it, I'm out. Oh, so yeah, the two things with, uh... The two last things that I really like with, uh, Vampire Survivors. Or not Vampire Survivors, Portato. A uh, one... So, at the end of every level, they put you in a store and, like, how much money you have. And, uh, whatever money you don't collect is essentially... The next money you collect will be, uh, times two. So you don't... As long as you always, like, take care of that debt, if you will, you will, um... You never lose money that you miss, which is great. And then, uh... What was it? In the store, if you don't have enough money to buy something, you can lock it so that it stays in the store next level. It's it's just like there's four slots. There's like four slots, if you will. So like, let's say I want to lock slot number, you know, slot number four because it has like a pistol and I'm trying to do a pistol build. Why is my left hand doing that? Like I'm trying to rest on someone's shoulder. That's weird. But um, yes, yeah, so you can lock it in place. The other three will randomize, but, um, yeah, the, the other three will randomize, but that one stays in place, which I think is, like, really, really nice, uh, mechanically. And the other thing is that all the weapons fire automatically. So, like, you could have six guns that are all firing in six different directions. They're not static directions. They always aim at opponents, which I think is really nice, especially. So, like, all you have to do is just focus on, like, not moving. I really like that mechanically as well. Play potato, it's good. Support your local indies. Uh, this feels like a Metroid that's just gonna run away the moment I get near it. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is a runner. This is a runner because he's not he's not even here right now. He's not even he's not even here. But let's see. Uh, they were really bad. The awards last like ten seconds each, and it was all gamer mobile ads. What? Last year wasn't like that. We just had to listen to the guy who plays Kratos talk for an hour. It was five minutes, but apparently it was like one of the longest speeches ever. And it was like dawdling and stuff. And everyone was okay with it just because they like listening to Kratos' voice. And that's about it. Uh, nice. Okay. Where's this fucking Metroid? What? Well, just like as they're sitting there, just like oh, okay, we need to move this along. Like that kind of shit. Yeah, a lot of people are like really excited for it because, of course, they're placing bets and they're like, Zelda's gonna win because it's Zelda. And me. Oh shit! Oh god, I forgot he has lasers. Okay. Okay. Nope, that's. Yep, I was gonna say that's a big old explosion. Bitch. Ah. Okay, hold on. Nope. That's the explosion. Oh, okay, that's the, that's the ground one. Hey, don't, don't. No, 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 all right, now I gotta, now I gotta find them. Uh, they wrapped up what they were saying in like five seconds left, and the music switch was supposed to play as they walk off. Jeez, oh, they just like straight up had the music of shame. I'm still waiting for Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. Okay, yeah, so what were the, uh, a bunch of people were like, what if they talk about burr, 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 DLC for God of War? Uh, uh yeah, uh, Elden Ring. Hades 2, they were talking about like trailers for new games and stuff. What all what all showed up? 
You know I'm not good at paying attention to this shit. Yeah, fucking Jones. No! No! Stop out! Nope. The laser is that a uh, explosion? Okay. No! 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 I'm gonna try to. I know where he's gonna go, so I'm not too worried about it. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, rather them take their time with it than it being like super crappy, right? Did uh, Armor Core Six get mentioned at all? I feel like Armor Core Six, everyone kind of ignored it. <laughs> now, granted, it's like Max, you you you've ignored it. I haven't ignored it. It's just I really want to play the other ones, and I don't know if anyone else is interested in me playing them. But I'm interested, damn it. Shit. I was gonna say, don't just knock me off. Like an asshole. Nope. Bitch. Bitch. Oh, wait, what? It, was, it wasn't even beeping. What the fuck? It wasn't even beeping that I was out of health. Bullshit. Let's see, uh, Armor Core 6 look cool, but the, eh. Did I take my drunk? I think that, I think that is really what it boiled down to with Armor Core, though, that it's just, like, it just, it, like, from what my friends say who played it, that it's a stellar game, it's very good, it's very different from things that they've played before, but, um... Just so many other things came out this year that it's hard to, like... You're know, like through no fault of its own, right? Which I never like to think about that when it comes to the quality of games, but that definitely does happen. I mean, heck, that's why, you know, hidden gems is a term, right? Oh, is this. Oh, um. Yeah, that's why the term hidden gems exists, because for whatever reason, a game is overshadowed, and then. And then you discover them years later, and you're like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I mean, hey, Lost Kingdoms, right? Right, and a lot of that is definitely because of, like, I mean, you know, as much as the internet culture is awful in a lot of ways, it's also really good because you can keep your name out there. But the problem is it turns into a game of, uh, it turns from a game of no one hearing about it to people hearing about so much that, like, they can't physically handle all the information, so it all becomes like white noise. You know what I mean? <laughs> My first thought was to make an absolutely terrible joke. Oh, I'm gonna get canceled. My first thought was, um, you know when people say like, why do you say white noise and not black noise? Me, or why do you say black and not white? Me? You're like the most stupid way to try to like race bait people. My first thought was like, why do you say white noise and not black noise? It's like because of his black noise, it would have rhythm and sound good, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm under arrest, Faye. That's fine. I just said some shit. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? It's been a little while. Fjord sold you out. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, what's my crime? What did I do? All right, uh, oh, uh, well, know this. Uh, Modern Warfare got outsold by... I heard about that. Which, uh, God, that was funny. I remember hearing about that. Well, it's because, like, no one cares about Modern... I feel like no one cares about, like, Modern Warfare and Call of Duty anymore. So, something unique and fun that you can play with friends. Um, funny jokes is what I was saying. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Lost King of My Lillian, it's not it really holds up, probably because no one else has tried it. That is a big part of it, yeah. Like, not a lot of games, I feel like, use card systems. What? Red didn't think I was funny. Fucking heresy. How, how dare, I'm hilarious. That's what my mother says. She says I'm special. Hold on. Damn it. Okay, how hurt are we? Alright, we're still... We got, like, four bars left. Nope! Ah! 
way too early. Come on, Max. Parrying. Parrying is your jam. You should know this. Your mom's a charlotte and her cookies taste like her. Okay, that is fighting words. All right, my mom is an amazing cook. I will fight you over that. <laughs> now, if you said my cookies were terrible, yeah, because I'm a shitty cook. As Megan points out, whenever I cook, it's not so much that I'm cooking. It's that um, she puppets me and just doesn't do the legwork. Because I have no faith in my cooking skills whatsoever. So I always like ask her, like, does this look right to you? Does this taste good? Is this enough spices? Because I have like no sense of taste. But my mother, my mother is an amazing cook. How, how, how fucking, how fucking dare. Oh, they made the campaign only far as long the moment they made the MC and the added people said shit and DLC. Oh. Bitch. Oh my goodness, fucking eat these missiles, piece of shit. Oh, don't, don't run away from me. Don't, don't run away from me, you bitch. Don't, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Asshole. Bias can't be trusted. My mother used to work as a caterer. At a, a caterer. And she works at a hospital. And trained my sister, who also works as a caterer. And, like, and she was offered to work at a bakery. People try to hire both my mother and my sister at multiple, multiple jobs. Mom, Max's mom bribed him to sponsor her on Twitch. She doesn't do cooking anymore. Or, like, she doesn't do cooking jobs anymore. But pulling up the texts. <laughs> Max, I don't know, you know if you know this. As your surrogate father, I installed the one app that made it so that I could actually, like all of the texts that you send and uh yeah i got i got a i got a copy of them what's this uh only fans thing that you're subscribed to i don't know what that is could you tell me more about it could you tell could you explain to me what this bad dragon is like that that's weird is it is it D&D related uh where is that fucking there he is the bitch that's it all right i'm gonna turn this on just to keep myself safe Fade saying that I don't have good jokes. How dare. How dare. I've seen too much. <laughs> Max, why could you just sex people like normal? This is weirder. <laughs> Fucked it up. I the, the, the parry comes out so much sooner than I think it does for whatever dumb reason. Beautiful. Kick ass. All right, let's keep the party rolling. She does not have Gordon Ramsay sponsored. She said, what? Saito, what? Paul Hollywood thinks my mom's a good cook. Did, did, okay, I've read to you guys about, uh, about Great British Bake Off, why it's the best cooking show ever, right? Has there ever been a thing with Paul Hollywood and... Paul Hollywood and Gordon Ramsay. Wrong. I would love to. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Liar! Guys, it's like one of my Japanese. How enemies. dare you! I really love that effect that turns on. I think it looks really good. It's like that old style of manga, like Junji Ito kind of shit. But um. No, have have I ranted to you guys about Great British Bake Off yet? Like I, I always forget, so you know, remind me, so I don't, I don't have to repeat myself. But I, I will stand by that. I think Great British Bake Off is like the best version of a cooking show, like, period. Um, I don't think I can do anything with that. Sorry. We're just going to hit this just for sake of unlocking it. You're telling me I don't know my shit. Well, okay, I don't know cooking shows. I will I will quote I will quote Gerard Khalil when he watched Great British Bake Off for the first time of they could crush up a pine cone, put it in a cake and tell you it's gourmet and the way they describe it you'd be like, "Okay. I tr I trust you. I'll eat it." Yeah, and I'll probably say it's delicious too. Woohoo. 
I have, oh, I, was saying, I have no idea where I'm going right now, for the record. I assume up is... Well, maybe it's not progress, but there's like an item up there. So. Alright, y'all have not responded that I've ranted to you guys about this before. So, I'm, I'm going to start ranting. So, Great Fish Bake Off is... It's on, it's on Netflix. And the base idea of the show is that... Um, F. Well, okay, tell me if I've ranted to you about it before. If I've ranted to you about it before... Damn! Damn. You whore! If I've ranted to you about it before, then stop me! That's why I asked! Damn! But, okay, so Great British Bake Off is on Netflix, and the basic idea of it is that people, uh, I think like 12 people apply at first, and um, they have to be amateur chefs. They can't be professionals. Okay, okay, it's space primer, so uh, okay. But um they have to the rule is they have to not be professionals. They can't own a restaurant, they need to be hobby they need to be hobbyists, chefs, kind of a deal. And they have to apply, and once they do, they every week they're given three different challenges. Uh the first it's usually like make X kind of cake with X kind of like it must be four layers, it must include X ingredient. But they're all reasonable things. It's not like, okay, you need to, I don't know, uh, you have to make duck a orange without duck or oranges or, you know, like weird, weird shit like that. It, it's all fairly reasonable stuff. And the second cha- oh, the second challenge is about, um, the second challenge is like, they're given a recipe to... I feel like if I'm gonna... Oh, oh. So, hold on. Oh, I see the problem. The second challenge is then more... Yeah, I can't get that. I can't get that. Because I can't go up there fast enough. I bet later on... Oh, if I get the, uh... If I get the gravity suit. Yeah, if I get, if I get the gravity suit. Then I'll, then I'll be able to get that. The second challenge is they have to make a more obscured, obscure dish. And they're, uh, they're given a recipe, but the recipe is incomplete. So, for example, if it was, like, a lemon custard pie or something, right? They would... One of the steps might be, like, now add sugar. But they don't say how much sugar. Or, like, now cook it at 425 degrees or whatever. But they don't say for how long. So it tests a lot more of their, like, technical knowledge. And then the last challenge is a showstopper, which is basically, uh... Basically the same thing as the first round, but the dishes are designed to be much fancier and more for show. But what's great about the show, and why, like... Okay, what I'm describing is fairly, like... This is straightforward, normal stuff. You know, who cares, right? What makes the show special is the vibe the show has. They're trying to teach you things. They're not sitting there like with jump cuts of cameras going like, <gasps> you're like, oh no, someone did it. They're not people fighting. It's not about people talking shit in the back corner or anything like that. No, it's, it's wholesome as fuck. It's kind as fuck. The competitors, depending on the situation, actively help each other and actively talk to each other and just shit like that and it's really nice for that reason you know what i mean the vi like i remember watching i don't think it was hell's kitchen but it, it was some guy ferrari kitchen like cooking show and i remember specifically that it very much felt like it was played up for drama more than anything else or uh there was another one uh, okay, I know I've ranted about the, uh, I know I've ranted about that one Chocolatier show, because that show makes me fucking furious, and I will stand by that. I know I've ranted about that show before. That, like, thinking about that show genuinely makes me mad. Like, honest to goodness, makes me mad. But, um, it's not about people, like, talking shit. I just looked like I was smoking for a second now. I was putting on lip balm. 
Um, it's not about people talking shit. It's not about like, I'm gonna sabotage them because I'm a bitch and I'm the villain of the show. No, everyone's nice. Everyone's wholesome. It's just a delightful show. Uh, it's on Netflix. If one of my favorite seasons of it, we rewatched it recently, is they, they're called Collections. They're called Collections. Look up Collection 9. Like, it's just a very well done season. Max is blazing up everyone he finally lost. <laughs> Man, I would become... <laughs> My first thought was like, I'd become alcoholic and a sex addict before I did weed or like other drugs. I would be classy. Alcohol. <laughs> Max, do you say sex addict? I'm not gonna address that statement. Just know that it's true. That I would become a sex addict and an alcoholic before a meth head. Yeah. Damn. Those bugs are weirdly tanky. Let's see, is this uh Nice! Okay, yeah, that's the one that was a uh, one-way door. So good, we got ourselves a shortcut. I was referencing herb, but okay, go to the extreme. <laughs> Would I ever do marijuana? Okay, um, I'm gonna pretend for sake of this that I never have to worry about uh, my security clearance or a job denying me or anything like that. I'm going to assume it's 100% legal, everything's fine, everything's hunky-dory. Just would I personally do it? You know? Yep, that's what I thought. Honestly? I don't know. It would be just, it would be just like comparing it to alcohol. Can't really get a light bug. Nah, probably not, honestly. I I don't think it's for me. I'll give people shit for it, but I don't I don't think it's for me personally. Shit. Right, yeah. But I mean like I would have to use it in like the same context of you know, if I have one alcoholic if I have like one buzz or one drink in the evening just to relax, is there an equivalent for weed? And I don't, I don't think there is without thinking very hard. Oh yeah, it's right there. Like, oh shit. Bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's like an equivalent when it comes to weed. So that's why I'm like, eh. Cause I don't like being a drunkard, you know? But I like having some drinks and talking with friends. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the Great British Bake Off show is just, it's incredibly wholesome, it's incredibly delightful, it's PG, you can watch it with your family. It's, it's not for drama, it's just for relaxing and getting like, just getting into the like the mindset of the show and like the love of cooking, you know what I mean? Like when anyone when anyone loses their like when anyone drops a pie or something, it's heartbreaking, but they don't sit there with like 15 jump cuts. No, everyone is on the same page of like, oh no. You're like, oh this is awful. Not because they want them to lose, but because like, no, that cake looked beautiful. Oh! Mistimed it, I was just a little bit late. Uh, like for me, if I have no tolerance because I went for a tolerance break, 10 minute one California edible is a, a times four too strong, but I take one normal edible news like people have one. Right, yeah. Like that that's that's the most I would want to do. I wouldn't want to get like, I'm going to get high and just kill me. Like, the, you know, and not be able to function as an adult. Yes, what? What was I talking about? Watch Great British Bake Off. It's very good. Play Brotato. It's very good. I hope everyone's had a lovely week. <laughs> Head empty, boobs big. That is me right now. Ah. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want that. All right, there you go. That phrase is stuck in my head. And I don't know where I heard that phrase originally from, but every time I say it, it makes me laugh. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. 
Sir, can we talk about this? Sir, sir. Oh shit. I keep I just need to use more missiles. That's the moral of the story here. More missiles. Oh. Nice country road. Uh, I guess that's something I had was passed to do is 100 million years. I end up watching old this because I'm stuck. She was like, I'm just gonna. I've been incapacitated. <laughs> that's why I imagine there's bonds is just like, I'm incapacitated. What do you mean by that? I can't do shit right now. It's like the Olaf voice of like, I've been stabbed. Alright, uh, I think we should be able to... I wonder if I can time it. Nah, nah, they're not gonna let me out that way. Is there a... Nope, okay. So it looks like I'm gonna have to... Stay unless there's like a cheeky way through right there. Perfect. There we go. Bye 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 -bye. I took a shower, forgot I was what I took one like ten minutes after. It was an interesting time. <laughs> You're like, oh god, you know what you know what would feel really good right now? A shower. And then you know what would feel really good right now? A shower. <laughs> Flesh bird things. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. There we go. Oh, run away! Run away! Yeah, that, works, that works out perfectly, actually. Alright, now I forget how many zones did I say this game has? I forget, but I'm I'm hoping to finish the game today. And then, uh, depending on what time it is when we finish, uh, we'll make an executive decision if we'll do something small for funsies for a little bit, or if um, we'll start the other Metroid. Like, yo, obviously this isn't going to happen, but if I finish this game in like an hour, then I'll be like, well, fuck, we got like three, four hours, let's start Dread. And, um, otherwise, I'll, I'll pick something random on Steam. If there's a game that we've talked about that, like, I should play for, like, a little bit. That we can, like, boot up super fast. And we'll play that. But I genuinely think there's enough game that, like, I'll take up the rest of the stream. Oh, shit. Literally, you were not here, and I just fucking drained the place. Where the fuck did you come from? Because, yeah, so as 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 Red talked about, uh, final, you know, since I'm only doing two streams a week now, because I'm um, trying to figure out baby classes and stuff like that. Uh, Megan's actually a good Christian because she wants to go to uh, Wednesday night services and I don't because I'm an introvert even. Um, so that's changing that schedule a little bit. Shit. Group force, let's go. We're trying to figure out different scheduling stuff. So for right now... So for right now... Eh. Oh wait, can I? Can I pull your shell off? Yeah, so... Yeah, but like... The, okay, so... Megan is a much more social gal than I am. And she she wants to go to Wednesday night services. Not necessarily because of the service, but because of... Uh, she just wants to be with people more and talk with people more. She feels that she is missing out on... The social aspect of church because to put it simply I am very anti-social so 
yeah, like that's that's kind of why it's like, oh, we should we should be going to these services. Why? Because I want to, you know, because I want to talk to and meet people. Max, it's like ah, I can't argue with that. That's that's a fair and reasonable request. It messes with streaming schedules a little bit though, but it's it's honestly a fair request. Right, like encouraging more churches to uh, encouraging more churches to have online ways to watch it. But a big part of church that's very important is the community aspect of it. It's a family. It's a support group. It's a not only is it a support group, it's an accountability group. You know, if you say you're struggling with insert whatever addiction, right? They're meant to be there to help you. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Fuck. That's a. That's a one. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like that is a one-way ass door. For my own sanity, I'm gonna real quick. Because now that I've unlocked this, I should be able to move through it. Ow. There you go. Just want to make sure that's nice and unlocked for sake of shortcuts. But yeah, that, that community aspect is very important, right? And it's especially important to her, while it wasn't as important of a factor to me personally. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just that's how she's wired versus how I'm wired. But anyway, the original point I was making was uh, because of that and because of the baby and everything, and I don't know how streaming's going to work or if it's going to work and stuff, right? I want to try to get as many things as... Whoa, that guy's moving fast. I want to get as many things as done possible, and it was dictated that... Uh, I was looking at, like, times, and it's like, okay, it's more likely that I will be able to finish the Metroid games than I will uh, Final Fantasy X. So Final Fantasy X, we will go back to it, once we're done with Metroids, which is basically this and Dread. Much to everyone's chagrin, I believe the right word would be. Uh, honestly, that's one thing I painted that's good for people. Uh, that's how the neighborhoods of Southwest used to be just for it. Sorry, we were super young, we'd all pitch and have blood. That is something I would say is much more of a cultural change. And it's so weird because, like, I mean, uh, oh, God, oh, no, jail, what happened? Oh, no, they call, did, did they call you a dirtbag? Can't be a dirtbag, man. But, um, that's something that, like, I mean, it's a stereotype, right? That, like, with the internet, we're more connected than ever. You know, with the internet, we're more connected than ever, but, uh... I don't know how this puzzle actually works, but I'm just making predictions based on how the bugs are moving. With the internet, we're more connected than ever, but we're also, weirdly enough, disconnected. Because people are afraid to, like, interact with each other and stuff, right? Oh, God! Hello, wife of mine. How's it going? I'm almost dead. Shit! What's up, darling? No, love you. <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like people making block parties and stuff, or interacting with each other on holidays. Like I'm, <sighs> it it definitely is something that has gone down over time. And now that Megan's here, she's gonna call me out on it. I'm part of the problem because I just I I oh wow they sent me far back. Yeah, they sent me real far back. I'll admit I'm part of the problem because I don't I don't really like interacting with people very much. But it's like a it's like a nationwide cultural thing, you know what I mean? That there's just like less and less of it. I'd like to think that like even if I don't talk to my neighbors very much, if they ever needed anything, kind of like what you described, uh, kind of like that you described that like if your fence breaks. Like, I'm still gonna talk to them, right? Like, I still wanna help out. I wanna be there to support people. I'm just not very good at, like, I don't know. Small talk kicks my ass, you know what I mean? Oops. Shit, I'm getting rocked. I like that sweat. Let's see. Right, yeah. And, um, 
that's the reason why actually we haven't been doing Wednesday night streams because simply put Megan is a very big proponent and uh, she just really likes that aspect of church and it's not an aspect of church that I value as much and she wants us to be better about that so on one side I could sit here and be like ugh ugh the wife is stopping me from doing streams ugh. yo on the other side it's like no this is reasonable there's a good reason for this. It's a good church. They're good people. I might be selfish and just going, Ugh. but like, no, it's it's for a good out. It's for a good cause. See, if you would develop relationships with people, it would be, it wouldn't be small talk all the time. Just saying, yeah, but then I have to talk to people. And I am not good at talking to people. I am what is considered bad at that. Alright, uh, this. Alright, so this. I feel like this fight with these things is gonna be literally just like fucking attrition. Okay. Gotta wait for that little bastard to sprint by. Yep, alright. God, he moves so fast. Eh, oh, shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh. And nailed it. I would definitely say appreciate it from a distance is probably how I kind of roll with it as well. Like, I want to know it's there. I want to support it when it's there. But that doesn't mean I'm always going to be the proponent of it. Mr. Can only talk to people online he's never met. No offense, everyone. De okay, I wish. I wish you saw me at the uh, at the one Nerdrotic meetup. I was, Mr. Damn glad to meet you. All right, I was so good at talking to people. Do you remember what Anne said? That she was like, that she was like, um, you know, she's kind of like shy and nervously talking to people. Then she turns around and I'm just like having a very, uh, a very engaged conversation with someone that neither of us ever met. Like, come on! Tell me I can't talk to people. It depends! Damn, don't call me out like that! Damn! I try to keep... I get distracted! I'm sorry! I also, like, uh, when it comes to, like, discords and stuff, I almost never talk on them because I never know what to say, and I feel like I'm, like, wasting people's time, and, oh, I'm just saying inane shit, no one cares, Man, only seven hours, I'm sorry! I try to be friendly! Damn it, get roasted. Indefinitely. Well, it's a thing of, like, I know you have to... Like, oh wait, okay, I misread who said that. Yeah, Red's taking the call. It's also the thing of like, okay, this is something I kind of like realized about myself. Do you ever hit that situation where like, you feel like you have to respond? And I feel like I'm a dick sometimes because um, more and more as I get older, I'm realizing I don't have to respond. I can just quietly, quietly nod or agree. Like, I don't have to give an equivalent opinion or something. I can just be like, yeah, okay. And that's the end of it. But an online writing in text, that doesn't translate very well. You know what I mean? So it just seems like I don't care or I didn't see it or I'm an asshole. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. Maybe I'm just trying to appreciate what people, what people post, but I don't have anything to add myself. Wait, what? There's only one match? Ooh. The f okay, so... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Please don't send me all the way back. Please save to at least the beginning of this area. Please. It just doesn't translate well in a text. I'm sorry. Go. All right, good. This game's being very kind. Well, that's different if you're like directly asking. Yeah, of course, in, in those situations, like you need an answer. Yeah. 
But like, my sister will send me memes she finds on Twitter, some of which I send to you guys. And um, that's kind of a similar situation of just like, I don't know how to, like I'm reading them, I like them, I appreciate them, but I don't know how to respond to them all the time. I'm just trying not to- Oh, I didn't think that thing could move upwards. Alright, so I only need the one. I'm just trying not to be an asshole, I'm sorry! Nice, alright. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is one bug. How about it? That's neat. Alright, you know what? Bet. Bet. Next time you post something, and I'm like, assuming I don't accidentally forget to watch it, because that's literally what happened with your one Warhammer video that I was like, that looks cool, I want to watch it. And then I got distracted, and in my mind, like, I already checked the box that I watched it. So I didn't come back to this, like, fuck, I didn't watch it. I'll remember that next time. I'll just go like, that's me. I'll do it in the same voice that I do the look. Like, just, no, that's me. Wow. Wow. I am snottily. If I take a 10 second break, I might have to get a day cool or something. Ah, permanent. Wow. Should I get that? You know the one sound effect that's like an anime? Wow. Should I get that as a sound effect? I feel like that's kind of stereotypical, but like, it's a good sound effect. Just wow. Make it cheap, make it so there's no like uh, prop or anything. Just that it costs like 100 channel points or whatever, just so you can go, wow! Uh, is that all there is? Oh shit. I knew there was more. Uh. Oh, you disabled my Aeon bullshit. Interesting. I'm gonna sneeze. Disable my Aeon bullshit. Why are. Oh, oh shit, there's Metroid. Why are there enemies who are specifically trying to disable me first? Ah, oh, damn it. I. Yeah, this is, this is the three beam. I'm gonna make a bet. Max, if you don't stop me, I'm going to get an overpriced emotional support copy to get me through this nightmare every day I've been having. What can I... Okay. I have... I have... I have nothing. I have no way or reason to stop you from getting it. But I'm also... But I'm also a capitalistic bastard. So... What, what could I convince you to get me to allow for this to happen. What, uh, what, what bargaining chips can I, can I try to, can, can I try to push for to, 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 to allow for this? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna say like, go for it, dear, because I know work's been tough, but, but you, you just, you just told me that I can, I can try to bargain. I can, I can bargain. So what, what can, what can I, what can, what can I bargain for? That is true. That it, I mean, we, as we've all seen in uh, *Bride and Prejudice*, no life without life. It is part of the doctrine of that movie, which is a good movie. I'd recommend it. Um, even though songs get fucking stuck in your head, but if you love Bollywood, you'll love it. Um, if your emotional support coffee is in any way going to be getting me like a monster coffee or like a or like one of those like glass jar ones that is all I would request but if you cannot I understand but if it's a possibility but no, otherwise it's fine it's fine darling don't worry about it you do what you gotta do work's been rough I get it happy life happy life hear me out Max you won't be an asshole Like, yo, what, what positive or negative benefit do you get out of this? You're not a dick. Let's start there. Wait. I'll tell you what. You can stay home and stream, and I'll go back to work. That'll be our bargaining chip. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, darling. 
definitely not gonna account for work, you know, four hour work day that's just longer. Nope, that's not part of the bargaining chip. <laughs> You're like, no, that's a given. Man. That's that's a whatever. But yeah, you drive a hard bargain, darling. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone else see this is just kind of like, what the fuck? Is Who's this lady extra girl? I was like, that's my wife. <laughs> Nah, that'd be dear. Uh, can I blow that one up? Yes, sir. See, what's interesting about this is a... Oh, oh! Alright, Max, test time. Fuck! Uh... I think Logician? I think it's Logician? <laughs> INTJ, I think it is. Uh, I, -T I, 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 -T -J I, I, T. It's the one in the. It's the one that Einstein is, in the uh, in the four letter personality test, whatever it is. That's the one I got, which I feel like is pretty fitting for me. Not because I'm Einstein, but like it's that computer mindset. It's like you're a creative. It's a, you're a creative, but you're also a computer. So that doesn't mean you're. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh sh. I don't know if I can make this. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can't even tell who's on my torso. I think it's Cynthia. Um, I don't think I can get up there. Oh. Alright, yeah, so now let's make it back to that door. Oh. Bye, wife of mine. See you later, darling. The most ominous ass. Bye, everyone. Everyone's like, wait, what? Wait, what's going on? What's going on? What was the joke you guys made forever ago? That, like, I'm sorry, Max. Our wife. <laughs> Not your wife. Our wife. <laughs> oh, uh, where the... Like, what happened to our wife? Right, uh... Oh, this phaser doesn't beat those guys out. Damn. Holy shit! It, it makes three... I'm sorry, did everyone see that? I think that was red. Oh, fair enough. Okay, check this shit out. Blah! God, that's fucking strong. Alright, now here's the scary bit about this. There's only one Metroid in this area, and they gave us the Spacer Beam. Shit. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, they, they gave us just the spa They gave us the Spacer Beam. And said there's one Metroid in this area. So this fight, I feel like, is going to be a fucking rough. You know what I mean? Where those bugs go, meh, motherfuckers. Uh, we were, I was making a joke that at one point in time, ever, when I said, uh, my wife... Everyone basically in chat was like, our wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, but while on stream, our wife. <laughs> God, I, I do love the controls of this game. It is very, it is very smooth, you know what I mean? Like the transition between like the different things right here. It's very nice. That sounds like a you thing and not me. Damn. It's like, I'm sorry, Red. Um, I'm a class of bitch. Oh, shit. Maybe I did, honestly. I don't remember. <laughs> Just do what I do and be like, that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> da 
That sounds like something I'd forget. That's mean, like, all the time. Bitch. Alright, yeah. So, oh. Damn. They're giving us a lot of toys. So I feel like shit is very much gonna hit the fan. Very quickly. You know what I mean? Like, they're taking us through these nice little jungle gyms. There's these very nice little backgrounds. We're fighting these enemies. I feel like I'm missing a treasure, but I'm not. Oh, uh, maybe I am. Bitch. Okay, we're getting closer, though. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm actually going to... Since they're saying I'm so close to the Metroid, I'm actually going to hang out for a little bit. But uh, was the phone call about the house, or? Also, Jail, did you say what Did you say what the email wrote to you? Sorry, did, did that get missed? You did, and I missed it because I got distracted by my life. You received this email, you showed interest at or had to, Sergeant Insert My Last Day, is it in attending the OCS Symposium. Uh, remind me what the OCS Symposium is. Yeah, what what is what is the OCS Symposium? Oh, God, I agree. Uh, that's the original reason I got Subnautica, because I was like, I should play this with Megan. It'll be great, but no, it's it's not. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's only single player. Which is dumb, it should, it should be multiplayer. Granted, I have a few issues with that game, but I didn't get super far into it. Alright, where's the big beluga? You're not the... You're not the... Wait, I wonder if the spacer beam will be better or worse against this guy. Nah, nah, I need to, I need to stick with ice. Which is to say the missiles, motherfucker! Nope. Awful ass timing. Shit. No, 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 I get why they have the running mechanic, but there's definitely a part of my brain that's like, motherfucker, every time it runs away, which I think is kind of the point. Huh? Uh, let's see. Real quick. Ah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, but it's my grandma, apparently my brother, do you want some crap at work and might have to find a new job and she doesn't, and she hasn't told him she's buying a house yet, so she's off to make plans and he's still unaware. Is there a reason he shouldn't be aware? I mean, Officer Can is cool, just because I meant like 9% extra things that everyone else meant, but he saw me hand first when he asked you if you need any of these things, raise your hand. Oh, that is, on one side, that's awesome, but there's a part of me that's annoyed that like, that's the reason that you were chosen. Not because you have the same qualifications, but because you raised your hand first. Like, I'm not saying that to like put down that you are getting candidacy for officer stuff. It's that how many things in the military just come down to small arbitrary shit like that. You know what I mean? Oh. But um, still though, that's awesome. Why, why, why would you say you're being called out? Like, that that's a great thing if you become an officer. You could be more than some crappy E4 like I was. She's playing Rent to the Duplex, and after doing this, she'll be on a timer until she moves out, so it'll affect her. Ah, I see, I see. So just nah. Oops. 
the thing they most likely want is either 90 or a bachelor's or higher degree in a GT score of 110. Yep, I do remember that that uh, officer school was weirdly petty about wanting a bachelor's degree, even if it wasn't in anything like useful. They just wanted you to have one, which always struck me as kind of weird. Because, you know, college is fucking useless, let's be honest. You could probably get a bachelor's pretty quickly. Oh, shit, he followed me. Like, just online classes? I feel like you could, I feel like you could nail that. Doesn't need to even be in anything useful. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That was a lot of damage. Alright, let's see if we can get some health back. Oh, fuck. I'm never ready for the laser. Woo! Come on, you're red. I need you to go down. I need you to go down. I need you to go down. That actually works out for me. Especially if there's, um... Well, if they want me to go through here... Yeah, like, uh, you should be able to start using your GI Bill while still in the military, so... That's what I did. Or, yeah. We'll leave this on just for sake of like tanking a hit. But he's pro he probably ran back to. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So I'll, I'll admit I, I don't know I don't always remember the numbers, the numbers exactly, Mason. And they're not, ah, bullshit, okay. Nope, I'm going in the wrong direction, so it must be the one that's down instead of up. I mean, okay, more, more air, Aeon energy. I mean, it helps, but it's not what I need more of. <gasps> oh, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yes, 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 Sorry, puppy. That would take work and effort, so that's why I'm asking you guys. Oh, he just moved. Arlo, if you lay back in your position, I might set up a puppy camp. Ah, my nose. Apologies. Where the fuck is that bird? Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can set it up in 10 seconds. Alright, so first we have to go here, go here, I need to turn off hand tracking. Then we need to go here, uh, somewhere in here, we can set up a... video capture, we'll call it puppy cam. It will be the, uh, hold on, the next to go. All right, good stuff. Ah, uh, the problem is the angle. Ah, I can't, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, okay. Ah, yep. <laughs> Hello, hello? I lost voice box. Oh, oh god. god. It fell off on the floor. And as a result. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Okay, hang on. Nope, Arlo, nope. Hang on, hang on. We're doing this for the bit. I have to figure out what wire it's going to. It's that one. So we'll set it up like so. Hold on, Arlo. Hold on, baby. 
Carlo's like, are we get, are we leaving? Are we taking a break? And I'm like, no, we are not. Hold on. There. Nope. There we go. All right, so is the game still on? No? What part? Desktop audio? You guys can still hear me, right? Okay. Oh, I just, so I, I just have to... I just have to restart the program real quick. Which is... The one that I got illegally. Nah, I'm kidding. I didn't get it illegally. Uh, I just got it from... Uh, I think I told this story before. I was doing research on how to get an actual full good uh, recording setup. And it was basically a guy who does the moddings himself in Japan. And I had to pay like $300 for that shit. But I, but I did it. Ah, he's not in a good position anymore. There we go. Oh. Baby. Hold on. Come on, get up here, man. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. That's a good spot to lay down. That's a good spot to lay down, isn't it? Now, what we'll then do is we'll put this on the display, put it down lower. There we go. And then I'll make it so it's about there. We'll just kind of position it like this a little. And if, if anyone wants me to dog butt cam, and if anyone wants me to uh, reposition it if he shifts, just say the word. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Arlo, I just did all this work just to set up a doggy cam for you. Just to set up a doggy cam. I did all this work and he's like, but give me pets and tell me I'm beautiful. <laughs> give me pets and tell me I'm lovely. Yeah, right. Isn't that right? Yeah, look at the baby that you can barely see. You can barely see. He's so good. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Well, I I guess we're not doing a puppy cam. I can't do a puppy cam. Oh, look at that. There you go. I can't do a puppy cam if you don't lay still. I can't show the world how beautiful you are if you don't stay still. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. All right. Well. Are you gonna, are you gonna lay down? He's like, no, I'm too excited. All right, okay. No puppy cam. Uh, there you go. Yep, no puppy cam. If he gets, if he gets back to, uh, if he gets back to being really stable, we'll, uh, yeah, if he gets back to being in a, like a really, really stable position, I'll try again. But, uh... Hold on. Right hand up. But if he does not... Oh, hold on. Let's reposition. Let's get back into a little bit of modem of being semi-serious. Right? Right hand up. It's about what it normally is. All right. 
Yep, right hand up. Yeah, that's about good. We tried. That's the important thing. If, um... Yeah, if Arlo was a lot more stable in wherever he sat, it would it would be easier to set up a dedicated puppy cam. Where am I going again? All right, let us continue. Apologies for that interlude. I was trying to give the people what they want, which is not to look at my ugly mug or my VTuber's ugly mug. is to look at my puppy's beautiful and perfect mug. Oh. That actually really worked out. That mistake right there. Huh? Yeah, because I can do this. Um, Eto? Eto bleh? There you go. Oh. Now run! Yeah, so the... Hmm. Is my face working? Yes. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure where the bastard ran off to. He probably ran off... He's probably in that red zone, honestly. I mean, it's where the alarms are going nuts. Um, what were we talking about before? I forget. Oh yeah, the uh, one of the things I, I want to come back to was the Game Awards stuff. Okay, so they showed off Sid and Vincent. I think I saw a screenshot of Sid, and he looks really good. And Vincent, of course, is the most emo anime boy of emo anime boys, so of course everyone thinks he's sexy. But like, um, did they announce any other games? Any other big things that like people are looking forward to or anything like that? Or, or was it fairly... It was fairly whatever. The games you thought were going to win won. Oh, shit. There he is. Yo, boring shit, right? Um, I just heard a scratch down the door. Oh, shit. Uh, once I kill this guy, I'm going to go to the door real quick because I think we're not running through this bastard. There you go. And we got our one. Good shite. That'll get us back down over there and kind of weird that they gave us this zone as like a miniature zone, you know what I mean? Like it was it was like they needed us to get a particular weapon, but they didn't want to waste too much time on it. So they're just kinda like, Yep, you got it, alright, here's your fight, move on. Here's your puzzle, move on. I was like, uh oh, oh, oh okay. I you know apologies, I guess I just wasn't wasn't expecting to be that fast. Every other trailer just felt like a rehash, like they were all shot by the same director for different art styles. Weird. Sorry to hear that. We got two dogs in the office now. Damn. If someone asked nicely, or if Molly actually stood still, get a puppy cam on her. I may just be jaded, but I haven't been gaming for all but two years of my life. You mean when you were a baby? When you were years one and two? But no, I don't think there's anything wrong with being cynical or being more jaded. The like, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like How do I That's because you were raised correctly. <laughs> There's a debate there, but, you know, I'm not it. Um, what's the phrase that I'm trying to think of? How am I trying to articulate this? I feel like a lot of, uh, a lot of defense against criticism and things 
boils down to people saying something to the effect of, well, you're just jaded, well, you're just a hater, well, you're just da da da. Not realizing, and this isn't a good thing that I'm about to say, I really, I really do relate to what's his face from Ratatouille. The, 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 the critic guy who like hates everything. I relate to that guy a lot. Because, not because I hate everything, but because a lot of the times we get so worked up and we care so much about these things because we care about it and because we love it. So I'd say there's nothing wrong with like admitting like, hey, maybe I'm a little jaded because of like, da da da. It's like, no, it's something you care about. It's something you are, it's something that was once held to a higher standard. And if you can like, if you can take a step back from yourself and say like this isn't just nostalgia this used to be better and now it isn't then it's yeah it's a valid criticism you know what i mean instead of people who are like you're just saying that because you're an ist or an igot or whatever or like you're just saying that because you're a bad person it's like no it's because i give a shit and i want it to be better you know what i mean like so i, I don't want you to I'm not saying, like, I'm giving you justification to be a hater and to just arbitrarily hate things. But I don't want you to immediately count yourself out that your criticism is not valid. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's more my, oh, damn it. That's more my point, that, like, don't count, don't count yourself out so quickly. The FF6 DLC was cool now that I think about it. I say to play. I still need to... Well, okay, I should say I still need to play uh, Final Fantasy 16. It's... I need to play all the other Final Fantasies. Which will take a hot-ass minute. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, okay, I see. I, yeah. Oh, God. I... Update culture is stupid. I don't like update culture when it comes to video games. Max, what are you talking about when you say update culture? So the idea of update culture is back in the day, back in the day, you released your game on a cartridge and that was fucking it. That was it. Like if it was buggy, if it was a mess, if it was done improperly, if it was da 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 da, then Suck it up, Buttercup, because that's your existence now, bitch. Like, there was no way to fix it. Right, well, right, but, like, the upside-down side of that is, like, okay, so corporations make things worse because you have to follow the corporation's rules and stuff. But a lot of the times, corporations also can stop creatives who are being unreasonable from being too unreasonable. But all, and it also gives them funding, which is great. But like you said, corporations also might arbitrarily like ESG scores or like you have to include X because of money or you have to release the game in a certain amount of time. I'd say it's overall a net negative, but uh, corporations can help. But for the most part, I would say it's negative. What's that button? Was, was Toby Fox bought out by a corporation? Or? I just thought that was him being like one guy working on it kind of a thing. I forget how big the dev team on uh, Delta Rune is. Was that a corporate decision? Alright. No, he wasn't, which is why he's allowed to take as long as he is. See, that's like the upside down side of corporations, right? They keep you honest. They keep you on task. Now, that means they can also rush you, which is not good. But keep you honest, keep you on task, I think is still... I don't know where the fuck that goes. Let's, uh, let's go to the other first. Mm -hmm. Ah, my nose. I don't know about my loss, though. I'm dumb. I remember my thought now. Ah. Fuck. I have a tickle on my nose. 
and it's it, it's just it's right it's just a tickle it's not a sneeze it is just a tickle and it is driving me fucking no oh i can't even come with that yet uh spooky yeah gore hey spooky how's it going but i i had a thought <laughs> I have a suspicion. I'm gonna be right back, everyone. If I'm dead in 10 minutes, you know, call the police or something. Bye.
Alright, we are back. Uh, my hair is such an unbelievable mess. I feel like a f using a fork would be an improvement. <gasps> Sorry, so basically what happened was um, Jenna came from downstairs. My 15-year-old husky came down the stairs to bark and tap at the door to say that she did not have food. But the way it sounded was that, like... It sounded like someone was at the door or something was up. Like, it was not a good sound. That's why I was like, ooh, hold on. <laughs> Yo, this needs to be taken care of now. But it's all good. And, uh, yeah, Spook, hello. How's it going? Yeah, all, all the puppies are good. They're all taken care of. Jenna was just like, I want food and I want it now. This is not a discussion. I want it right now. I was like, well, shit, I guess I'm getting Jenna food right now. <laughs> but, uh... What was I talking about? What, what were we talking about before? Oh, uh, update culture. Update culture when it comes to video games. Because, yeah, we were talking about uh, corporate culture with video games in regards to, like, Deltarune. That on one side... He's taking forever, but on the other side, it's good that a corporation isn't rushing him because um, that way he can like more, he can more better put out his specific artistic vision with it, which is a good thing. But like, let's take that to the ultimate example. Uh, George R. R. Martin. All right, I don't really like Game of Thrones. Okay, I I don't. I'm just gonna admit that right now from the get from the get go. But I won't deny how popular his books are. But he does not write books quickly. <laughs> oh. That looks like something I would have wanted. Damn it. That looks like something I would have wanted. Who took my shit? Who did this? Bastards. <laughs> but, um... Right, we, like... We want to give people time to work on things, but sometimes they just never finish it. So they kind of need a little bit of a push in the right direction, you know, just to be like, hey, look, you're being creative and we love you and we appreciate you for it. But if you could get a move on, <laughs> yeah, we got to we got to make money here. <laughs> ah! Holy shit. Oh, OK, OK, OK. <clears throat> Say Ali Ali Oxen Free Ali Oxen Free. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Shit. And go, 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 go. Uh, yep. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Aha, get fucked. What a cool sequence, because, like, we still work on a 2D spectrum, but that guy was operating on a 3D one. Like, that was cool. I like that. And, yeah, it, it definitely does depend, but it's it's just like a... It's, it's in the camp of uh, corporations aren't always, like... It's not that all corporations are the most purest of evil, you know what I mean? Like... Yo, ow. Fuck, 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 Oh. Yo, they can do good. I, I don't want it to be like, if, if someone makes more than $5 in a company ever, they're Satan. It's like, no, hang on. Woohoo! Yo, there are, there are upsides to this. Let's see. Oh, I see, I see, okay. I was gonna say, like, so how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Right, go, 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 <laughs> Right, and it'll probably never be finished, so that would be an example of, like, a corporation holding their feet to the fire being like, hurry up. You know, we need, we need something. That, that, that's why I go back and forth so much about it. Ow. Fuck. Fuck. 
Ah! Oh, oh, that's death. Yep, yep, yep. I got. I was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good there. But um. That dude just pilled the money away without it. And that's the problem. Yeah. But like, uh, update culture. This is in regards to um. Okay, so Spook, Spook, you're you're my. Okay, Red is also a Final Fantasy expert, but you are another Final Fantasy expert. I know. Uh, did you see the trailer for the Final Fantasy 16 DLC? Like, what'd you what'd you think of it? Oh shit. Because, like, on one side, I, I really go back and forth. On one side, I'm glad that, like, companies are able to, like, continue to work on their game, continue to work on their product, do to do right? You know, good stuff all around. Shit! Oh, no! I was trying to turn around and fire it. But on the other side, I don't like the idea of projects never being done. I don't like the idea of, like, you make a project... And any criticism is null and void because they're just going to update and patch it. Which is a good thing, but it's also like... Holy shit, why is the sun moving so fast? What's the phrase I'm looking for? Oh, that's death, that's death, that's death. Okay. I'd rather a project remain unfinished than release unfinished and never... Oh, I wasn't looking at the screen. I'd rather a project remain unfinished than release unfinished and never update. So, bad taste in my mouth for Fantasy 15. Okay, okay. I mean, I haven't played Final Fantasy 15, so I can't specifically say yes or no to that, but I get the idea. I get the idea. But, like, um. Yo, okay, because, like, let's just, let's just talk, like, examples, right? No Man's Sky. Is it a good thing that No Man's Sky got updated and fixed? I'd say probably, but there's also a certain aspect of, like, you know, because we want games to redeem themselves and to, like, to get better and stuff, right? That's reasonable, I feel like. That's not... That's not a horrible thing. I gotta cheat a little bit because I, I know the future. <gasps> no, no. 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 Bullshit. But, um... So it's a good thing that they were able to recover, but it also, I feel like, says a lot about, like, this is the game that came out initially, even if it improved later. Like, okay, I love Bloodborne. Okay, Bloodborne is an amazing-ass game. Um, I remember when Bloodborne first came out, the load times were abysmal. So d how much do you judge the game based on that initial situation versus... Shit. Oh, that spike is solely there just to be a dick. How much do you judge? Yes. Jump. Okay. How much do you judge Bloodborne based on that initial? Oh, what? Oh my goodness, that speed increase. Versus its final product. You know what I mean? Uh, the new No Man's... Wait, is there a new one? Also, Spooky likes Final Fantasy. Have you finished Final Fantasy 15 yet? You're like, no, Baldur's Gate has consumed my soul. <laughs> Which I say that as a joke, but I'd say it's about 90% true. Like, shut up, man. Dude. I came here for a good time and to chill. Oh, you did finish it. You did. What? What were your feelings on it overall? I, I, I feel like I asked, like, when I asked that of you before, you weren't fully done with it yet. Hang on. This is a difficult ass. Yeah, I just gotta shoot everything. Fuck it. Fuck. <sighs> <sighs> That, that is just one square that you have to get to. That is funny, but also just like, fuck! <laughs> Was it a good cry? Was it a good cry? Because <laughs> I've cried at games before that were not good cries. I think Amnesia Darkness, that was one of them. 
Uh, the space jump allows you to jump repeatedly in midair. Spin jump, and then it's space time to jump again. Now, this is not the screw attack. This is not the screw attack. Okay. That was cut that made me sad. But I still okay, good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that you still enjoyed it. I'm curious on what was cut, though. But I feel, I feel like that'd be, like, that's spoiler territory if there ever was one. You know what I mean? Uh, let me, real quick. Right, so, I, I, I totally understand if it's, like, Max. I can't really explain it to you unless you played it. So I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push too hard on that. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Can you tell me the place filled in with enemies literally ten seconds after we left. Son of a bitch. Do I wanna go back for those missiles or do I not give a shit? I kinda don't give a shit. Cause now I'm stuck here. What the fuck? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, they want me to do that. Okay. Fuck. Ah, oh, oh my. Holy shit. I'm kind of cool just leaving. And I might do that just for sake of making sure we beat the game. Like, okay, if we go back. Uh, yeah, we missed some missile upgrades and one Aeon upgrade. Grand scheme of things, 89 missiles has been serving me pretty well i would say so i'm cool with just we're not we're not here for 100 percent. if i was playing this on my own i'd consider going back but we, we got a show to run here uh let's see i tell people the same thing about ff13 i do want to play final fantasy 16 like I have, I have nothing against it it's just there's so many other games that i haven't gotten around to buying it yet and you you, you know this Ah, damn it. Okay. There must be a power-up of some kind there. Maybe a super bomb, maybe. Uh... <laughs> you still need to play 1 through 6, 8, 10, and 12. Calm down. You just need to play all of them. Have I said all of them? All of them. Just hear me out, Max. Yes. Do all of it. that on because I can use full my energy in ways if I uh what's your uncle play Final Fantasy 13? Okay. Telling my ass to calm down. It's because there's 15 million games out there that I want to play and then I get distracted. It's very easy to distract me! <laughs> Heck, Armored Core 6 makes me made me want to play Armored Core 1, and I fucking loved it. Immediate distraction from whatever I was doing previously. Still want to play Devil May Cry and God of War. Like, y'all, I am Captain ADHD. Like, get on, the, get on the express. We're going places. You might be asking yourself, what places? To which I say, good question. <laughs> We're just going. One of the many reasons I do franchise. To, oh, we're going. Oh wait, hold on. My. Ah, uh, nah, nah. I don't think. I don't think they're gonna. Well, wait, hold on. <laughs> all of them, <laughs> everywhere, all the time, at once. Yes. <laughs> That's where we're going, bitches. <laughs> Make sure it's unlocked. And, yep. It's, it's, an, it's another one of the reasons I do franchise series because they kind of keep me on track. <laughs> they keep me at least slightly. Fuck. They keep me at least slightly consistent. I forgot that those snails go. Wah! Wah! I make it bring over. Wait, I just realized something. Red, are you really gonna make me play 
Final Fantasy 1 through 6, even if it's not on stream? You're going to make me play those? Because I forget if I told you. I, I have actually played Final Fantasy 1. It, it was on an emulator on my phone in uh, 20... It's when I was in Florida with the military, so that would have been, uh, so that would have been 2014. I did play one, but I never finished it. I remember there was a spot that was getting particularly grindy, and I was like, I think I'm, I think I'm good, I stopped. Which I'm sure, you know, absolutely no one would judge me for whatsoever. Uh, 4 through 6 have been on stream. I think I have 4 through 6. Do I have 4 through 6? I don't like grindy. Like, I love Pokemon, but I hate grindy. Okay, hold on. Uh, Final. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy 3 and 4, 3D Remake. 4, The After Years. Type 0, which I have no idea where that is on timeline. 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 Remaster, 9, 11... 10, 10, 2, there it is. I don't have 12, but I got 13, 13, 2, 14, and 14 again. And I have Final Doom. And Disco Elysium. Does that count as a Final Fantasy game? <laughs> because, yuck, murder. I'll kill, I'll do it again. You better not release me out into the public. I will do it again. Please don't play the third, the 3D remake. Isn't that the one that's on Steam? That you want to play? <laughs> uh, anyone else see those eyes? Oh, that was creepy. Did anyone else see that? Right there. There was like two sets of red eyes and then they vanished. Did anyone else see that shit? Do not, don't, don't tell me. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Don't tell me that was just me. What the fuck was that? It was a draconic ass looking face. Oh, God, I'm 90% sure that that was Ridley. Oh, that was so fucking, Ridley's gonna eat my ass. <gasps> Super missiles? Yeah! 13 has two sequels, 12 has a DS sequel, 10 has one sequel, 4 has one sequel, 7 has a prequel, a sequel, something moot. This is why I never wanted to do a Final Fantasy franchise series, man. Uh. Fuck yeah. Shit would last forever. They are better. The 3D, the 3D remake with 3 are ugly. Aw. That's unfortunate. I mean, like, oh, I've, I've never played any of them, so, like, you know, I don't have a... I don't have, like, a standpoint of, like, which were good and which were not. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I would hope that they're good. Um, fuck it. Let's go into the... I don't want to go in there. We're just going on a lovely Sunday drive. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Also, why is my face stretched? I just realized that. There. <sighs> my hair. You ruffled my hair. I should remove that bubble one, shouldn't I? Just stick with the Pikmin one. People like the Pikmin one. But I, uh, Max sells to watch Advent Children play Georgia or Crisis Core. Calling me out like that. That has to at least be somewhat of a crime. That ha 
has to be like a little bit of a crime. But like, it's like 40 bucks, man. And I, 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 haven't, I haven't been able to justify it. Okay, like I do want to play rebirth. I would not play rebirth before I play the UC one. I would, I, I would make sure, I would make sure to. I like that I'm just shooting that guy's ass. He didn't respond. I would make sure to play the Yuffie before I play the new one. I don't remember what Christ, which one Crisis Core was. Is that part of the remix or is that is that older? Wait, that's the PSP one, right? Like. Ah! I'm feeling pressure. It's Zack's game. Yeah, because that's the one. Yeah, Spook, did you say that, like, not to, like, throw you under the bus a little bit, but, like, it made you cry because it was beautiful kind of a thing? Oh, shit. Uh, that's normal. Yeah, so definitely, if, before I do Rebirth, like, look, Tifa's my girl, right? Tifa's best girl. We do anything for Tifa. We simp for Tifa in this house. Um, I would need to play Crisis Core and Yuki's DLC. Like, that, that is a 100% given. And I need to watch Advent Children. I watched the Dead Space. Uh, I need to watch Advent Children. Is there a lava down there? Uh... And play Georgia Cerberus. It's been game to take. Wasn't that the one you said was like the hottest of ass though? Like it was awful. Or am I thinking of something else that you're like, this game sucks, but it's funny. You should play it. <laughs> and how many of these need to be on stream? I chained. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just like I, I distinctly remember. I have no idea where I'm going right now for the record. I distinctly- Oh fuck! I distinctly remember you saying that that game was awful and horrible and you're and like, yo, you should play it for lore, but really it's awful. Oh shit. And then you're just like, I changed my fucking mind. What, you think I'm fucking perfect? Like, no, I changed my mind, bitch. Play the game. Oh shit. Maybe, maybe, Max, you should shut the fuck up and play Dirge of Cerberus. <laughs> I mean, I did really like that stuff as a character. Although, I still am bothered by how he works mechanically. That, like, in his different demon forms or whatever, he just kind of turns off as a character and he becomes more of an environmental hazard. I still loved him, like, in concept. And also because I'm a fucking emo bitch. So, you know. Uh, play them all on stream, you fucking nerd. <laughs> I do remember you bringing it up, yes. Yep, and I remember you talking about the, uh, in the sewers. I just realized my face not working. Ah. Ah. Yeah, my face is working good. I remember in the sewers, there was, like, those weird, like anime ass black and red tentacled enemies kind of a thing and I was like what the fuck are these what's the point of this and they're like this is part of a super secret uh, conspiracy with like the, the government trying to make super weapons with the, the ma ma material and I remember like I remember we got to that point and I was sitting there going like what's the point of this and you're like it's Dirge of Cerberus it's Advent Children like just, just, just don't fucking don't, don't worry about it and I thought it was weird but it was nice that there was like a tie in like, like, I appreciated that it was there, but it was weird because me, without context, I was just like, what the fuck? Heck, I'm still mad at the ending of, of Rebirth, or whatever the fucking remake is called. Because it turned into a giant fucking anime battle that made no sense and was stupid. I'm still mad at that. And they're like, you're gonna fight fucking Zephyroth at full power, but not really because it won't matter. And I was just like, what's the point of any of this then? And you're like, cause it's, you're like, cause it's epic. I will sit here and I will do this all day, motherfucker. No, 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 no. You're like, cause it's epic. Shut up, Max. It was cool. I was like, I don't think it was that cool. I think it was, I think the, I still stand by. Well, you get my point. 
I, I hated the ending of the remake. I hated it. I still, I stand by my statement. I think the ending should have been one last spirit saying, please don't, in the name of, you know, protecting the, I don't know, fate and destiny and bullshit. You know, like, we tried to force you, we tried to scare you, we tried to use illusions, just please don't. And you say no. And then he just quietly lets you pass because he can't stop you. I think that still would have been so... I still think that would have been... It, it was a spectacle. There was no point. There was no substance. All of reality and shit was falling apart. And for what reason? Why? It didn't matter. It was all an illusion. It should have been quiet. It should have been contemplative. It should have been like the one last stand of please don't fuck with destiny. And like, and we're like, no, we're going to fuck with destiny. And he's like, all right, well, I can't stop you then. But just know you're fucking with destiny. It would have been so much better. I'm sorry, it was anime bullshit. Shit, I did it again. It was anime fucking bullshit is what it was. He was like, now you're gonna go up against three gods and one has a sword and one punches and one has a gun. Oh, I wonder what those represent. There's a dog that's tails on fire and it looks like Charizard. Like, no, no one cares. All right, damn it. I wanted the moral idea of fighting destiny and destiny not wanted you to do it, but you doing it because it's freedom. The spit in the eye of fate. And they're like, no, we just want to have yeah, fuck. We just want psh, explosions. We want you to fight Sephiroth. And, uh, but you don't know want to tell really is why you don't get any of the references. I literally had to explain stuff to you. Spoiler for you. <laughs> Those are they were literally referencing the fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted philosophy. <laughs> Fuck this guy, Max. We're canceling. <laughs> canceling Max's ass. Was it for his political or racy jokes? No, it's because he didn't appreciate the end. The anime. You fucking cancel. <laughs> no, the the reason we're canceling Max, Max is because he didn't appreciate the anime ass ending of the game and how it was beautiful and referencing eight different shits at once. That's the reason I'm getting canceled. <laughs> I'm telling the FF fans on Twitter, they gonna get you. <laughs> Bring it on. They're a bunch of ner- Oh shit, I'm dead. Bring it on. They're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> it over. <laughs> okay, fine. So I need to play at it. Get good nerds. <laughs> I can appreciate the symbolism of it. And if I'm missing the symbolism because I haven't played the game, fair enough. That's on me. Egg on my face. Right. I can appreciate that. Right. Like, I could take a step back. And if it is a direct reference, and in, if in this moment right now as we're talking, I, for I forgot about it. You know, if if in this mo if in this moment I I I miss out on it and I don't appreciate it because I haven't played the things, fair's fair. That's on me. Okay, I can take a step back and acknowledge that. But I feel like I shouldn't had to have played all fifteen hundred of those games. <laughs> I'm screaming, crying, throwing up, coming jail is fucking causing ass quakes. Come on, Max, you're causing the end of the world. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. There. 
there. How many of my sins does this fix? Let's see, uh... Let's see, just those related to FF7, you fuck! <laughs> see, Spook, I haven't tried to convince you to be more okay with insulting me. Now I know I just need to start insulting Final Fantasy VII, and it'll set you fucking off. Uh, each entry had an F you. There was over 20 years to get the lore. I am also screaming, crying, and throwing up. Oh, wait. Uh, just like this call me. Well, if I hope not having a password, just like this call me for a military exchange program. It shouldn't, but get a, get a, get a passport isn't too bad. Even Molly looks done, sick of your shit. Doggers are done with your shit, bruh. Are those faking dead? So the reason I, the reason I moved the camera is because I was looking over at the dogs and I was checking on them. I was I was I was I was just looking over them just to see what they were doing, and um, Molly was laying her head on Arlo's gut, and it was super cute. So I'm gonna leave that up for just a little bit. Yeah, like it, I mean, if they, you didn't know that you were supposed to get a passport, so if they do not have like a grace period because you don't have a passport, like that would that would be stupid as all get out. Like you sh you should totally be able to get one. Time. Jail when no one cares, we're dying over Max insulting Final Fantasy 7. Damn! Fuck you, Red. I want to see other stuff around the world. Hey, man, brother. Gotta explore the world. I can't believe Final Fantasy 7 is tearing this family apart. Insulting one of my fave games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna angrily eat my spaghetti. Okay, look. First off. I insult every game I play, and god, Spook, I for, it remind me, Spook, how much were you there when I initially played the original Final Fantasy VII and the remake? Like, I, I... No, you really don't. The only thing that matters is JRPG. <laughs> Look, Max, you insult everything, but the moment you insult... The moment you insult JRPGs, like, it's fucking jo It's fucking Jover. It's, it's fucking... You're going to hell. You're going to... There's no other way to put it. You're going to the boiler room of hell because apparently... Okay. Red, Red, just... I know you remember it more strongly than I do because I, I'm kind of di I'm kind of dippy that way. How much... I'm sending you to the shadow fell. Damn, I'm going to Silent Hill. All right, Red is my witness. How much did I insult... Um... How much did I insult every JRPG that I've played, especially Silent, or not Silent Hill, especially Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> oh god, I just remembered. There's a fucking mini game to... You were really nice about Seven Remake <laughs> and OG. Was I? I thought I was a dick. I thought you said you were sending him a shadow file. I was like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> She's sending me to the black market, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna discover that. I'm gonna discover that. Uh, who do I call it? Spook sister is on there for 20% off. <laughs> We're gonna be like, what a steal! But um, I'm sending you to the dark web. <laughs> you start. Uh, you started the JRPG poop pop party when you got stuck with tail. Oh god, that's right. I I have still not finished Tales of Arise, and that game has gotten like. 18 more <laughs> DLCs. Ah, oh, I was really hoping that was the answer because that would have been really cool. Tails for some reason ruined you. Ah, uh, what was what was the reason? Why why did I hate Tales of Arise so much? Why did I hate Tales of Arise so much? Well, okay, because that's not true. Because I loved the story. It was just I got sick of it. <laughs> It was long, and it felt like it wasn't going anywhere, and I was just kind of like... Uh, okay. Okay, Spook, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you will really enjoy it, okay? Don't play it for stream. Just do not play it for stream, because it's long, and it doesn't go anywhere for the longest-ass time. That's the problem with it. Oh, shit. That's a lot of birds. Wait, no, no, Final Fantasy IX, I shat on Final Fantasy. 
Yeah, the combat was a little weird, and it still bugs me that in the game, you can straight up just be like, auto play the fight so I can watch the, the cute anime. And so I can watch the cute anime cut characters shoot the magic and kill the things for me. And so I can watch the big numbers go burn. I was like, that's not strategic. Oh, I also I also got really annoyed with uh I also got really annoyed with uh Tales of Arise because of um I remember this distinctly. That there are multiple fights and multiple abilities. Or you, there are multiple fights that required you to use certain abilities and to have certain characters out, but the timing of them was really weird. And that shit drove me nuts. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy IX, I was okay with it until they were like, by the way, you're the Antichrist. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, you little weird monkey ass thief motherfucker. You're the Antichrist. That's when I got, oh shit. Oh shit. I just realized, yeah, new, new Metroid. That's when I got, like, really annoyed with, uh... Oh, 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 I know what to do. Damn. Oops. That's when I got particularly annoyed. Oh, damn, this guy's wrecking me. He shot that out of the back of his head! Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh, damn these projectiles. Back. Okay, good. That, that's good to hear, Jail. <laughs> I riled you up. I'm just being a shit right now. Did I actually riled you up? I feel kind of bad. <laughs> oh. Like the best part is, all right, hold on. Let me, uh, let me readjust my camera. I feel like I've, I feel like I've zoomed. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, like. I'm just being a shit, and I riled you up. I literally died from starvation because I was defending Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> but no, I I was totally cool with um, oops. I was totally cool with Final Fantasy IX, except for the limit break system, just because you couldn't like choose when to fire it off. That that I didn't like that. I liked it in concept, but I didn't really like that that like I couldn't control when it went off. But um, I didn't like it when they told you that you were the Antichrist and you were part of a super secret group of aliens and aren't you the coolest chosen one. I liked it better when you were a shitter. You're just some asshole. Oop. Uh, oh. Damn, I just wasted all my- I just wasted three super misses. Eat shit. Eat shit. Oh wow, I just realized how dead I am. Uh, oh no, come on. Don't land. Okay. Oh, no. The landing on me counts as damage. Fuck you. Because, of course, the landing on me counts as damage. Oh, damn it. Ah. My first instinct is to leave. Can I shoot those? Nope, I can't. Okay. Should I be using the ice? I should be using the ice. Oh, I don't. Worth. But uh, I don't even remember what, remember what my problem was with Final Fantasy that set you off to make you so mad about. Oh, it's that I didn't appreciate all the different references, and I thought the ending was dumb because I didn't realize it was a, it was a reference. That's it. That's ah fuck. That's literally it. Like okay, playing the OG Final Fantasy. Did I have a problem with the game? What was my problems with Final Fantasy VII as an OG? I don't think I had any. Except okay, um, no, there was one. There was one. I didn't like that. Hey, Red, that's mean. Red, you're abusing your power. Put him back. Unba untime him out. That's rude as shit. Hey, that's mean. Can you untime him out? Untime him out. You big old meaty pants. I don't know. Well, damn it, don't time him out then. <laughs> Jail's allowed to give you shit. <laughs> That's why I did 69. Okay, fine. I, I, get, I guess, but rude. But, um, no, my main issue, I think, with Final Fantasy VII was that there's a few moments that were very specifically, like, story-based kind of a thing. Like, uh, I remember the big one 
the big one that really struck me was when you go to... He's allowed to give you shit, just... Fuck. He's allowed to give you shit like I'm allowed to give you shit. That's the rules of this safe space, damn it. We all give shit to each other equally. That's why I'm going to look at the camera directly in the eye. Well, I didn't know you could spam that. That's cool. Um, I, it's why, okay, just for a second, I'm going to do something. Okay, I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to look the camera in the eye. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to change this, so I'm cut off at the bottom. I, all right, um, I'm gonna look. At, I'm gonna look in the eye. I'm gonna look in Spooky's eyes. Zach ain't shit. Anyways, uh, <laughs> this is the Pikmin one. Take one to no one. <laughs> I love the Pikmin. I love that they're all T posing. I wish I could make them slide off instead of fall off, but like or disappear. But it they make me happy. I I like the Pikmin. But um, yeah, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look into the camera and say, "Zach ain't shit." Anyways, just a just a piss off spooky. <laughs> you are killed, destroyed, Shadow Falcons. <laughs> oh my goodness. But okay, no, my main issue with Final Fantasy VII was that there were certain moments, and I remember that you guys said there's a few of them, but the most important one was Aerith going to Zach's house and being like oh shit Zack is dead that it's this really touching really important moment and that it's really easy shit, shit, shit. it's really easy to accidentally miss it especially if you don't have her in the party Come on. yeah 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 I posted all over Twitter and read it the dark web. <laughs> oh shit. I almost had that. Wait. What? Wait, wait, I'm wait, hold on. I also got taught told to church it up my unit roles and responsibilities for Yeah, you gotta be a good little Christian boy. You gotta it's about it's about the looks. I get that, I get that. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Pull your ass down. And then I gotta get to this other side here and go shunka, 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 shunka. Oh, okay, too late, too late. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit, I was trying to crouch under it. Shut up, fucked it up. Damn. I think that was my main issue with Seven as the OG. Also, uh, some, of the, some of the mini games felt in poor taste. And there were some things that felt kind of weird that, like... You couldn't, um, you could miss it if you didn't do it perfectly, but, like, I liked it, but I also got kind of annoyed by it. Uh, I think the main one was the, uh, when you went to space kind of a deal. Um, oh, I didn't like the ultimate weapons, the ultimate weapons, because they felt very, like, I'm sorry, did you not grind this game 100% perfectly? Fuck you, I guess. Like you're 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 not gonna be able to do it. But I also understand because it was it's 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 end game content. So like, if there's anything that's gonna be like that, it would be that. Some of the mini games felt super jank. Um, and then the remake. What if, what did I like or not like about the remake? Besides sometimes besides not liking the ending and thinking the. Uh, and thinking some of the encounters that were references, even though, yes, I recognize it's because their references were kind of weird. I think some of the enemies I complained about, just because they were weird mechanically. And then, um... Nah, oh. yeah, just fucking super missiles in the gut. Hot damn, he is red as fuck. Come on. Mm, pulls ass. Oh, come on. That killed me. That's bullshit. They should put me to the side, damn it. Meh. Oh, the other thing I didn't like about Seven was that a lot of times when you were, um, when Zach was talking to you, it was hard to tell who was talking to who. And I think that kind of adds to it thematically because the idea is that, like, there's a voice in the back of your head, but you're not really entirely sure who it is. So you're not sure if it's you or if it's him. It's so, like, that's kind of the point. But also, it got kind of annoying sometimes, you know? Because you'd just be sitting there like, 
you'd be sitting there like, who's talking? Who's this boy? What's the, what's this? You know what I mean? Like, it, I, I understand why it worked that way, but it did get kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, the remake, I, I think it was just the ending. Sometimes some of, like, the extra stuff got gratuitous, but sometimes it was also a lot of fun. Um, I think I got annoyed because, oh, shit. There's some side quest things that felt like they didn't matter. Sometimes the gameplay felt kind of repetitive and flail. Yeah, I think that was, I think that was the big thing that like some of the gameplay felt very like flaily. Like you didn't have my Fuck, I'm getting annihilated by this guy. Um that some like the combat and stuff was like weirdly flaily. There was a really high focus on Sephiroth when I feel like there shouldn't have been, and I feel like the ghost should have been handled better. Uh, you think the ultimate weapon of the seven are bad? You already locked yourself out from one, so you beat a super boss in ten because you missed a hit and I'm in the cloister of trials. Oh yeah, that's right. You told me about that. Like God, I, I go I go so back and forth with that kind of stuff. On one side, I love it. Because like, what great replay value. What great like you're on the playground talking. Oh, shit. You're on the playground talking to your friends and someone's like, I discovered this super secret boss and isn't it so cool? And it's like, what? I didn't discover a super secret boss. Or you know, like, oh, wow. That that fire is, or that plasma is fucking chunking the sh shit out of me. Yeah, it's fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, like on one on one side I really like it because of that playground mentality, but on the other side I don't like shit. I don't like um th I'm just being like, there's no way to do this now, pretty much. Like, you know, go fuck yourself. There you go. I need to work on that little bit of a that little bit of a twist. There you go, that's the secret. Yep, I have to fire it and then I have to roll the laser up so I can grab it without being directly under it. Well, Max, he basically told me to not outright lie, but stretch the truth right out to the edge. God bless the military. I mean, I get it. That's lit, yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah, man, I, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I've done that. It's real nice. Did I seriously rile you and spook up? Red Spook, did I seriously rile you up? I was just being a shit. I was not actively trying to make you mad. I was literally just being a shitter. I did not think I riled you guys up that much. Oh my god. Okay, on one side, I, I'm sorry for riling you up so much. On the other side... Oh, no, no, I made this out. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. Oh, Molly, baby. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgot that I had a puppy cam on. I don't think I have the health to fight that lava fight, so I'm going to choose to ignore that. Good. Do it again. Uh, I, look, uh, look, apparently... Apparently, my power to piss them off is... Nah, I was laughing the whole time, but also fuck you. Okay, good. <laughs> or, but still, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I just need to watch Advent Children, don't I? I just, I just need to watch Advent Children. I just need to... Wait, hold on a second. Okay, we need three? Oh, there's a super missile spot down there. Let's go down th there next. There's another one over there. Wait, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, okay, okay, no, so it's gotta be over here. It's probably um, either that one that's to the down and right, or. Now, see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. You. I gotta play all those related to FF7, you fool, and watch the movie. Okay, so here's the thing. Do you. If you want me to play all of those on stream, right? We don't know how long out that's going to be. Because <laughs> if I play them all on my own, I could come back and report and be like, okay, I played them all on my own. I appreciate them. I think Zach is the biggest, cutest hunk of meat out there. And I, I just, like, you know, we could 
we could have that discussion all day, but like, if it's on stream, who knows how long that's going to take before I even get to it. And before I decide that I'm still obsessed with Armored Core. God, I want to play Armored Core. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like... Um, damn, I thought that was the... Where'd I go? It's not there. Fuck it, you know what? Alright. Guess what we're doing, folks. You know that thing that I said is going to kill us? We're going to play with it. Because I'm not immediately seeing another thing for us to do. Hopefully this uh, space jump thing will help with it. Zach is a doofy sweet bun. I love him. I do remember really liking, like, his positivity in uh, 7 was infectious. 100%. And, like, oh, God, when he, when he fought all the soldiers and got fucking obliterated, it was heartbreaking. It was such a good scene. And then by the same, oops, shit. by the same virtue, um, even though I didn't really have an appreciation for it, because like I haven't played Crisis Core and stuff, seeing him, seeing him like on the outskirts of the city where he was shot previously, being like, oh, what a warm welcome, am I right, folks? Oh wait a second, this lava is nowhere near. Oh. Oh, I can't space jump in the water. Uh, yeah, so they probably want me to have, like, the gravity suit before I can do that. No, okay. I will say, okay, I think this was part of the trailer in... Was it Crisis Core or was it... Um, I have no idea where to go next. I guess we'll head back over there, see if we can find anything. I'm not sure. I'm gonna drink my soda. Or drink my drink. Which trailer for Final Fantasy VII was it where um, they showed Sephiroth and Cloud and um, Sephiroth, and they had like the, because it was when Sephiroth was like cool. Well, I mean, he was always cool, but you know what I mean? It's when he was a good guy. And, um, Cloud was doing, like, the Buster Sword position, or maybe it was Zack, I don't remember. And, uh, Sephiroth was, like, behind him with, like, the long-ass sword, so it was like they were covering for each other. And Sephiroth called Cloud a little puppy. And on one, it was, like, really creepy, and it felt kind of gay, because, like, everyone was immediately, everyone was, like, the moment that was played, they were like, oh, they fucking, oh, they straight fucking, there's no, like, that was everyone's immediate response, meanwhile, I saw it, and I was like, that feels weird, I don't like the idea of anybody calling me, like, a puppy, like, that feels wrong, but everyone else's response was like, oh, they gay, like, hey, hey, this is this is proof. Like, it was like vindication for every person with fan art. And I, meanwhile, I'm just sitting there, just like, what the, what the fuck? Yeah, they fucking. Not like they casually fucking. No, they like. They're, like he's trying to impregnate that boy. Like, it's like that was everyone's immediate response on Twitter. And I'm sitting there like, this feels. It feels wrong. Oh shit, this is where the other Metroid is. Hey, I got it right. In the back of my head, I was sitting there thinking like, okay, I probably should go back to the, uh, I should probably go back to the one gate just for sake of like, uh, I should probably go back to the gate just for sake of getting a hint in case this is a wild goose chase, but, uh, nope, this is actually it. Nice. Oh, all right. How does this sound, Max? Uh, prepares ML993 for direct and indirect support of toad operations. Um, I question the word toad operations for direct and indirect support. Well, I guess direct and indirect. 
Okay, okay, I can roll with that. I can roll with that. Um, assist in the training, welfare, health, and discipline of four soldiers. Um, okay, you say four. Um, say T. Oh, have you ever had more than four? Or, like, how many have you trained total? So, like, uh, when I was in the Navy, I, like, was regularly in charge of two to three positions. But depending on the situation, I would train upwards of, like, six, seven, eight people in one go. So, when I put in the resume, I included that, even if it was only in a few circumstances. So, you can, like, up the numbers a little bit. Once again, that's, like, a, that's a little bit of shenanigans, but um, it'll help with the resume because it shows that you're capable of it. Right, but have you ever trained more than four? Have you ever been in charge of, like, six, seven, or eight? Or, like, how many people have you trained total? But like I, I like I like what you're thinking. I'm just saying we can we can we can kind of we can bump those numbers a little bit. Um, supervisors handling transportation, accountability, and distribution of ammunition. Uh, if there's another word we can use with ammunition to make it sound broader in aspect, like say ammunitions and supplies and supply management. Um, assist section chief in supervision of operations. Assist in assists in supervision of operations and efficiency we could add like efficiency we just gotta throw buzzwords man buzzwords we're, we're like we're like white players in magic the gallery just buzzwords uh mate uh you said uh assist section chief in supervision of operations maintenance and training that's good uh equipment maintenance and training maybe uh supervises the operation you already said that so i may either make like the efficiency point like ensuring operational efficiency and or if it uh, assuring operational efficiency and use of resources maybe uh loading and maintenance of mm m119 yeah loading and maintenance understanding conducts maintenance on over two million worth of section equipment now i'll say you saying that that is you including the dollar amount is super good like that makes it sound fucking hype you know what i mean so yeah, that saying that like on over two million dollars worth of equipment, that is that is good. That is super good. It's the same kind of thing when you like blast that. Shit. Oh, I didn't kill him. It's the same kind of thing of like when uh, if you ever do anything where you're directly in charge of people's lives or anything like that. Just so, like, in my resume, I talked about how, um, my operations was regularly in charge of, like, the safety of over, of, at one point, like, over a thousand separate lives overseas in, like, top secret areas. Like, that kind of helps sugar the cake a little, or, you know, sugar the donut, glaze the cake. You know what I'm trying to say. What was I talking about before? Oh, yeah, they fucking, straight up, Sephiroth and, uh, fucking Sephiroth and Cloud were fucking in that clip and it was weird as shit and i didn't like it it made me feel uncomfortable and i know everyone was like oh that's hot i was like nah i don't think it is hot i think it's weird because it's like it's not in like a mutually respectful kind of like oh they're in a loving relationship together no it was just it was like predatory <laughs> and it made me very uncomfortable <laughs> i'm not gonna deny that for a second <laughs> What was my main point with that? I don't know. Every now and then Sephiroth comes off as really creepy. And I feel like that's halfways on purpose, but halfways it's weird. They have nasty un like you think I'm joking. Like Sephiroth is confused how babies are made and he's trying to he's trying to make Cloud pregnant. That is the vibe that I got from that shit. That's like, oh, they, yeah, they are not making love, okay? They are, they're not cuddling. They are not being consensual about it. They fuck. They raunchy pigs in the sty, fuck. Like this, this, this is not, this is not making love. This is not even having sex anymore. And uh, it, it did make me feel good. The more I thought about it, I was like, I don't want to think about this anymore. Uh, where am I trying to go? Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't want to think about it. Nah, nah, no sweet pet alone. It's fu it's fucking pigs in a sty. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Red's like, count me in. <laughs> I'm sorry, you want to use me as a fuck toy? Say no more. <laughs> in fact, if you, if you offer to cuddle, I'll actively refuse it. I don't want there to be cuddling. I don't want this to be passionate. <laughs> Yeah, like if if you if try to include try to include like sub, if okay. One of the things I learned is um if you can go broad like we you want to be specific whenever you can, but specificity has its own problems because like okay. You saying like 2 million dollars of equipment. That's awesome. But if you were like one million eight hundred seventy-six thousand dollars nine hundred twenty-three cent, no, no, like it, it's two million dollars in equipment or over up to, right? Like it, it's it's making things a little bit more broad and making it sound a little more intense. <laughs> know what I mean? But that being said, from what you wrote down, that does sound pretty good already. So I don't I don't want you to think I'm pooing on it. Like I, I'd say so far, so far that sounds pretty good. Also, I will not get over the humor value of yeah, I'll help you with the rest of my real quick. Let's talk it out. And then like ten seconds later, no cuddle! Oh no passion! Only fuck! I want you to use me like a fucking <laughs> Oh god, what how gross of phrases should I get into? It's like, oh I'm sorry, I want you to use me as a cum sock, thank you. <laughs> Or no, cum sleeve is the term. Yeah, cum sleeve. <laughs> Everyone's like, Max, where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> it's the vibe! It's the vibe they get, and I don't like it! <laughs> also, use me as a reference so that way they could, so that way um, officers can watch me talk about Cloud wanting, or Sephiroth wanting to use Cloud as a cum sleeve. It's all good, man. I'm glad, I'm glad to help. I, that's, that is what I want to do. Also, what the fuck? How am I supposed to... Okay, you're like, hey, yo! <laughs> Tell me I'm fucking wrong. <laughs> it's funny how there's two completely different combos going on. That's because I have autism. No, that's me quoting Russia bad Badger video. I have horrendous ADHD. Um, as my dad says, I shouldn't joke about. I hear the voices. <laughs> my dad says I shouldn't joke about that because his dad actually did hear voices. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so it's like Max. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't joke about that, but I'm kind of a bastard, so. Okay, um. Okay, that is clearly where they want me to go, right? And they haven't given me any new tools. Okay, so I can't get through that spot. I can't get through that spot. Having ADHD or hearing the voices? <laughs> Hearing the voices. See, Dad has a circus in his head. I also have a circus, but I hear voices sometimes. <laughs> also, I see shadow people in the sides of my vision. Does anyone else get that? That's not a joke for the record. I like, okay. My ex gift did apparently as well. Never while I was around as far as I knew. <laughs> like, okay. Someone tell me if this has ever happened to them or if it's just me. That, like, you're doing whatever, and in the corner of your eye, you see something shadowy move. But whenever you look at it, it's gone. And, like, sometimes... Like, it might happen if you're more stressed or tired than anything else. But, like, I've seen quadrupeds. I've seen bipeds. I've seen bug-looking things. And it's all fuzzy, and there's not enough detail for me to get an actual prop proper look at them. But, like, whenever I see them, they're gone, and they're always moving. They're always moving fucking fast. <laughs> I still get that, like, a lot. But it's usually, like, it's the more tired and stressed I am, the more I see it. So I don't know if that's, like... Oh, shit. Uh, my 3DS is dying. 
Oh, fuck. You need to fix that. Um, I don't know if that's more like... Ugh. Max is stressed out, or... Hang on a second. Argo, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. No, everyone's gonna see my feet. Everyone's gonna see my feet. And I can't even charge people. Damn it. I have to charge people for those foot picks. Alright, well, the 3S is dying. Ah, it needs its battery. No, everyone, get everyone laid back down in position. Gotta see those foot picks. <laughs> Ugh, barfs. <laughs> That's right. You get to see that I have feet. It happens usually during sleep paralysis when I have it, I can look directly at them. Sleep paralysis. Yeah, I've had that a few times. Like, um. The worst. I don't know how often you guys get this. Is, um. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, it's like looking at AI art that you. <gasps> Spook, can you do me a favor? Uh, Spook, can you do me a favor? You know that video that I sent you that I was like, you're gonna make fun of me for this because it's like girls with boobs. Can you post that in the one Discord? Cause that is, yeah, it's like, that video is so weird. So basically, um, when I play Magic the Gathering, I like to put on like some kind of synthwave radio or something. And, um, you know, just to have like something to listen to the background because Tabletop Simulator doesn't have any music unless you personally set the music. And, um... So, I, yeah, I look up like Synthwave Radio, so a lot of times YouTube will recommend them to me and simply put a lot of the art that they use as like some boopsy, booby anime girl, whatever, right? Um... So I found this picture and I moused over on accident. I, no one believes me, but on accident. Damn, that's fair. But um, no one's gonna believe me that I moused over on accident and the picture started to shift in this really weird way. And then I was like, okay, I need to actually watch it. And it's synthwave and whatever, the synthwave sounds fine, you know, good for them. But like, it was just super trippy because it's like someone took art of like three different anime girls and it just constantly shifts the whole time. Like, sometimes their mouth will be open, sometimes their mouth will be closed, sometimes their, like, eyes will be open or closed, sometimes the strap on their clothes will change. It's like someone took one art and AI just drew it, like, 40 times, and they shift between them. It was, it's so weird, and I, I bring it up because I imagine that's kind of like what we're talking about with, like, the shadow thing. Uh, if you look up synthwave radio and there's one that looks like a very pixelated like 80s cop that's one i normally listen to i forget the i forget the youtube channel but that's the one i normally listen to but um yeah i imagine that's like a good way to describe yeah what when we have like sleep paralysis or something i just fucked up the counter like four times right there no one noticed everyone shut up um yeah, I've, more recently, I remember... Okay, so I've talked about this before, but at work, I have a 30-minute break. So I use it to uh, take a nap because I have a back office that I can do that in. So I have, like, a beanbag chair. I lean against... I have a pillow. I lean against the wall and I sleep. And for whatever reason, I started to sleep. And well, I started to fall asleep. And my body started to convulse like I was paralyzed. And, um... You know in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, when they show Springtrap, like, dying, he's like, bleh, 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 like, in the corner because, you know, all the springs are, like, going into his body? That's what I was doing, and it was like that for, like, 10, okay, maybe, like, I fell asleep for 5, and then I started to feel it for, like, 5 minutes, but it felt like an eternity. It was probably only, like, 30 seconds. And then Megan called me because she needed something, and it snapped me out of it, and I was thankful it was like holy shit that was horrific and i told her that uh i told her that like after work when he got home she's like oh so i kind of saved your life a little bit i was like yeah <laughs> it was it was pretty bad i don't know what happened but it wasn't fun <laughs> uh is there oh, I was be a nice here. this place is looking very pretty though 
What were we talking about? I forget. Oh yeah, that Final Fantasy VII is dumb. That sounds about right. Oh, sh yeah. Final Fantasy VII isn't dumb, for the record. Also, for the record, um, so with you guys wanting me to do all the other Final Fantasy stuff, right? Do I need to play the original Crisis Core and then play the remake and both of those on stream? Or do I need to, um, just play the remake? Just play the remake? Okay. It's just, dur watch the movie and dirt. Okay, sorry. So, Advent Children, the movie Advent Children, director's cut. Play Dirge of Cerberus. And then we can play the remake of... The remake of Crisis Core and Yuffie's. I think Yuffie's came out first. Even though I didn't really like Yuffie as a character that much, but like... Okay, she was fine. I just, I just didn't really care for her that much. I'm gonna make a bet. Oh, never mind. She's fine as a character. I just, I just didn't like her as much as, uh, like Tifa and Aerith and so on. Uh, that depends on how, copy however they do it on the paperwork. I always, I, uh, 0307, 1995. Yeah, so I always do month, day, year, but that's just me. Integrate DLC is short. It's still like 40 bucks or something, like. It is, it is, to put it politely, not been in the budget, nor has it been on the cheap enough for it to become on the budget. Okay, big missiles. Big missile, ow! That's an awesome feeling, just being like, fuck you! I love it, I love that. All right, we got one out of seven. Yep, let's keep going. We'll definitely go to the tonight. Let's see, God's in that one sleep process. I had clear as day, I was lying on my side, felt such awful press like right behind me, the vibes, I guess. Yeah, like just slimy. You feel like if you move, you're gonna die. Yeah, I can. I'm not gonna pretend to know exactly what you went through, but I can imagine it, and it's it is not a positive. Really, the the analogy with spring trap is like the closest I can think of of when I get hit with it. And that that heck, that might not even be technically uh, sleep paralysis. It's awful, whatever it is. But it might not technically be sleep paralysis. Just because I'm not gonna ow. I'm not gonna pretend to be a doctor that I can like diagnose it, you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm kind of an idiot. Don't tell anyone that, but I am kind of an idiot. Integrate DLC is sure, but I think I mean it's more remains because it's pretty much like the original. Oh, okay, so it's not as much as like reference heavy or like uh, subversive. Ah. See, okay. So, my friend Zach, who is, for record, the one who got me to play Tales of Arise, right? He loved Tales of Arise. But he basically admitted afterwards that, like, maybe I shouldn't have streamed it because that killed the joy of it. He played the remake for Seven, absolutely loved it. Ah, shit. Absolutely loved it. And I asked him if he played the original, and he said no. And that there, it was his first Final Fantasy set. It was his first Final Fantasy game, period. And that there were a few things he didn't really understand, but that ultimately he liked it. I'm still on the fence of whether or not I should recommend Final Fantasy VII as someone's first Final Fantasy game. Because that game really is, it's laden with so much. Please don't do 10 like that. Um, I couldn't possibly do 10 like that because I'm too horny for Lulu. What were you talking about again? Um, fall to the dark side. <laughs> but, um, Oop, shit. Well, that works out. Hey, big boy. Give me that. <laughs> But, um, 
Yeah, there's so much references and like different material going on with Seven that I feel like you could enjoy it, but like it's themage of uh, it's themes of here's how the original played out and we're subverting it. I feel like makes it so that if that's your first Final Fantasy, like if you know nothing about Final Fantasy, would you really be able to enjoy that game? And I don't know if I could say you can, to be completely honest. BG3 almost done on the Steam Deck. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna play so much Final Fantasy while I shit. Oh wait, slow time. Why? Why would I want to slow time? Why would I want to? Why would I want to slow time? Um, hmm. I mean, obviously, slowing time would be dope, but like, what puzzle will this help me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's that one area. There's that one area where I had to run across a bunch of things that were, um, oh, I bet I could do this too. Hang on. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, it does not slow it for wind. Mm. Okay, it doesn't slow it for wind. But there's that one bit where I had to basically run across a bunch of shit. And I, um... Oh, yeah, like here. It was basically like this, so I could do this. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. So maybe I don't have the super run like I normally do. But I can do that now. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put five soldiers. I think my section is outlier and having three. Yeah, I'd say up to five soldiers. Yeah. What was I saying before? Okay, so Advent Children. I still need to figure out like um. Okay, if I could ever get my ass, if if I could ever get my shit together, my ass in order. Look at my ass. Um. And we could do a movie night. Would Advent Children be something you guys would want to watch? Oh, look at those frames! Look at the flip! Look at the frame rate on that fire! It's so goofy. I love it. Um, yes. Uh, it, I, uh, it's a sequel to Final Fantasy VII. Question mark? I think. Look, you get to see Tifa in like a black leather outfit and it's hot, all right? Like, there you go. That's your motivation. It's hot. It's not a tank top, but it's a good ass look. I'm just saying. I never have either, so. Yeah. Depends how much of a heads up. Um, I would try to give everyone a pretty good heads up. I would try to schedule it make sure everyone's pretty dang aware of it I'd probably pick Advent Children and one other movie but I don't know what maybe Underworld just for funsies but I haven't, I haven't decided yet oh. oh shit oh shit oh fuck oh fuck okay see how the oh no 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 they point in whatever direction I am. Let's see if I can kill it. Good, they are killable. All right, good, good, good. And another elevator. I love the underworld movie. Uh, because with you giving birth and me maybe giving a deal with the house of sales folks, you were both right. And it's Christmas season, so. I know I keep talking up doing a movie night, but half of it is just me trying to feel out what kind of movies you guys would enjoy. So if Advent Children is definitely on that list, that would be a benefit to me then, just because I could be like, all right, you know, we joked about Underworld before. We've joked about Van Helsing before because that's when Jailwood had his awakening to goth mommies, which is the way the truth in life. Uh, what are we talking about? And, um, 
you guys are like, Max, you need to watch Advent Children because you know, help, help you understand the lore. Blah, 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 blah. It'll, it helps me. You know what I mean? But yeah, like, there's no guarantee on when or how or anything like that. But I would try to give, like, a good two, three, four day ahead of time. I'd tell Spook and Wham about it, too, just if they want to join in and, or get them people to join in. It'd probably start at, like, nine my time. And it would go into the evening a bit. Wrong, I had that wiki because that bad bitch and Kim Possible. Yes, I misspoke. Wham and Panda. So I never watched Kim, or uh, I vaguely remember watching Kim Possible. Like I, I was by that black and green woman. I don't remember really actually watching Kim Possible, but um, what was her name? Shiga. Sheep, 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 Um. Yeah. Not even. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna argue that. I'm not. Yeah. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Megan keeps singing the theme song, but I don't know how much she's actually watched it. Yeah, I, I definitely have not. I, I'm not going to pretend for a second that I have. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Max, you're stuck on a loop. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just saying... She's hot. I, I, I do not need to justify myself, nor will I. Because I speak the truth. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, I can't pull it up with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Welcome back to the adventures of Max has a type and it's pretty easy to fulfill that type. <laughs> Which reminds me, um, so, Me so Megan cut her hair, uh, like a month or so ago because it was just getting really long because when you're pregnant, your hair grows faster and thicker, which is awesome. But, um, it was getting really heavy. So she cut it super short and, um, I remember like, when she showed me, it's like, what do you think? I was like, I don't like it. I like, I liked it better with long hair. And she kind of gave me some shit for it. Because it's like, well, it's my hair, Max. It's like, I know, but damn. Like, this, I, it's an unfortunate downside. It has now... Wow. This is a massive power boost. Um, she... So it was left curly before, and then it was... And then she, like, strained it out because we were uh, going to church. She just wanted it to look nice. And it, I was like, oh, my goodness. It looks exactly like Jill's hair. And she's like, what are you talking about? I showed her a picture, and she put her hair behind her ear. It is Jill's hair to a T. And I thought that was hilarious. She didn't, but I thought it was. I'm sorry, but if that's how you're going to respond when you ask that question, don't ask it. It's like, I just, I, like, it, it doesn't stop me from loving her. I just liked her hair when it was longer because I like longer hair, but also, hi, Jill. How's it going? <laughs> Max gave me shit till we broke up because I got rid of my top knob, so you're valid. <laughs> we did break up over my hair, though, to be fair. Well, I imagine. If it was a point of contention, it, if it was not a point of contention, it probably added to it because the whole disrespect. I'm, I'm not gonna pretend to know the situation with your ex, but I can imagine. So yeah, her hair right now, it, it is it is Jill's, which is, I think is really cool. I think it's kind of neat. I get a feeling. Oh, my feeling was wrong.
Nah, 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 nah. Holy shit! I'll rip through. Uh, wait, no, shit, what's this? Why are there so many fucking elevators? Okay, fine, fuck it. I don't know where this elevator fucking leads, but sure, I guess. It's probably because we're in the final stretches of the game, Max. Where are the last power-ups you need? Uh, uh, super bomb, probably. Um, there's one that I know of that's a spoiler. Oh, there's a metro here, sure. Sup, motherfucker? Oh, pfft. <laughs> Sup, motherfucker? Immediately gets nailed. Yeah, the super jump. There's one that I know is a spoiler. And, or a super bomb. And then the screw attack. Or probably what I'm thinking. Of. Meanwhile, ever since jail brought up Shiva or whatever her name is everyone in chat is like don't mind me when I just look up some I uh, um I can't do the breathing like the I can't do the horny breathing sounds of like I I um I need to uh, I, I, I just I just need to uh, look up something on Google and be um uh, alone for a little bit I just uh, Oh, shit. Um, oh, I, I remember what this bug is. This thing is. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Uh, prepare the Hunter Howitzer for direct and indirect support of Toad Howitzer operations. This is the training, wel training, welfare, health, and discipline of... Okay. Supervises the handling, transportation, accountability, and distribution of ammunition and supplies. Assists section chief in supervision of maintenance, training, operation, and loading of the Howitzer. Conducts maintenance... And conducts maintenance on over to where the section section equipment. Um, I would say if there was a nice succinct way to describe the uh, equipment a little more, the two million dollars worth. If you think there's like a fancier way to say it, but if there's not, that's fine. I love when I accidentally have this on, so I'm just like, girl, I'm gonna slap that butt like. Like, this is funny when I do that on accident. But, um, yeah, if you have a more grandiose way to describe the $2 million worth of equipment, I think that might be good. But otherwise... Is, is there another word we can use? It's really... I think it sounds really good, but that last sentence, I'm wondering if we can make a little, a little spicier. As we go bo back and forth between Max being a horny bitch and, um talking about resumes nah cuz you already use the word howitzer a lot you know what I mean nah maybe I'm overreacting it, 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 it's I'd say it sounds good it sounds good um, oh this is all for a super missile fucking whatever uh, I'm gonna bounce early max and feel entire oh well it's all good man I understand you were up late Thanks so much for stopping by, though. It's always good to have you. Hopefully, I didn't drive you too nuts with me making fun of Final Fantasy. That or I probably tired you out, let's be honest. But, um... Yeah. It was, it was good to have you, though, man. I hope you can get some... Get some good rest. And, um, yeah. Tentative plan. We'll probably be continuing Baldur's Gate 3 on... Tuesday. I've got I gotta figure out movie night though. We we gotta figure out how to make movie night happen. And if we do, yeah, I'll, I'll probably choose Advent Children and maybe the first Underworld movie or Hellsing. I'm excited. You're good. I'm gonna miss you once Megan lays the babies inside of your corpse. Oh God. I want to talk about nightmare fuel. That is one of the many reasons I'm fucking horrified of spiders. You just described it right there. Fuck that. Thought more you're gonna make more jokes about like, yeah, you know, I mean I'm surprised you live from the process. Is it just supposed to bite your head off during copulation? 
It's like, look, I I got the sex book, okay? I I'm I know how the sex works. Like, I'm I'm kind of an expert. Oh shit! What the? Yeah, she's supposed to bite your head off during copulation. Everyone knows that. That's the praying mantis. Now I'm pretty sure that's humans. I don't know if you know this, Jail, but I have a degree. And I'm pretty sure that's how it works <laughs> with humans. <laughs> Definitely not Prey Man. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, so I only ever saw this game once, but um, it was with Pro Jared. And I don't really, I know Pro Jared still makes stuff, but I don't really watch, I, I haven't really watched his stuff in forever. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Baldur's Gate, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 on Tuesday, hopefully, hopefully. But, um, so what is it that when two people fuck, but everyone keeps their head? Uh, a sin, according to the Bible, I'm pretty sure. Someone has to lose their head. That's the rules. Like, it, it's the law. It's in Leviticus. It's how you have sex. Someone has to lose a head. Wrong. Someone has to die. <laughs> but, um... I should remove the bubbles. Yeah, the chair's too- the, the chair is much more fun than the bubbles, I feel like. But, um... No, she's beheading me. That's how it works. This is a godly home. It's my job to die. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it was poor Jared, and, uh, I don't really watch his stuff anymore. I like some of his Let's Plays, but just not as much as others. You know, like, nothing against the guys. You know, you, sometimes you just stop watching people. And um, there was a video game he played. I forget exactly what it was called. I want to say it was called something along the lines of like, don't have sex. Like, do not have sex. And um, it was a really funny concept because the idea was that you played as an anthropomorphic or whatever the term is, uh, you're know, a humanized praying mantis. And you have this girlfriend and it's the perfect relationship. It's going awesome. Like, you know, you're, you're perfect for each other and she's coming on to you. And I know what everyone's thinking. What's the problem? Well, praying mantises, they, the, the female bites the male's head off during sex for whatever reason. I, I forget, there, there is some specific reason, but like, I don't remember what it is, and it's not important for the story. Where am I going, you might be asking. Right there. So we can go back. But, um... Yeah, like, the, the Praying Mantis girl bites off the head. So the game was basically about... How long could you convince her to not have sex with you? Because you don't want to break up the relationship but you know if you have sex, you'll die. That's it, that's the game. And on what, I was like, oh, fuck, of course it's a screw attack boss thing anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. And I thought that was like a really funny idea for like a dating sim style game of like, instead of, you know, trying to sex up everything that moves, you are actively trying not to. But, um, that's a game I would never play on stream, but I thought it was, I thought it was a pretty funny idea. Oh, shit. Also, once again, no idea where the fuck I'm going for the record. Shit. Wait, wait, Metroid's starting to glow. Yeah, those guys can't be countered because they come themselves in lightning. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, God! Get those super missiles online. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I need to... I need to make sure I'm spinning whenever he jumps at me, so that way I can, uh... Ah, fuck it up. That way I can do that. Okay, I think this is a shockwave, or is that the ground fire? Either way, the solution's the same. That's the shockwave, yep. Yep, alright. Ah, I missed. 
Oops. Okay, I didn't think he reached. I didn't think he reached that low sweet chariot. That's okay, this works out. Yeah, got him. That is that right there is okay, so I think I talked about this on the last time we played this game. But um I really love that anytime I can like jump and hit the button and I start I start tumbling. I love that because it makes it so when you go like so you could be like shit and then you can just start going you're not like locked to it I think that's a I think that's really good design wise you know what I mean and this area out as a result is out clear I think I just realized I never say this often enough and I haven't said it in a little while thank you all so much for watching I hope everyone's enjoying this like I hope everyone is enjoying a litany of Stupid and silly conversations of whatever takes any of our fancies Oop. as we work our out, work our way through this Metroid game, which I honestly forgot. Genu I honestly forgot genuinely how much I love this Metroid game. Like this was one of my firsts, I think. Yeah, this this was one of my firsts. Hell yeah. This is one of the first Metro games I played. Because if I remember correctly, it was Other M, and then I, not until I was in the military did I play uh, Super Metroid, and then this one, Samus Returns. And it's so good. It's such a well made 2D game. It really is. Like, I mean that. Uh, how should I add something about squad operations? Um, I'm not sure. I thought the. Uh, I thought what you had was pretty good. You described their health, their security, their training, their you know, like, I, I, think, I think you got it good there. I think you got it good there. Um, on one side, I know I can drop because there's no fall damage, but I'm trying to, like, keep an eye on the environment. You know what I mean? Uh, was there a reason? Oh, wait, that elevator. Okay, that, I, yeah, that's right. I skipped that elevator earlier because I was like, I don't need to go there. Blah, blah, blah. But, um, it leads to here. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, how's everyone liking the dog camera, by the way? I mean, sure, I can't use my hands, but how's everyone liking the dog camera? As I pop open the soda. Um... Include that when you're in charge of people. Uh, yeah, include it when you're in charge of people, because that's the infantry stuff. It's a thing, really. The doggo cam is a thing. Everyone's kind of like, eh, on it. You like the doggo cam? You get to see Molly being sweet. She's just looking up at me. Like, let me show my dick to the camera. It's like, no, itch my belly, daddy. Daddy, daddy, my belly. Itch my belly, daddy. I can take or leave at the cam, so it does not really matter to me. I don't know, I think it's funny. I think it's funny. If it's there, sure, but if people find it a little annoying, I'll get rid of it. You know, clutter up the screen with even more shit, because why not? <laughs> Doggo <-o> can! <laughs> Alright, says there's a- oh sh There's a lot of water here, so I'm kinda hoping we get the grab suit from this. Although I do- I do also like the detail that, um... 
the gravity suit does not work in the water. I think that's a great way of like, or the the space jump does not work in the water. I think that's a great way of making sure it's like still balanced somewhat, so it's not like an end all be all. Bitch. But yeah, I hope everyone's I hope everyone's enjoying this. I hope everyone's having fun. Friday streams are always weird because it's always. Friday streams are almost always Max just starts talking about dumb shit. And I, I hope everyone finds that everything. Yo. Just kind of letting my ADHD take everyone for a ride. I know there's that spot. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go for that. Up there is progress towards the Metroid, so we'll just try to. If I can angle this correctly, I think what I can do is... Oh, perfect, perfect. That, that's absolutely perfect. Blah! 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 Okay, we're good. That should be most of them. There we go. Metroidometer is going fucking nuts right now. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh. Got it. All right. uh, yeah. Also, I really like how this game, like, it includes the, uh, who do you call it? It doesn't just give you whatever the newest Metroid is. It goes back to the other ones too, so you get the sense that like they're growing at different rates, but they're also like, but like you're also getting stronger. Cause if it was only ever fight the Xenomorph one now, like that get old, you know what I mean? So the fact that it's like, you work with different kinds of them or like you fight the first form or anything. I, I really like that. I dare you, motherfucker. Bitch. I am bitch. Bitch. <laughs> just the moment his electricity goes away, I'm just like, no. <laughs> All right, good shit. Arlo's like, whoa. Whoa. I don't know if I appreciate you saying shit. Jenna says the shit word, but I don't because I'm a good boy. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright, where to next? Oop. Uh, we can get that health there. We can go back down for that one. I feel like we should do that on the way back. Uh, let's... No, no. Ah, I mean, there's a Metroid right there. All right, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's, let's go there, let's go there. Wait, so to get there, we need to work our way back up. Okay. And we barely took, like, any hits during that fight, so we should be able to just, uh... Hold on. I know I don't need to go left and right, but, like, my Super Metroid instincts kick in. So I feel like I have to. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so we don't have a way to open that yet. But we do have a way to open this up. Bitch. I also like how, um, as much as this gun's really strong, I appreciate that it doesn't necessarily work on the Metroids. So that way, like, 
you feel like you still have a reason to use your ice cream and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it gives a purpose to all of your tools, and I really appreciate that. Oh, there's a lot of shit down there. A lot of shit that I don't have access to. Or maybe I do. Uh, it seems I can break these. Ah, nope. Uh, I was gonna say, it says I can break these, but as a point of fact, I can't. Yeah, because we need the... We need the screw attack, but we can't do the screw attack in the water. Because... Or we can't... I don't, we can't do the screw attack in the water, because that requires a space jump, and I don't think we can do that in the water, because we need the gravity suit. So yeah, we need the gravity suit, we need the power bomb, and we need the, uh... Screw attack. And then we'll basically be fully equipped besides, uh, you know, just additional ammo or health or, you know, you know basic shit. There's a Metroid there. Hmm. Hmm. There's a Metroid there, though. Okay, let's try the other angle, then. Turn that on just to say, too. Let's try that side yellow so we can't touch it yet. Nope, okay. All right, let's try working our way around. Can't do the thing over there because of the screw time. Uh, oh, we can do this. I could, so hopefully whatever we miss is just like a treasure trove. Obviously we want the treasure trove stuff because it's goodies, but like, it's not the end of the world. Uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Alright. That's not what we need, but it's pretty... I'm just rubbing my eyeball, but it's not what we need, but it is pretty good. Uh, there's something else that's... I killed a guy. I feel like that would have been kind of cool what I just did right there. No one cares what I just did right there. That would have been <sighs> I can't get into one structure. What the fuck? Also, why am I yawning all of a sudden? I literally just popped open a soda that has caffeine. Why am I yawning? Okay, hold on. Um... Okay. Why would you say buy and multilateral interoperability? Military individuals of the host nation? All right, all right. Because it takes like 10-ish minutes for it to really enter your system. Fair enough. Okay, so I... Five bucks. I know where one is and I can't get to it. Okay. Uh, I can't do that one. Uh... Wait, no, no, maybe we can, maybe we can. Copy and paste things I did enter this in the box. Okay. You're copying other people's stuff. I get you. 
I had a sad look at my face because I was stretching my arms there. Hey, my eyeball. Yeah. Chill, dumb podcast. Let's go. Yeah, this is entirely new territory. Entirely new territory that I just ran past like a dumbass. Because this weapon phases through shit, so why would I not fire umpteen hundred rounds of it willy-nilly with zero consequence? Ah, uh, damn it. Ow. <laughs> just tunk, tank, tunk. Shit. I'd say multi. Just say multi. I'd say multi is good. Because if you say, like... Okay, so another thing, right... This... This is for everyone at home wondering how to write resumes as we're both going through. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but th these are things that people told me. Uh, you want to sound as impressive as possible, but you don't want people to ask questions. And having people ask, like, bi versus, bi versus multi, like, that I feel like is a, like, what do you mean by that? Could you explain? And you'd be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So I'd say just multi. And if you have like one or two examples of when it was multiple. You know what I mean? But I'd say, we, I, I'd say it's decent. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Okay, please screw attack or something. What is this? Oh my goodness. I'm hot. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Hot damn, really, like, this aren't, like... Sorry, the look I have in this game, pretty good. Because <laughs> Samus here's got thighs for days. Prevents lava damage and lets you move freely in liquid. Mwah. Booty full. Look at that. Look at that. Full, unrestricted, sexy movement. I just went in a circle. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Like, shit's hot. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Just wee. Oh, just wee. And because of this now, we can do... Hold on. Because of this now, we can do... Stuff like this, hopefully. Oh, perfect. Ooh, look. Oh, pfft. Item here somewhere. There it is. Oh. Oh, I see. So they. Hold on. Ow. Uh. Bonk. Sh bang. Oh, I see how this is. This. See, I also made sure to change the word their ability to my. Um, while enhancing. Ah, while enhancing my ability to work in campaign with military individuals of the host nation. Ah. The ability to work in King with mil the military members of. I'd say that, yeah, that way it doesn't make it sound like it's my ability. It's like, no, it's like the ability, like our ability. Like, add a little bit of communism, you know what I mean? Don't want you to get too big for your breeches. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. <laughs> I was saying, oh shit, is a joke, and this is like, wait, actual shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oops. Learned that lesson once. Okay. I don't know what that green weird sound. Oh, shh. 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 Nailed it. Oh, shit. I gotta go do that with the son of a bitch. On the upside, like, the upside with puzzles like this. Oh, fuck. 
the upside with puzzles like this is at least they're letting me get back to it quickly it's not like a 10 minute slog just to, like do this again you know what i mean like i'm pretty quickly going like this There's something important looking at. There's something important on that. I don't know what, but there's something on the wing. On the map. Found it. Alright, go, go. Awesome. Alright, uh, where do we go to next? Now we have this ability. Still can't do. <laughs> okay, so we still can't do super jump shit. Um, that spot is clear, so we might as well take the elevator. We have three out of seven. Okay. Three out of seven. Hmm. I mean, just hot damn my thighs. <laughs> My thighs are huge. It says there's a metro nearby. I feel like he's straight up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's, like, right on this other side of this room right here. That's why it bugs me. Let's just like head into here real quick because I feel like this area is going to be water again, right? Uh, uh, I suddenly think I'm in the wrong area. I suddenly think I'm in the wrong area. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Yep, I'm in the wrong area. The next location here is not to the right, so let's drop back down into the depths here. That should give us another try on that one, and maybe that one as well. Okay. And the other door I want to say is a yellow door, so... Yep, alright, so there's no way to open that, which is what we thought, so that's fine. We can double check through here. Uh, yep, yep, because now we have freedom of mobility like so. Alright, yeah, so now we can do that. Which, let's see. <gasps> Fuck yeah! Um, to my knowledge, I think that's everything besides the secret one. The secret one that I know what it is. Oh, damn it, I just realized I lost my... Lost my charger! Hang on. Hang on. Alright, everyone's good to see my feet again. Yep. Uh, I don't realize that my 3DS... I had to show everyone my thighs a little bit and my pants that uh, my parents are too tight because I got I got big ass thighs. <laughs> yeah, everyone get your jokes out of the way. That's why I'm making them. Yeah, look look at this look at this list of shit. There's only one thing missing. Oh. Fuck yeah! Yo ho. -ho. Bitches, <laughs> just blind through shit now. Like, sup, bitches? 
Welcome to one of the strongest abilities in any- Oh my goodness. In any Metroid game. Hot damn, you might be saying to yourself. She just saw bladed through 15 dudes and I try to say you're right I did. Now unfortunately it doesn't really work well. Or does it? Let's find out. Bitch. Ah, uh, it, did, uh, it didn't work. It didn't work. I bet I'll still take damage from Plasma too. I was hoping if I could, I was hoping if I could tank it, maybe I could rack up enough damage. There you go. There you go. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, I couldn't slow down time because I'm out of juice, damn it. Oh, wrong button. Ah, oh, I could have. That, that was a counter opportunity, damn it. I wish I had a way to, like, neutralize that shit. Hold on. Hold on. Worth. Yep, worth. Worth. Ah, okay, we cut that a little close. But you know what? I feel pretty good about it. We can keep this party rolling. With that, all of our resources are back. Alright, uh, so now... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make a bet. Yeah, we just need... Oh. Yep, not what we need. So yeah, we still need... We need power bomb. Okay. Which there's two things I know up here that can be used really screw attack, so we might as well just already here. Yep, there it is. There's one. Which nothing wrong with some super missile. And then number two. Is that it? How's it? How's it? I thought it'd be something a little, little more, but eh, I guess I right, fair enough. I mean, I still got something. So, yeah. all right. Um. Okay, we have how many? We have four. We need three more. That area hasn't been unlocked yet, but I feel like oh. There's a spot right there. Okay, okay. All right, so we can't hit. We can't hit that. Sorry, I'm I'm itching my back right now. All right, so if we hit the elevator, go down to the right. Now nah, that locks us in that area. So we need to go all the way back around. Hit that elevator that's on the side over there. Yeah, we need to hit that elevator on the side. Drop down to get that area that I wanted to get to on the way back. Check out that little area that's in front of that other elevator. Yep, all right, is there a teleport to get over there more quickly? There is, actually. Nice, all right. This honestly, the more I'm thinking about it, this honestly might be my favorite 2D Metroid. Is that heresy? I really like this game. It's just, it's just very well done. I love how open it is. I love how creative it is. I like how when you do the transforming thing, you look like you're Dark Samus, and you look like actually really creepy and freaky. I like that. I think it's cool. Um. Okay. Go down this way first. This is thing nine on my leg. I'm like, no. All right, okay, nothing there. Let's move on. So we this. All right, we'll start with 
this one. Which I forget what exactly was blocking us. But I already get the impression that me being able to do that <laughs> is a big help, so. Oh, yep, perfect. Perfect. Oh. I love that, like, the jellyfish hit me. I'm just like, ah, oh, shit, you hit. Ah, oh, shit, you got me. And then I just, like, spin once and they all fucking die. Oh, yeah. It's, it's getting to the point now where, like, the little guys are dying, too. Oh, shit. Sup, bitch. <laughs> Sup, motherfucker. Unfortunately, I still can't get through spots like that, but I imagine that's what the super dash is for. Or they want me to do this. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so they want me to... Angle that, and then be fast enough to... There we go. And then be very careful on how they want me to go through this, which is why they have that waterfall there to give you a line of, like, safety. And now I just need to... There's a lot of freaking spikes around here. Right. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Oh, he's red. Holy shit, holy shit. Bitch. It's not letting me switch, damn it. I was trying to I was trying to like slow time. I was trying to set it up to slow time, but it wasn't letting me. Like a reasonable game, because if they let me slow time at that moment, that would have got kinda busto kinda fast. Alright. Yeah, that felt good. Beautiful. Ran in, rocked that bitch, and now we're out. Looks like we need... And now we're back to that lovely contemplative music. Just as it should be, bitch. <laughs> Melted them. So good. There's nothing down here. Okay. Seemed like there was for a second. Um, I'm almost dead, so that's a problem. And it's fixed. Alright. Um, yeah, this area is clear, so... Now we just need to work our way... Okay, so now if we can just get down here, that should lead us to out. This way, which should be hopefully. God, I remember. I forget what it was, but there's definitely like a few different documents like that jail where um. They're like, check all the things. So you like try to, you like click it, think it's a check mark, it's an X, and you're like, well, I mean, like that's a programming writing thing, but it is kind of funny in a weird way. You know what I mean? It's like those petty thing to make fun of them for, but it's still there. Nah, 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 nah. Excellent. Another fucking elevator. Why are there so many? Okay, well, let's, let's take care of this first, just because it's not a new area. Some attempt to... Oop, there you go. I 
don't know what's down here. Nope. Nope. Sorry, stretch my leg. Yeah, I think we should be able to get this one. This will be another Metroid. And then the next one, I think. Just from how the map is laid out, I feel like this will be it. I say this this feels like it could be an arena for a metroid. Just with the sheer number of spikes and everything for them just to be like, fuck you, figure it out. I wouldn't put it beyond this game. Not because this game's a dick, but because that just feels like how this game works. Like it's not trying to be an asshole, it's just trying to give you harder and harder situations. I mean like right now, look, there's only like one actual working platform. Okay, there's two. Never mind. You get, you get the point, though. I'm gonna blast. I say, the moment you get up here, I'm blasting the shit out of you. Oh my goodness, that worked. I was like, I was sitting there going like, ah, shit, I fucked it up. <laughs> Fucking bullied. Bullied so hard that I just moved to a different platform. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm Samus. I'm the best bad in the galaxy. And my suit has a good looking butt. Like I'm just I'm just saying I reign supreme. Terminated. That was fucking brutal. I opened the door. I love that, like the little lasers. They move so fast and so far that I'm opening doors that I'm not even aware of. Alright, um, so now I can do this. That guy's supposed to be there, so that way you can keep using an Aeon. Meanwhile, I'm just like, fuck it. Ah, shit, I'm out of here. You are all nothing but sources of health. Yeah, okay, so this next one should be good. Or, yeah, it should be it, hopefully. You guys can't see... You guys can't see them drinking soda. But you can see the dogs. This feels like a worthwhile compromise. Oh, so curiosity, just as a conversation point. Uh, does anyone have any plans for the weekend? Anything anyone's looking forward to? Uh, I bring it up because, so my sister, she pays a lot more attention to the movies and theaters than I do. Uh, she really wants to see Godzilla Zero or Minus One or whatever it's called. Apparently it's like a, it's a, it's a foreign film and that it's all in subtitles and that it's much more low budget, but apparently it's supposed to be very good and she's heard like only good things about it and is like really looking forward to it so we haven't figured out the day it might be tomorrow early afternoon or so hang on okay once again jenna has come to my door Have food and water. Don't act like you don't. Jenna, can you come towards the camera for a second? Jenna. Jenna. Come on. We got Arlo. We got Molly. Let's show. Oh, yeah. So this is Jenna. This is Jenna. She's 15 years old. She's my old lady dog. She's beautiful brown fur. Look at you. Yeah. She's like, you bitch, I didn't actually want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's barking now. She's like, you bitch, I didn't actually want to be in here. I wanted you to pay attention. Stop streaming. Stop. Jenna, come here. Come here, baby. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. 
Lay down, beautiful girl. Yeah, yeah, lay down, lay down. Oh, it's a puppy place. Lay down. No, over here, over here. Oh, Jenna, lay down. She's doing this. She's doing the stress breathing right now. It's really cute. You gotta lay down somewhere. Not on the wires. If you lay down the wires, I'm gonna throw a fit. Jenna, come here. This is the lay down zone. This right here. This is the play. Nope, nope. Jenna, come here. Lay down. Lay. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, Arlo, Arlo, you get out of the way. Yeah. Oh, that works too. That works too. That's a good spot too. I know I can sense to having my fur all over the internet, Max. That is a hundred percent what she's doing. Tati, Tati, I hate this, Tati. See Arlo? Oh, sorry, no, that's the mo so it's Molly. Tati is Arlo, and then Tati. It's Arlo and Jenna's voices are similar, but hers is deeper because she an angry old woman. <laughs> Jenna, lay down. Lay down, lay down, lay down. There she goes. Okay. And now, let me just. There we go. Alright. Let the puppies reposition. Arlo's white fur is making the autocorrect go nuts. Yeah, I think she was just yelling because, like, why are you all in here? Why are you not with me? Why are you not in the other room? But uh, yeah, she's really excited. Uh, my sister's really excited to see uh, the new Godzilla movie. Just because she heard it was good and we like foreign films. You know, like Parasite was very good and a few others. We need to be better about watching more foreign films. Uh, let's see, I have a company Christmas prize that starts at 5.30. I'm only going because of the chance to win prizes they give away. <laughs> that, yeah, that's... I'm not even gonna blame you for that, like, I get it. You go up there to kiss babies and to shake hands a little bit, and then you're like, whatever, I'm out. Oh. oh, shit. Well, for the last time I seen you fell, I'm probably gonna have to check iPerms to get the wording for past military assignments. Um, you have to remind me of what iPerms is. I'm blank. It, it sounds familiar, but I'm blanking. My, oh my goodness, I ha I just got fucking uh, Shabbat with the, I'm gonna turn this shit on so that way I can hopefully regain some health. Oh, never mind, my health is <laughs> like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta regain my health. Where could I possibly, and I did it. Oh my goodness, I finally got some more Aeon. I have not been able to get more Aeon this whole game. Uh, why is this? Oh, shit, look at that. Cool. Um, let's see. My mom, sister, and I are going to watch Lauder for the 20th anniversary of Return of the King, but we start with Fellowship of the Ring. Oh, of course, of course. You can't just, you can't just jump right in. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta start from the beginning. That's awesome. That sounds like a nice fun time. I won a $100 gift card to Target last year. <laughs> Sorry, okay. First thought, but, but Target is gay. It's like, no, no, Max, it's a terrible thing to say. No, $100 gift card to Target is good. They're only like that because of different culture war political stuff that I won't go into unless people are curious. Target does weird stuff, is basically it. Um, if the website that... Oh, actually, no, there's no one in the puppy camp. Molly. allowed to chew on that bone. Do not steal it from her. That's rude. She's allowed to chew on the bone. Alright, there we go. Um. I always feel bad when I gotta do a little doggy discipline on camera. But, uh... What was I saying? Target's weird. No, uh, no, it's not that Target's gay. Basically, Target was, like, really pushing weird transgender swimwear. It, it was weird and creepy. It, it basically to sum it up. 
But, um... But, uh, lots of train of thought. It's a website that holds a digital copy of all your military docs. If you have copies of something that's not in it, to bring it to you and so you can copy it. Oh, yeah, that's right! I forgot! Okay, yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Shit, alright. Uh, let's make sure we got two missiles on. So we, when he ine when we inevitably get the counter off. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. Bitch! Just get fucking show work done, motherfucker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Every time, every time that like blast of lightning and them disintegrating, it just looks so good. You know, maybe murder is fun, Spook. Maybe I do like murder. <laughs> I think it's more that it's just, it doesn't feel like grinding. You know what I mean? I, just, I, don't, I don't like grinding and... <sighs> What's the reason I don't like grinding when it comes to like, Final Fantasy games? Because a lot of them get grindy, but that's because almost all RPGs always hit a point where it's grindy. Okay, I know what it is. I don't like feeling like I have to grind, because to me, the biggest downside of grinding is, uh... Yo, it really hurts your pelvis after a little No, uh, the, the biggest downside of grinding is when you accidentally overlevel yourself. And I know a lot of that comes down to, like... Some people like to play RPGs where they're just like stupidly strong and invincible. Like, that's a way to play a video game and you should respect it. That's fair. But I hate that feeling. Like, it's one of the, it's one of the things that like people who play Dark Souls. <gasps> Spook, how's Liza P going? You're like, Max, shut up. Um, one of the things that I, I get really annoyed with when it comes to like Dark Souls is when people are like, I don't want, it's not the term gatekeeping, it's invalidation of success. <laughs> like, uh, certain games, certain spells are more prevalent than others. Like, I forget the one, but I want to say in uh, Dark Souls 1, Pyromancy is really strong just because the number of enemies that are immune to it versus the number of enemies that are, like, weak to it. It's, like, a really favorable number, so, like... If you're so people who do like speed runs and shit, they're like, yeah, do pyromancy because it's the most effective against the most types of enemies. I'm not gonna say that for sure, but like you get the idea. But like, I don't like. Okay. Um, I don't like. Oh, so okay. So the reason I bring that up is because um, a lot of times it's like, yeah, like oh, I was I was playing um. Oh, there's more. Oh, I was playing Lies of P or whatever. I was playing Dark Souls. And I was doing a pyromancy build because I love pyromancy. And then they're like, oh, well, you didn't really beat the game on the on the hardest difficulty because you, you use pyromancy and that's cheating. Oh, you... Like, oh, you didn't start as a whatever the class is that starts with literally no weapons or armor but a club. Then you didn't play the true experience. Even though, like you always get some kind of armor and some kind of weapons relatively quickly so the difficulty of start with that kind of kit start out isn't really that much it's just like the first boss is a little more difficult but really you can recover very quickly or people just grind over level anyway oh like you beat this boss what level were you 20 oh you're like the recommended level is 15 so if you're like not level 10 that means you didn't do it the true way me like that's an inevitability, I feel like, in all RPGs, but it always drives me nuts. So the reason I don't like grinding is because, not because I fear that they're gonna, like, yell at me, because fuck those people. It's the fear of, did I accidentally make this boss more difficult than I meant to? Like, uh, for, Pokemon's a really good example of this. So, for example, um... Uh, man, Lies P has been slow. I might go grind some more and get some Ergo to level up. I don't remember what level I am. Yep, yeah, don't forget to, like, try out some new equipment and stuff, too. Like, see what you can... Don't... Uh, something that really helped, uh... So my friend Zach and Ethan, they didn't finish the game yet. 
because simply put, they don't like the parry system. They told me that they think it sucks, and I'm like, I love the parry system. I think it's amazing. But um, something. Oh shit! Something that really helped them was uh, don't forget to use your consumables, whether it's your throwing items that I never use, or like the capsules of like fire or the. Uh, the fire paper that, or whatever it's called, that like adds fire to weapon temporary. Don't forget to use those. They might really help with where you're at. I forgot to use them because that's how I play Dark Souls games. But don't be like me, <laughs> or do. It's up to you. Dude. But like, I, I don't like jokes on those people. I play naked at level one for all. Yeah, exactly. Cause like, no people do that. They're like the true Dark Souls experience is to be naked. You don't need armor if you're never hit. Like. First off, fuck off. Secondly, you know, maybe I have other games I want to play as well. And this is not the only game I want to dedicate my life, my life to. You know what I mean? But, like, I, I I don't... So, in Pokemon, I know everyone has done this. Down the line, anyone who's played Pokemon has done this. So, you're at whatever gym. Let's just say the third gym. Naked and Afraid Dark Souls Edition. Let's say you're at the, uh, the third gym or whatever, right? The gym is irrelevant. And uh, right before you get to the gym, you find a Pokemon that you want on your team. For whatever... Oh. You find a Pokemon that you want to have on your team. For whatever reason, it, it, it's just maybe it's like a, a Gabite or something. And you're like, oh, I want that. Maybe you're replacing a fire type. Maybe there's like a new bug or just something cool. That you just want to play with, right? And let's just say all of your Pokemon are level, like, I don't know, 16. And the bug's level 10. So you're going to take time to grind and train the bug. And very likely, by proxy of you taking time to grind and train the bug, the other guys are going to get a little bit leveled up as well. And you know, you want to keep them even. And you might as well take time to grind everyone now because, like, you're already grinding one of them. So why not, right? And before you know it, Everyone's level, let's just say, like, if you're 16 before, everyone's level, like, 18, 19, 20. Just because you're trying to get everyone up and running, right? Well, turns out the intended difficulty, or the intended level of the gym was 16. And they only have two Pokemon that are level 16. And you just walked in with six Pokemon that are level 18. Well, of course you're going to destroy them. Even if they have a type advantage on you, for whatever reason. You're gonna... Oh, whoa, whoa. Like, you're gonna destroy them. That's an inevitability. So, if anything, it almost feels like the fight is... Cheapened somewhat. You know what I mean? And I don't want to look up... And I recognize, yes, the way to the way to solve this would be to look up... Uh, people make level guides. Pe yeah, people make level guides. Oh, shit. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. I almost had that. So that way you know like what level you should theoretically be at each gym so you don't become overleveled. Uh, some people do Nuzlocks where they like really adhere to that shit so that way they, they never become overleveled. But like I just, I don't want the fear of that to happen. And I fear that that does happen sometimes in uh, various Final Fantasies or other RPGs that I've played. And it happens a lot in Dark Souls too, as well. Or Dark Souls, yeah, Dark Souls as well. But I try more of a great sword build. It was just too slow for me. I like more of the short sword, fast, but enough for decent damage. Nice. Wait, okay. Um, remind me, what boss were you on last? Cause, trust me when I say this, the dancer's great sword. The moment you get the dancer's great sword. Give that bitch a try. It's, it's, mwah. It's so good. The spear, too. You'll love the spear. In uh, my second playthrough of Liza P, I re recently, uh, I've been working the uh, salamander dagger, the fire dagger, which has been really strong and working very well. And um, I recently got the spear, and it's so good with it. Like, that extra reach is phenomenal. Oops. So I can definitely recommend it. What is all this shit? What am I doing now? Oh. Ah. 
for the record, once again, I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing. Oh, that's super bomb bullshit. Okay, um, I think it's best if I just try to leave. How do I get the fuck out of here? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Uh -huh. That's a really nice puzzle. I, I really like that it makes use of your ability to, like, aim. I think that's really good. Oh, I see. So it wants it wants you to do this, so that way you can like do that, and like so. I think I was on Big Centipede looking chonky dude. I think it was in the church area. Yeah, the the one winged angel looking motherfucker. Yeah, he call. I know you said he was driving you nuts, but he, what a fun fight! I I freaking love that guy. He was so cool. Such a cool design as well. Yeah, definitely the second time through, fire. Holy shit, fire works. <laughs> works fast. Because <laughs> he's a corpse. He, he's a he's a corpse or whatever they're called. Infected. So, fire works amazing. Might need to grind a little bit, get some fire canisters. He's a big, slow target, so you should be able to nail him. Or, um... Yeah, get some fire canisters, get some fire paper so you can, like really lay into him with it like you I have complete faith in you with how far you've gone already might need to grind a little bit but you should totally be able to handle him I understand that yeah, you're not streaming it just because you haven't really been streaming but like not gonna lie there's a part of me that's like I want to cheer you on I want to be there and support because I am, I am captain. I want to encourage, and you know, anyone can win Dark Souls. Anyone can. I believe in you, and I want to be there to help. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. But this is a save point. We like those. What about? He took Jenna's bones, dick. He's like, what? I didn't do. She wasn't chewing on it. I was. I, oh, oh, it's my bone. It's my bone. Like, his first phase, I got his timing and dodge down on him, but his second phase is where he fucks me, especially when he jumps down, it's white. Yeah! Yeah, it's rough, not gonna lie. Especially because, like, a big problem in parry focus... God, Sekiro was so bad about this. Uh, when there's enemies that just have gigantic hitboxes or their goal is to sit on you, it's so hard to tell where the edge of it to parry is so eventually you're just like entirely doing it by feel so like no i i totally get that that if you're sitting there just like what the fuck you know literally like where's the line of scrimmage you know what i mean like it, it gets so hard to tell that um this is a healy thing right I didn't really super need it, but it helps, right? Bitch. Oh, ah, this, the screw attack doesn't help me against those guys. And that is the that is the reason they're introducing them again. Shit. Um There it is. Yep, they're... Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Those guys are chunking through me. Yep, I was say I'm just going to wait that moment just so they do that. Bitch. Uh, you might think doing that gets old. It never does. Just for the record. It never does. It's funny every time. But, um, for reference with my playthrough, only one again. I mean, there's only six more total, so, yeah, they're probably gonna give me something big and important again. But, um, for my playthrough, I got to the, uh, I got to the junkyard. 
Which I think you I think you were there on stream when I when I got to the junkyard. So like you know what the place looks like generally. I'm in the area right before it's like that cave where you see the one robot who's like Hello, can you teach me what a motion is? And um, the next boss is the the big green slimy one that like is the hermit crab, which I'm pretty excited. I feel like fire will fire will serve me pretty well against him. Although I don't know what his resistances are when he becomes a robot. Like if because he's not he's not really a robot so much as he's puppeting the robot. So I don't know if they'll be like he's weak to lightning now, or if they'll be like he's weak to fire, or like he's like it depends on where you hit him. Which I would love that. I would love that so much, but I don't think they're gonna do that because that that'd be difficult to program. Like different hitboxes do different amounts of damage. Wow, those pooping guys are like. Why are the pooping guys so tanky? That one. So I imagine we'll loop back to that later. Why are the pooping guys so damn? Uh. That's a big ass snail. That's a huge bitch. Oh, I love every Metroid does this so much when they have just like something huge in the background to like foretell what you're gonna be fighting soon. God, I fucking love it every time. It's so freaking cool. Um, you bitch! Oh, do you again? It's like, what about it, motherfucker? What you gonna do about it? Bye! It's like you? Asshole! You took my shit! I kill you. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Oh. Hopefully that. Grab. Yep, good. Gotta be a little more careful. Oh, nope. Not gonna be able to get in there. Probably on the way back from Medelia. Alright. Still can't get over that the snails make human ass noises. Better turn this on just for sake of damage mitigation. Especially because we're probably going to be going into a Metroid fight. This is like a perfect place to fight a metro. Think. All right. Maybe there. Maybe he's gonna be another pursuer or pursuant victim. Right. You, you guys know what I'm saying. Oh, this is the one way door. Nice. Okay. Steal yourselves, gentlemen. Oh god, there he is, Xenomorph motherfucker! Oh wait, that, that was a counter. Damn it. Ah, fuck it up. That's okay, I had the shield, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh no, I think the... I think my, uh... I was gonna say I think I think the shield ate it. Shit, come on. You try to snipe me in the air. Oh, come on. Shit. 
Okay, it should be much more accurate. Shoot. Alright. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just missiles for fucking day. Beautiful. Beautiful. The bitch took <laughs> the bitch took what I assume is the power bomb and ran off, so we'll have to hunt his ass down, but. There you go. I don't know if I'll get anything cool and special for I won't. Let's see. Uh, was there another... Oh, there's that. Uh, do we have to go all the way back around for that thing? I think we do. Which is annoying, but it's annoying but doable. Especially because now we know we can essentially head back whenever. God, like that guy, literal. Compared to the other guys who just melt when I hit them like this, those guys bounce me off. That is disconcerting. here real quick I imagine I can't do anything with it but I want to yep okay okay sorry I miss I misread the map actually no 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 it's faster if I go this way I misread the map I thought I could get through it but I could not there you go so we just made a loop for no reason but that's okay because we got some heals had some laughs had some fun Spooky's playing Baldur's Gate 3 on what I can as only assume is the, the Steam Deck. What I can only assume. Probably wrong. Drink my soda. <laughs> you are correct. How are you liking Steam Deck, by the way? It's not something I would really, uh, I don't really have a time frame on, like, planning on getting it. Just because, you know, it's kind of expensive and not really necessary when I have my laptop. But, like, how, how are you liking it? Cha-chink. Nice. Oh, wait. It filled up the other. Oh. And it's locked. So I think that's the game's way of saying that, like, don't worry about it. Just keep moving forward, which is interesting. Oh, I see. Okay. Damn. All right. I don't know what that is, but I bet if I can do that, that'll make so this. Love that they put. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Alright. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it looks like. Reconnection successful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Uh, hello, hello. This is gonna loop for a second. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. This is gonna loop for a second. Hello, hello.
All right, good. Sorry about that, guys. Are you with me? Give her a refresh. We are back online. I apologize for that, everyone. Hello? You may need to also refresh because it'll try to catch up, so you would want to go back to where it is live. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. That was super weird. I hope everyone is returned. Oh, uh, one again. Every time it's just one, it's so suspicious. It's the only way I know how to put it. It's suspicious when it's only one. But granted, the gameplay has gotten to the point now where like only bosses can really threaten me. The little guy. Yeah, bosses and environmental hazards. The basic bitch guy is... Yeah, and there's a lot of... Essentially, there's there's, a, there's an upgrade that's unique to this game. That's how we take care of the crystals. That's why I keep referencing. Because I remember when I got it, I thought it was, like, really cool. Like, a really fun idea. Oh. I hope everyone's able to come back. Oh, shit. I hope everyone's able to come back. I'm sorry. Oh, yep, here he is. I'm sorry. Hey, Spook's back. All right, sorry about that. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why OBS is just ne Oh. Chenna says, ah, Yeah, OBS just disconnected on me out of nowhere. It just sat, yep, just was like, boop, boop. So I don't know if it sent out uh, multiple notifications to everyone or not, but. Yeah, welcome back. Would like to once again say thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope everyone is still having a good time with this. Did we just go into a circle? I was just gunning for it and I got excited because I was sitting there like fuck oh wait hold on yeah so yeah that this is a point of no return there's nothing for me yeah so they clearly want me to they clearly want me to be here They clearly want me to be here. And that corpse was new. So I guess uh, we'll just... Hmm. I have the suspicion. And I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's showing that. Like, I'm back here now. This is bullshit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. That's right. It's... Yeah, from, uh, Fusion. This is like the final boss of Fusion. And I love that they're incorporating now that I actually need to, like, jump and be in the air and shit. Oh, I love that. I wonder, just my... Oh, yeah, my normal shots are breaking open his chest, he seems. It chest, it seems like. Um, oh, shit. Rocks. I was gonna say, like, can I... Can I... Nope, okay. These rocks are fucking hurting. Let's see if I can rip open this. Oh, oh! I bet I can counter. I bet I can counter those if I can bust open this chest. Oh damn it! Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Shit! Yup. 
Oh, I thought he went forward. Shit! Ah, fuck my life. Nope, can't counter that. Okay. Oh. Okay, so he just healed it up. Rocking me. Oh, no. no. Oh. I was just about to say, like, I wonder if I get, wonder if I can get some health real quick. Shit. I only got a bar left. Uh that one beam just took out a whole bar. I would have. Ah, I thought that was counterable, but it it wasn't because the game has taught me the whole time. It's only counterable if they show the little yellow flash. It goes ding. So, all right, all right, you got me, you got me. Also, I like that they, like, have made it a big point that, um, a lot of my weapons and stuff pierce through everything. Oh, I think I need to be small for that bit. A lot of my weapons pierce through everything, but, um... Nah, 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 they fucked this fucking... Oh, oh, badass. Yeah, a lot of my weapons pierce through shit, but they make it a point that it does not pierce through this guy. Because he's so fucking buff. I love that. Shit. 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 Oh. oh. Shit. There we go. Right, that's right. I'm just going to sit here and be fucking stubborn because I can be. What are you gonna do about it, motherfucker? I'm just gonna walk up to your guts and I'll. Oh, the two fur! Nope, 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 because this. This is how Sans fights. The disrespect. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, beautiful. I love that. Bitch! Fucking. Rail that shit in there, my fucking motherfucker. Yeah. Beautiful. And you hear that music? That's starting to sound like fusion. Wumpa. Ah, oh, that felt good. Jenna is not amused. Oh, but there's a problem. Hmm. All right, Jenna, I'll free ya. No, we're not going on break. We're not. Ow. We're not going on break. So, Arlo. Nope, Arlo. Arlo, get back here. And Molly's like, I want to die. I don't want to leave. All right, there. You guys need to stay. Yeah, reposition as you will, but you need to stay. <sighs> but, uh, I had a thought then I lost it. Um. Oops. Ah, oh, well, it's charged mostly, so it's fine. Uh, I had a thought then I lost it. Oh, yeah, so the hard situation is we need to get back over there, right? But remember, the way that we came was a one way exit. Oh, yeah, Molly's overheating a little bit. So now... 
we have to figure out how to get back through, and it might be a game of uh, brute force, honestly, because we haven't gained any new weapons or anything. But that whole area is purple drank now. So here we go. Oh, I can't. I'm. I. I ooh. There's got to be a way to go back then. Hmm. Hmm. I thought it was a brute force because there's been a few times in different Metro games where they're just like, you just have to go through. You know, however you do it is between you and God, but like, you have to make it through. And let's see, there's no teleporter. So it's got to be go back this way then, right? If I can't brute force it, and I can't... Yeah, if, if, if I can't... If I can't brute force it... Watch there be someone out there who's like, Actually, if you properly find the different items and... B -b 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 -b, you can brute force it. <gasps> what am I doing? What am I... Oh, I'm dumb. I'm done. I don't know if I have enough juice, though. But I think that's why that explodey guy is there, not just to steal your hip points. But you can do that. I really like that the time slow ability... I don't think it's really designed for combat. Like, I mean, I think you can use it for combat. But it's mostly for getting through stuff like that. So that way they can have speed and time-based puzzles without um, giving you a lot of rooms to let you do super dashes. Because that's usually like a dead get -up giveaway. Like if there's a long stretch where you're not, where, you could, where you're just running, it's like, oh, there's going to be something super dash related here. I think that's a really nice way to like keep it compact, but also still have those kinds of puzzles. And I, I really I really like that. This is just a very well designed Metro game, I feel like. Someone out there is gonna tell me I'm wrong, but you know what? I am fighting. There you go. Okay good, so now just all the acid is gone. Awesome, which means we should Oh, and I didn't realize they fully heal me too. Nice. I should be able. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a really cool way to like reuse the area. properly drop the oh max why are you ADHD about the map it's only when I can do it easily without too much struggle you know what I mean I know there's tons of items and stuff we miss and that's fine basically I would I would want to wait until I have like all the power-ups and then I want to go through and sweep and I'm sure there's some optimal, like, this is the best time to get this, and this is the best time to get that, but, you know, fuck it. We're not worried about it. So, as you can see by me just, like, sprinting around the arena at a million miles an hour. Is this gonna be a, a 
Yeah. For a second, I thought they were gonna want me to like hang off the. Uh... I thought they were gonna want me to like hang off the side there, fire a missile, and then get up there, but that works too. Let's see, we got a teleporter, we got a ammo refiller. Where's the beeping? Where was the beeping? Where the fuck is it? I know, I know there's beeping. It's probably over there, isn't it? I don't know where the beeping is. Nope. No oh well. Oh, wait, hold on. What reason is that going to go? See, there was no reason. Stretch. Oh, shit. Fucking. <laughs> Every time they do it, it's a cheat move. Even if it doesn't ultimately hurt you, it's just like, damn it. Oh, that's why they're giving me the energy on the way back. I bet. I bet. Hold on. Oh, oh so close. I bet that's the idea that, like, you can get back up to it before the, bo the blocks, like, fill back in. Or just stays open. Oh. Damn it. Alright, one more try. One more try. Yeah, but I was gonna say, dollars to donuts, they're all like gonna collapse if I touch any of them. So it's best just to not even rely on them. We got four remaining. And I forget if it's, is it Metro, it's not Metroid Prime. I forget what that final form was called, but to put it simply, it's the big baluga. It's the, it's the big boy, it's the mama. It's not the queen. But it's one step below, and plus I think you only actually see the queen. Uh, was it? That was another M, but I want to say we see that queen somewhere else. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm... nope. Okay. This area looks amazing as well. I just realized my mouse was on screen. Is it time? Oh, we'll max him off to get cleaned up and go to the same party. Ah, boring. But I totally understand. And thanks so much for coming, man. Thanks for hanging out. It's always good to have a few. I hope the I hope the party goes well and you get some good prizes out of the deal. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Nah, this is fun. I love these kinds of fights. Let's do it. Oh, oh, come on. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's fun. I love it. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, so. Oh, my goodness. I just got fucking shrecked. Wow, I got destroyed. Yeah, thanks so much for coming, man. It's always good to have you. Hope to see you Tuesday. It's like, boy!
Um, yeah, we'll see about finishing. We'll finish this game up tonight, and then uh, Tuesday will be Baldur's, and next Friday <gasps> will be Dread. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Alright. Think. Alright, let's hit that skip. First thing we're gonna do is get that shield on, because Ogal. Yeah, I, I love this visually. Like, how cool is that? Once again, an awesome example of a 3D enemy in a 2D space, right? I'm just gonna... There is no reason for me not to hide up here like a little girl. I don't know if it's better to use the super missiles now or later. I don't know, like, I don't know if that's his damage or... Oh. <gasps> there it is. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I can't touch the bottom. I have to specifically touch right there. Oh, that is... Oh, that is rough. Okay. Okay. Whew. Focus up. Ne 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 ne. Uh uh uh. Bubbles. Oh shit. Cheater. 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 Oh, oh, shit! Oh, okay! Maybe I could have fired normal missiles in. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, I want to test this. Uh, he's not flashing, but he's sucking them in. No, no, damn it! No, 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 fuck! That killed me. That I I wasn't looking at my health, but I think it took away like two or three bars. Like shit. Okay. Uh, my phone started going off. It's fine. We're gonna finish this, damn it. Let's go! Alright. First things first. Boop. Oh, ah. Come on, wipe on, wipe off. Or wash on, wash off. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Do I have a good reason not to just stick up here and just kinda chillax? Donk, donk. Damn it. Damn, because I messed that up, I don't have a lot of time to... Damn it, I messed up again. I don't know if it's practical to fire it like that, but I'm going to keep doing it just for the sake of... I have the ordinance, like... Why not use it? You know what I mean? Gotcha! Oh no! Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so. No, no, God! Six down. Oh my goodness! Three bars. Upside. This should get us some health back. Alright, good, good, good. Okay, is he gonna do the arms? I think he is. Oh no, okay. I must not have done enough damage. Damn it. Damn. 
Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, nope, nope. They were not close enough. I feel like those missiles should do something, but I guess, I guess not. We'll see if we can at just minimum just get more health. I don't know what the pattern is here, though. Oh, shh. Please don't tell me I fucked up. Give me another chance. Oh, that is such a tight window. That is such a tight window. Beautiful. Make sure to turn it back onto the super. Oh, shit. Oh, where was I? Where was the safe spot there? Ah! Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness. This is such a good test of all the different tools that we have. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, I didn't realize there's shockwaves on the ground too. This is brutal. Okay, hold on. Come on, two, nope, nope, not close enough. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, why can't I actually hit that? Please don't tell me the suction is the only actual time that I can hurt him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, it is. No! Oh, death. Death. Wow. The only time I can actually hurt him is that first... Or, or is the suction. Oh my goodness. That is fucking rough. Okay, yep, try again. Come on now. Um, I'm just gonna check something real quick. Okay, never mind. We're good, we're good. Alright, let's go. Oh, hands are getting sweaty, mom spaghetti. Let's fucking go! Yep, there's no reason for me not to just stay up here. It'd also help if I could, you know, aim. Good, good, good. Alright. What's up, bitch? Alright, one! Switch back to that. Alright. I'm gonna do a test. Do super missiles hurt him this way? Nope, it's only bombs. Brutal. No, fuck! Oh my goodness. And there goes three bars. Three of my seven. This is such a good fight. There's so many moving pieces. I love it. Like, there's so many different things you have to keep track of. Shit. I don't think it was enough. Nope. Nah, 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 nah. All right. Did he get any of the- I don't think he did. Damn it. Got a few of those. 
I think there's something in the programming too that like the moment it's suctioned in, it doesn't immediately, it doesn't like adhere to the timer like it did before, which is pretty good. Okay, more health, more health, more health. Like, this is my time to heal. That was a misclick that worked out perfectly. Yeah, the timing on this, oh my goodness, is just brutal. Drop. Yeah, don't roll, just drop. <laughs> All right, we got almost six. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, oh God, that's scary as shit. It There's nothing I can shoot. There's nothing I can, unless I have a secret ability that I'm forgetting. Okay, watch the shocks. Beautiful. All right, now the suck. This is the way we have to beat him. Nope, 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 nope. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna be able. Okay, come, yeah, I was saying, coming in the pass. Oh, oh. Okay, got a few, got a few. Okay, middle. It's the same pattern each time, thankfully, but the pattern is just brutal. Just wish there was something I could like shoot at to like help, but I don't see anything. Shit. Okay, which side are you starting on? Yeah, I get as many of these. <gasps> Wait. Um. <gasps> oh, that's mean. Okay, go, go, go. Got it. <gasps> no, it didn't count. It didn't count. Because <gasps> it wasn't lined up. Oh, my. You got to be kidding me. It has to be lined up. It has to be fucking lined up. Okay. Flip my hair around a little bit. Just a just a tad bit of making it work. Alright, my hands are sweaty because this is a 3DS. I have grown ass adult hands. Oh no 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 no. I, I fucked up in laser. We are Nope. Alright, yeah. If we don't get the second pass, we'll still get the third. Nope. Ooh, okay. 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 Oh, brutal. Okay, hop. This one's a little harder. <gasps> paper. I am paper. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Oh no. I can't believe I have to sit there and wait for it to connect. <gasps> Fuck. Ah! I had to roll up because of the light. Fucking about. <laughs> Hot damn. Alright, let's go, let's go. Shit. Ah, I was trying to adjust the missiles. Okay. Wait a second. The time slow. Oh, the time slow is good. The time slow will be huge. Shit. I hate that even even with them not. Fuck. 
Give me another chance. Give me another chance. Give me another chance. Give me another chance. That is very nice. That it's it's designed so you get two chances. I really like that. But um, the time slow will probably help me during that last phase. Fuck. Plus, I can make sure to use the healing I get from this. Shit, I hit the bubble. Like an idiot. Okay. We healed a good amount. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Ah! Na 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 na. That's what it feels like. I'm just like, ah! Oh. Na 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 Son of a bitch Yeah, I'm trying to gotta remember to get that horizontal because they pierce so I should be able to hit more of them that way Oh, this is stressful Okay Na 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 Got to take my four and get out. Work on that transforming while in the air business. I'm not going to be able to. I'll reach that in time, so don't let it go. Na, 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 na. Okay, you get two shots. Drop. In. All right. We are full health. Final phase. We got a shit ton of rockets. Let's fucking go, Bucky. Ow! Okay, we're good, we're good. Dodge the last second. Get that to the time slow. God, I wish there was something I just shoot at. Just uh, Even if it just made me feel better. I just like shooting at things. Okay, I like shooting at things. Yeah. Nope, swamp, or thumpy. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, I hate that this is the only way I can hit him. I mean, it makes sense. It's the most difficult. I'm not going to be able to make that. I might be able to get two out of this. Yep, if I... Oh, no, no! Fuck! Oh, he's like, hear me out. What if I just never fucking do the, the attack that actually lets you hurt me? What if I just never do it? Ever. What if I just sit here and I'll through sheer, uh, who'd you call it? I'll, I'll just tire you out, okay? That's all, that's what I'll do. I'll just tire your ass out. Okay, I might be able to get the two. <gasps> okay, okay. Get ready to time slow. Get ready to time slow. Nope. Oh my goodness. Brutal. No, not quite. Okay. That was my time slow. No! I almost had that. Oh, now I have to do it again. Okay. Would time slow have helped there? Maybe. But it should... Fuck. It should be pointed out that... Time slow might help, but if I latch only onto, like, the target area, it doesn't matter if he's lightning or not. The problem is if the target area is high up, which means maybe I'm going for the wrong one. Maybe I'm going for the easy one first when I should go for the hard one, but it spins, so how do you judge that? Do it again. Getting better at the turning into a ball in, in and out of a ball in midair, and that is definitely helping. Like that, see? Just gives you that little bit more time. Okay. 
This one you can just wait. Yep, just like oh. Mmm. <gasps> Fuck. There. Just every little bit of damage. Every little bit of damage. <laughs> Alright, give me some health back, give me some goodies. Oh, only got the one. Na 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 na! Na 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 na! Okay. Yeah, this attack. Love, love me this attack. This attack's great. This attack saves my bacon. I'm at full health already again. I'm at full passive everything. I can't believe how many like super missiles I'm putting it like how many super missiles I'm putting into this guy and he is just taking it. It's insane. Okay, come on. Nope, not gonna make that. Might make two out of this one. Okay. Okay, timing, timing, timing. That went about as perfectly as it could have. Bitch. Oh, okay. This will be the last bit of healing and ammo I get. Now, the ammo isn't really what I need, but you know. This third one is tricky. Yep, just like that. Okay. Yep, alright. I'm actually not gonna watch my monitor, I'm gonna watch my actual 3DS. Because that way my phone isn't accidentally blocking it. Lasers. Jump. 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 This is just one running jump or one short hop. Jump. On the way down. Run back to the middle. Watch my 3DS, not the monitor. So that way we can hug it. Okay, okay, okay. Time slow, time slow, time slow. Oh, oh, no. Okay. We can still at least get the two. We can still at least get the two. Oh, my goodness. That hurt us so much. That lightning. I did not realize how hard that lightning hit. I hate the idea that I'm just going to have to sit there and wait for the perfect moment. But that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Come on, we can do this. That was close. That would have been death. And na 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 na. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I hate that. I hate. Wait, hold on. Can I just attach here and just wait? <gasps> I can't! Fuck! <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't worry, Max. Just do it perfectly. Again. Okay, so that's good to know. I can just attach to the right spot and just wait until it lines up. Almost fucked that up. Suction? Yep. Oh. Nope. Okay. 
We're good, we're good. We're in the clear, we're in the clear. Alright, do it again. Okay, uh, suction? Nope. I want to be the suction so I can beat this fucking boss. This guy is so fucking difficult. You have to be so precise with so much shit. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My goodness. Bad ass. Oh, I'm sweaty. Oh, my hands are sweaty, but we are fully upgraded minus one little thing. Holy shit, my hands hurt. They could be used to open yellow doors. Yeah. Yep. I love that I have to do that to knock him back. Oh, that's so good. Because they're like, we know you want to use your toy. Oh, my goodness. Yes, please, health. We got four more Metroids to go. I was planning to end the stream in 30 minutes. I think we can do this. And if we go a little later, it's okay. Oh. That was... Oh, wait, hold on. Um, how do I escape? Oh, I didn't realize. Holy shit. That was fucking hard. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> See that shit launched right there? I don't know what that is up there, and I don't think I can get to it even if I wanted to. Okay. Uh-oh. This should be... Yep, they're just like, hey, you know, in case you don't think it's that powerful, let us remind you again. It destroys everything. Oh, uh, yep. Our whole goal was just to move that one thing. Right there. We did all of that just so we could move one block that was preventing us from getting through. Uh, why aren't you dying? Oh my goodness. Why aren't you dying? That thing's immortal. Oh, yes, please. You can't see me because of the puppy cam, but... Oh, my arms. Okay. Oh, my hands. Oh, my hands. <laughs> my hands are cramping. Oh, okay. Let's fucking do this. Let's finish this shit up. Bitch turret. There you go. Okay. Max, you can't just call everything a bitch. I can and I will. Make me feel bad for calling everything a bitch. That's it. This is a fuck you, screw it. Fuck you. I can brute force the fuck out of this. Watch me brute force this shit. I mean, there really is, like, on so many enemies in the Metroid games where it's just like, watch me brute force this, and you just keep firing missiles or ramming your head into it until it dies. Oh, but don't you want to use all of our cool and unique mechanics? No. I want more missiles. Praise be the Emperor, bitch. Three. 
which means the last one will have the final Metroid, which you know is going to be some gargantuan, horrifically sized Metroid. It's going to be the Queen. It's got to be the Queen. God, I hope it's the Queen. The Queen is such a cool design. Yep. No one can see that you threw pillows at me. There is, however, I had a doggy cam. So everyone can see you walk by. Hi, dearie. Should I, should I disable the doggy cam? I don't know. Yep, Arlo's like, let me. Alright. I am at. I am nearing the end of the game. Is it okay if I push through? You, do you want to order food? Are we allowed to order food? Okay. <laughs> Is that a good compromise? James, are you collecting Mike's bottles? Yes. <laughs> I just haven't bothered to throw them out. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to push through as quick as I can. Love you, dearie. Point your finger at me. <laughs> just like, I love you. Alright, no more puppy cam for Megan has taken the dogs. And it is funny. This room heats up so much. When Megan just popped in for a second to take the dogs, like, I could feel. Uh, you, you know the scene in. Uh, you, know, you know the scene in. Uh, there's an episode of Firefly. Where basically the uh, a piece in a spaceship that like made it that like recycled the air so that you know kind of like what trees do right so you have an air supply it broke so everyone started to like suffocate and someone like docked their ship and opened their doors and air just like rushed in and everyone could like there's that moment where they could be like <gasps> and breathe normally again that's what it felt like yep and we're we're back to back to hand camera. Oh. Yeah, let's let's push through to the end. Okay, we're not gonna be able to do, get to that. That's a drop. If there ever was one, bitch. Uh, we can do this though. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Play racket ball with my bot. Okay, um. Alright, Max, what exactly did you just accomplish? Not entirely sure. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna take that out too just to try to get some health and energy back. We got one we got one last zone and then what's probably gonna be the final boss, so let's go. They threw us back a good ways, but that's okay, we'll make it. Ow. That actually really helps having that. Nope, okay. I also really appreciate that like a lot of the doors that specifically require you to like search for them, they make it a point to have like the energy things nearby so that way you can like Why is this not killing you? Like I was gonna say like that should not have taken that many missiles. But all right. Okay, so can't do that one. Open door. I am just letting myself get rocketed around. Okay, hold on. Is this? Oh, this is how we got in. What the fuck am I looking for then?
that's going to be a fall away. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, okay, I, th I think I know a way to do this. All right. Oh. Nope, damn it, come on. Damn it. I think everyone saw what I was trying to do. Oh my, come on. Bullshit. Okay, well, I'm out of those, so I gotta do this. The normal way. This is tricky as fuck. Watch it not even be that good. Shit. Uh oh wait, oh I, I see the other way I could do this. Okay, hold on. I could do Like that. All that for one more super missile, son of a bitch. Alright, fair enough. That's my fault for being almost dead and hoping it was health. Because <laughs> why would it. Why would. Oh, fuck it, of course. <laughs> son of a bitch. It's like, why would it be health? What a ridiculous thing to hope it would be. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, if he like starts crawling down the hole that I'm in, I would have thrown a fit. Like, motherfucker, bitch. All right, I'm just gonna drop this heal again real quick, just for sake of, just for sake of making sure it saves that I got that super missile. And that's why we can't get down. Okay. Right, that should give that should give us enough energy to bitch. Nope. Three. Yeah. What's up, dear? I'm trying to beat this game. It's flipping my ass. Shit. Okay. Oh. What's up, dear? Because there's a lady attached to my arm. Oh, no, 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 no. Take care of that one before it starts. Oh my goodness. Is he even taking damage? I don't think he is. Okay, uh, go. Cool. Uh, what food do you want? I'm uh, anything. Anything. I, I trust in you. You, you get whatever sounds good, darling. Asshole. What do you mean that's not helpful? That's the epitome. Of, that's the epitome of helpful. You don't have to. It's just whatever you want. I'll be happy with it. Fine tacos. Or someone in chat tell me what sounds good. Bobitos. I 
I don't even want to fight anything here. I just want health. Oh, I did think that would snipe me. Fuck. Ass. How far back am I? Oh, I keep forgetting I have to do that. <laughs> Oh, how far back am I? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Wait, does that mean? Oh no, it 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 it, it, it would save that I got the. Uh... It would save that I still got the super missiles. All right. Run this shit. Yeah, I'll see what these guys are around. I know our goal is to save energy, but I think it might be more cost effective to blast them with that. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Alright, well. Registered. Damn it. Perfect. And how did that, that kill you? How is this not killing you? All right, asshole. Literally. Oh, literally the only point of that droid is to be a dick. I wonder if I do that enough. It actually worked. <gasps> Save point. All right. Not a health station, but I think there might be one right above us. Oh. <sighs> one right there, but I don't think I have a reason necessarily to want to go down here, do I? Nah, I think, yeah, I think it's, I think it's just a shortcut back kind of a deal. If you want to dodge, you know, the turrets and whatnot. I never really talked, uh, I never, I really talked about it much, but the music in this game is And like the black God, this game's just really good like in general. Wait, 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 worth, 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 worth. Worth. So worth. Oh my goodness. Please, thank you. <laughs> uh, give me to think about. Yep, and it's a one way exit. Because, of course, it is. Worth it. A hundred percent worth it. Oh god, I can stop running around and stop running around like a wuss. Go back to my rampant brute force stupidity. That's right, bitch. Gonna run around like a uh, four with Thanos and just be like, bring me, bring me the Metroids. Where the fuck are they? Oh wait, did that actually... Oh, that actually works! Oh, hold on. I keep reading. Yeah, the screw attack's really freaking strong. Alright, so that was one to my left. So let's just go this way real quick. Just, uh... Juggle me. Juggle me, I dare you. 
Oh, I'm not gonna be able to give you those, so that's awesome. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I have to sit here and wait for my. So we know where one is. It might be worth honestly going back to him just in case he like gives me a power up to traverse the rest of the area. But too late, I've already made my decision in life. And they're I've already made my decision in life, and they keep giving me more ammo and health. So you know what? I must be doing the right thing. Beautiful. This is the one lab facility, the one place that they actually started studying these shitters. And I'm just sprinting through it like an asshole. Oh, I guess I could have done this. I could have done this one last because it looks like it's on the way back, but that's fine. Oh, I was gonna say if the Metroid shows up. Holy shit. Why are there so many all of a sudden? Oh, wait, oh there's a missile here. How am I just like Huh? Huh. I must get some kind of ability that, like, chews away those bikes or lets me like attach my hook shot to anything because yeah otherwise I'm not seeing how I'm supposed to do that. Hmm. Where's the oh, ah! <laughs> like <laughs> just be right over. Where the bitch is at? Oh god These are <laughs> these are more bitches than I thought there would be Stop dropping rocks directly on me. I don't know if doing that actually... <laughs> I don't know if it's actually practical to do that other than humor value, but it's funny, so I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Motherfucker! Like, no, I insist. Do the roar. Do the roar. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> Hold on. Bitch. Oh, I think that only, like, breaks off the carapace. It doesn't actually, like, hurt him. That's okay. I'll just sit here and just pump this. Bye. 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 Bullied compared to the first time. Bullied. Thank you. <sighs> That's one. <laughs> Just this little like alcove of like. I'll do that just to get a little bit of resources. I didn't suck it to me. Fine. Oh yeah, that is so the one way exit back kind of a thing. Yeah, we'll we'll head back here later. Punk, punk. <laughs> I just love 
That's something that like I simultaneously loved and hated in the uh, in, uh, Actually, this happens a good amount of times. I feel like in a lot of Metroid games because the okay So the idea of the screw attack is supposed to be that like you become the projectile, right? You you emit enough energy that you could just annihilate anything good stuff but when there are enemies that don't die from one hit a lot of the time you still take the damage from hitting them it's just you deal a lot of damage to them so it feels like it's not really worth it except for like little small guys so i really like this game that it um you hit them and then you bounce around all crazy you know like you kind of lose control maybe you'll hit another enemy that you're not quite ready for maybe you'll like hit a Maybe you'll fly off an edge or uh, strike an environmental hazard. But I like it in the sense that you feel a lot safer to actually use it as a weapon. Because it gives you kind of temporary uh, temporary invulnerability. Or really just you don't take damage from impact. So you can get away with shit like that. I really like it. I like it a lot. I think this is a... I think this is a very oops. you're welcome i think this is a very well designed game and it makes me happy i know i wasn't even looking at what i was grabbing i was more focused on now i pull and it's like oh that, that that's the that's the price nice oh yeah there's gotta be oh shit there's got to be either some way to turn myself into... Oh, shit. Nope. There's got to be some way to either turn myself smaller or... Uh, what do you call it? Turn myself smaller and fly. Launch myself as like a one-by-one one square. Or just destroy the crystals because... There's too many spots now that are... Suspiciously full of crystals. Alright, let's go. Ready for some shit, boyo? Sure. Zap! <laughs> so you ain't ready for me, motherfuckers. Wanna bet? Oh yeah, just one of those. Bink. I kind of want to see what happened if I did that. Holy shit! Oh, I thought I, I thought he was gonna do like the the counter bite or what I can actually counter. I didn't even know how well that was gonna work. I just wanted to see what happened. Can't deal with that one. Oh, I didn't do anything. Damn it! Oh, up, oh, up. There you go. No. Hold on. No. Oh, 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 oh. That oh. Right. Get this fire upwards. Get my resources back. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because now I have to sit here and I have to dodge rocks because I just tried to screw attack one and it didn't work. That is funny. I like that. Shit. Yeah, this guy's a lot tough. A lot tougher. Nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rock at him. Yeah, he's still kicking. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, like, he's doing fine. He's got more fight in it. Oh. Oh, no. Alright. Two more. Oh, 
this feels like it should be something. Oof. I love that. It destroys enemies I wasn't even aware of. God, I... Oh my, I, I just broke some, through something I wasn't even aware of. Excellent. Just as it should be. Max, it doesn't mean you should just use that thing willy-nilly. Why not? But it's funny. It's funny and they give me more ammo anyway. What's the downside? Okay, next location. Nothing there. There. I mean, there might be something to, down to the left there. Uh, yeah, there might be. All right, let's. Okay, we'll just run through this super quick. Especially because I can do this and heal on the way down for those few bars and hit a save. So why not? So we'll explore that area super quick. It's probably something, but it might... It's probably nothing, but it might be something. I couldn't effectively explore this area before on account of me dying, but now is a little different. Oh wait, I have no juice. This is gonna suck. All right. This is gonna double suck. All right. Oh no, that this is the uh, the one-way exit. Uh, oh, ow! So now I gotta get back up. Don't. Okay, so it wasn't anything, but I just want to make sure it wasn't anything. And now that we know it wasn't anything. Now we can go back to our regularly scheduled... Or, we can go back to the direction that I was playing on previously, which is starting here. And we'll check out that little area again. There we go. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, nope. Sorry, I looked away for a second. Oh, wait, it, right? Am I just dumb? Like, am I missing what exactly advantage, what exact advantage that just gave me? Sir, sir, sir. Oh, shit. So that just took us back to where we were before. Uh... Oh, shit. I was gonna say, like, something is something here. I don't know what, but something is here. Oh, 
Oh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a free save. I'll take it. Was not expected to save to be there, of all things. <laughs> Which actually works out pretty well, or unless I misread the map and I just wasted everyone's time, but that's fine. Like so. Oh. Alright, uh. Go, 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 go. I don't know why I want to be up here. Like, what does bead right here accomplish? I have no idea. I just cow. I am the light on the 3DS is a liar because I'm sitting there going like, I have so much battery, and then I look down and it's red again. And it's like son of a bitch. Uh, I wish I had a place I could plug it in that's a little more convenient, but that's fine for right now. Yeah, I lied. Just. This is taking me a little longer than I thought it would, but I'd like to formally blame the, uh... That drill boss. Holy shit. That fight was hard. It was a lot of fun. There's a lot of really cool concepts and ideas. But I'd be lying if I said that fight wasn't fucking difficult. Alright, oh. Is there anyone that I can, like, score some counters on? Nope. All right. Unless me just, like, going back through here will do it. I think I'll do it. Me try to be as. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding. Oh! Oh, that is mean. Oh, so yeah, the next place they want me to go was to hit the ceiling and jump up. Was to hit the ceiling and jump up and go through all those vines, which would have destroyed me if I do not have green shield. I'm not grinding this. Hold on a second. I have a thing right down there. Let's try this again. Alright, uh. Dunk. So, time slow is. Go! Alright. 
Oh. I was gonna like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Now I can do this. All of that was just for a super missile, son of a bitch. Yep. All of that was just for a super missile. Awesome. Watch during the final fight, I'm gonna be like thanking God for every super missile I have, but still. That does not stop it from in the moment still hurting. Alright, um, I guess the only way forward is that path I thought was nothing, right? Because, like, looking at our map, yeah, so we cleared that area. That area is the two hallways we can't access. So we go towards the save and the health, work our way back down. That'll probably be where the last Metroid is, and that'd make a neat little circle. like bouncing off people's heads like oof anyways oof sorry oof bye up without me, dearie, but thank you for telling me. Oh, yeah. Save point right there. It's like, this is gonna... Here we go. Okay. That is motivation if I ever heard it. Ever. Like that, and... Let's see where the big boy... Oh. Nowhere to be found. Don't. Uh, that energy back up. Right, that's the one way door. Jeez, that's a lot of fire turrets. Alright. I'm sorry, I can't take time to appreciate the cool ass fire or the cool ass um observatory it's got going on over there. On account of the fire turrets eating my ass. sure what the point of all that was, but all right. Shit. All right. <laughs> yeah, but I'll just super missile him up. Motherfucker. And then you'll say, Meh. Fuck you, though, and I'll be like, meh, fuck you. Like, you can't do that. That's a crime. What you just did to that man was a... Oh, shit. What I just did to that lizard man was illegal.
Wait, what? Ah, uh, again? Damn it. Alright, just for sake of keeping the ball rolling, we're just gonna... I'm not gonna restart it. We're just gonna keep going. I don't know why OBS is disconnecting so much. This is new. This is new. Alright, well... Oh wait, he actually covered his he actually covered the spot that normally I would go into. Oh. Just open fire with the super weapon. Is that enough? Yes it is. Ah, that is unfortunate. Um et oble? My VTuber has stopped working as well. Hmm. Hang on just a second. Why is my... Hold on, I'm gonna restart. Yep, I'm gonna restart the software for that. And, uh, when it reconnects, I'll tell everyone to... Just a second. Go to. There we are. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry about that. Let's. All right. You may notice the VTuber is gone. Give her a refresh. Do not worry. We will be bringing him back soon enough. And would like to say thank you all so much for watching. We have one Metroid. I can't. I, I don't have the face, so I can't. I can't be dramatic, but we have but one Metroid left. Just one. So in the meantime, might as well. Just for sake of time and speed while we're waiting for the VTuber software to come back start making our way back so I just can't so uh, as a reminder how this pro how this program is set up is that there's a USB in the back of my uh, there we go there's a USB in the back of the 3ds that hooks up to a program that then makes it so I can actually like, capture whatever's going on on screen so it's a window on my computer that I've been looking at this whole time there's me I am small. I know. Uh, why is it not? There it is. It's like, hello, I am small. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just as a reminder, that's how the that's how this is captured. So while I was waiting for this program to come back up, it was blocking like 90% of the screen. I'm sitting there like, how am I supposed to see what's going on? That's crazy. But it's like, wait a second, Max, you, you're holding the 3DS. The, originally intended device for how to play this it's like oh yeah i can i can i can still see what i'm doing oh uh, yeah yeah it's exciting you can see it right up there ish you can see it one last metroid as i move force Oh, I just realized I'm almost dead. That is what is colloquially referred to as a problem. I want me first off. I might as well get that just for sake of the sheet. Getting the shield up will, you know, give us something to play with while we're trying to get our health back up. Bitch. Be like just just save, so I'm not gonna worry about that. <gasps> Shakunka. Bing bong boom. Max, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Completely on accident. Alright, uh... There we go. 
bitch. Hallway, hall. <laughs> I can't do that one. I was, I was just thinking that as like, you know, watch that be a missile, so I have to hang off the edge and do it. I started tickly. I started tickly. Okay, he is actually hurting me every time I do that. So that guy just gets to be indestructible for. Arbitrary reasons. That's annoying. Alright. Oop. There you go. So I'm just gonna avoid you like the flag, because fact dealing with that. No. Oh. Right. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Why is the space like that? Why is it space like that? Why? There's no reason. I'm solely good. I'm convinced it was just to be a little shit. different color and I'm concerned that it's not going down immediately. Alright, noted. Yeah, so those guys I basically have to use the super beam. Awesome. through the floor. It's like, it's actually saved me, weirdly enough. Come on. Yeah. The music here is so somber. Like you're disturbing something you shouldn't be. It, I'm getting destroyed. There we go. Uh, yes. <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm realizing I am kind of like rushing a little bit, and it's because I'm going later than I thought I would, and you know. Megan's home and that's usually the cutoff point. So I need to I need to take more time, not make silly mistakes. But also I am trying to make this fast. Thank goodness this pee water. I was just saying they're like this is acid, isn't it? It's like nope, it's just bona fide pee water. Homegrown, Alabama. Uh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh, oh. That was complete. Oop. Oof. We're gonna want that.
You know I'm gonna bet just about anything. If if there is not a Ah, oh, I, I genuinely thought there was gonna be a, like another fall right there just so like just so you could be like I made it and then immediately just like dump into the water again. Max is supposed to be. I think the idea Max is supposed to be you break whatever the crystals are, or just do that, or just be really stubborn, which is probably why, let's be honest, there's two. Okay, or just be double stubborn. <laughs> Damn straight. Oh, we are dropping frames. The internet is suffering. We need to finish this off quick. Yeah, I think the idea was supposed to be you, like, work around it, but I'm a stubborn asshole, apparently. <laughs> oh. Shit! Right. Also, I love the visual of, like, the thing shooting the lasers down, but, like, this light green laser that's, like, going across everything. I think it's really cool. But I will also say... This game, like, this inv okay, it, it's kind of a trope in Metroid that, like, whatever planet you're on, it's like, there's biomes of everything, because of course there is. This game definitely has that feeling as well, just kind of like, here's the environment, why? I don't know, it's cool. Why is it, you know, why is it acid now? I don't know, it's cool. It's about all you need to know, honestly, like. How does this environment work? What are these creatures? Why are they trying to kill us? Why are they trying to... I... It's eclectic as fuck. Now that being said, it is fun and unique and interesting and really cool, but it's eclectic as fuck. There is just about no gain around that. And the music. Also, those things in the background, I can't quite tell what they are. I almost think, my first instinct is that they're like the bug equivalent of cattle, but I'm suspecting. Yeah, like this, maybe they're like eggs. What if there's like another queen? Also already full ammo. I am for all intents and purposes. Oh yeah, it's like there's the ammo thing. It's like they are, they are setting me up. <laughs> yeah, come on. They are double setting me up. I got 150 and 69 health. No, it's funny because it's oh, oh, uh, oh. It's funny because it's the sex number. Alright, uh, I missed it. Do it again. I wasn't looking. Oh, there it is. Push, pull. Yum. Oh, there we go. Brute force, let's go. Okay. Okay, good. Those are. I was gonna say those are screw attacks, right? They're not be kind of unfortunate. I would understand, but it'd be unfortunate if they were uh, drops, because that would make it a one way. The 
the ones taking away my powers are fucking me up. What was that? I'm starting to get a headache and realize that as well. That's why I'm also trying to like go, go, go. All it is is a missile. Look, we're just kind of going, all right? All right. Like, honestly, I'm just looking for the one Metroid, and they're like, here's a fun little puzzle you weren't expecting. It's like, oh, shit. I guess I have a fun little puzzle I wasn't expecting. That's it. The alarm. Wait, hold on. It's an egg. The alarm's only slightly going off. It's a mother. Son of a bitch, it's a mother. Uh. Oh. Where is it? Let's go. No, 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 Ah, God. How terrible is it that I'm gonna die to a fucking normal Metroid? There. Wait, 10? <laughs> it's like, uh, it just said on my scanner 10. Yeah, a no how a normal Metroid fights almost just killed me. Not the giant boss Metroids that are evolving and doing shit, no. A normal Metroid, and a god, what an awesome amount of like, little bit of storytelling. That you have to figure out how to kill one of these bastards, and then you look at your scanner and they're like, uh, just so you're aware, there's ten more. It's like, what?! <laughs> So you know like they've evolved enough but they still give you like an area to fight one like oh, I love it this game really is super good because now essentially like because of oh because of that egg and everything the race is on because now we know something's making more of them the, pro the problem has officially become self-propagating uh, One, one, one. Oh, wrong one. Okay, super missiles will do it in one, but... Got to move fast, too. Yep, if I can time it like that, it'll be quick. Oh, okay, I was gonna say thank you guys <laughs> Now that we know I have to actually kill him I said 
super. Let's go. I was gonna say, like, damn it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> oh, okay, that got a little. <laughs> I know if I did a charge shot, I would have kept them frozen for longer, but there was two of them. Um, oh. I feel like. It would oh! I was gonna say, like, I feel like it would behoove me to get that, but. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's you lip. Oh, yeah, that window is super small. Oh no! I were back to one, baby. I think gun. I have a feeling gun's gonna be really helpful here. Okay. Yeah, we killed all of them. We heard a roar. Perfect. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, did you. you holy shit badass let's go okay okay I fire stain for a hot minute uh okay oh okay good good I don't know. If, I don't know if shooting missiles inside of its mouth will work. So let's. Oh. No. 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 Whoa. Come on. Come on. Come on. Waiting for the fire to go out. 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 Okay. Get missiles inside the mouth. All right. Got it. Switch back to frozen. All right. Shit, and look how big its stomach is. That's all the base Metroid. Because essentially all of their evolutions are just like the... It starts off as those four little spikes. And it grows into all this shit. Like, it's so cool. What a great set of designs. Oh. Okay, good shit. Oh. Oh, that was the counter. Oh. oh, that doesn't. Um, that's awful. That's awful. That's awful. Okay. Like, I'm just gonna hang out out here. Oh, <laughs> cedar. So they're like, I'm just gonna hang out out here. I, I, oh. So I think it's fine. Oh, rude. Oh, that's mean. Funny but mean. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta figure out where I can drop pretty much. Damn. I had to figure out where I can drop down because, ah, uh, th that's something else I really love about the designs of these monsters. So many of them, their attacks are designed in such a way that, like, you're encouraged to use your tools to dodge, but they're aware of what tools you have and will try to counter it. So it becomes like, so it becomes this game of like back and forth. And I love that. All right, let's go. All right. open. Oh, I don't have any armors. I don't have any zoom missiles. Shit. 
I guess I can just like hang out right here, can I? Ow. Oh, I thought that was one I could counter. I just took a shit ton of damage for it. Oh, God, fucking up. What? Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, I bet I could use the time slow to get around that. Come on, I need more health. I'm almost dead already. <laughs> I'm so help. Bullshit. Ah, uh, damn it, it doesn't. I bet. Ah, uh, I bet the solution there is just to like, just to run and shoot at his face as hard and fast as you can. And I gotta be ready for that counter attack because I'm sure it will do a just ridiculous amount of damage. I'm annoyed that I'm not going into this fight. I won't watch this animation. I'm annoyed that I'm not going into this fight with uh, full super missiles, but or full health, but it'll be fine. Yep. <laughs> then I'm just gonna hang out right here until the fire goes out. Angle right, there you go, fair. Oh. Bink! Alright. Oh! Come on. Ah, oh, shit! Can't believe I fucked that up. God, I love that. I love that. It's so good. And then he's just like, fuck you. To try to like get you to land on it. It's so funny. As good. Did I actually do it or no? I think I still took the damage. Yeah, what was the solution to that? No clue. Alright, that's a safe spot right there. So if I fall, I should be fine. Damn, I guess not. I was gonna say, I think he's just doing a flump. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I was gonna say, like, I wonder if it. I wonder if I could actually get away with the strategy of just letting myself take those two hits. But like, or the, letting myself take that fire hit. But that was like two bars. Think. Oh, no, no. Yeah. <gasps> I know what I must do. I know what I must do. Yep, drop that shit. Yeah, that's why they give you the energy. Problem is... Shit, shit. I am almost out of normal missiles. Okay, uh, safe space, safe spot right there. I think. Nope, not anymore. Not anymore. Oh! I thought he was I thought he was gonna do the head drop. That's why I was sitting there like, alright, yo, maybe I can like angle it just right. No, no. Fuck. Alright, 
go up to speed. Here, I don't want it to clack off your teeth. Shit. It still hit me. Oh, and it's still counted for full damage, too. Oh, shh, I forgot. Damn it. I mean, he didn't hit me, so. And I wonder if it's a hard requirement that I do that, or if it's just like. Nope. Ah, oh, no matter what. Oh, wait, I bet I can do that. That just occurred to me. I, I can probably still uh, spider climb on the ground so I can, like, lock myself into place. Alright, there's a spot. Oh, yeah, so I could, yeah, I could drop ahead of time. Thanks. Alright. Oh, my goodness. Please stop bouncing off. Yeah, yeah, that that's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to spider. You're supposed to spider so you can... I think he's going to start biting, right? Or she's going to start biting. Oh, come on. Max, you're wasting rockets. Look, it's a force of habit. Yep, just nice and easy. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, wait. Oh my goodness, I did it again. I completely forgot again. Really hoping it's not a hard requirement for me to do that, but if the last boss was any indicator, it totally was. Run away! Uh, where do I go? Just... Where was I supposed to go during that? I know the logic here is that, yo, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's trying to kill you. But still. Okay, I'm out of rockets, so I just gotta... Okay, go, 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 go. The moment the fire goes away. There. And then that way I can still get ice shots on him. Fuck. Kind of deserve it for fucking up two counters, but... <clears throat> Sorry, I keep unplugging the 3DS. Oh, damn it. I'm running an hour over. Go, 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 fast, fast, Shit. The go, 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 fast, 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 immediately just eats it. Oh. I need to be more okay with just firing off the ice shots, like, when I don't think I'm going to make it. But the problem is, I try to fire them preemptively so that they, like, go in his mouth as he opens it. You know what I mean? Shit. Turn on the shield. Roll in. I love that the shield hurts you, but I also hate it. That's why they give you the shield. Turn the shield off. Tell the giant lizard to go fuck itself. Yeah, and I can, I can get away with getting like a bunch of shots in as it's roaring, which is nice. Come on. 
I gotta wait for that ball to go down. Alright, uh, fire goes out. There you go. Just yeah, hold ground as you roll. Oh, the, the missiles don't work because that's clever. It is actually clever. I'm annoyed, but it's clever. Okay, a little. I was saying a little acid ball. If you could just, if you could just go away. If you could just go away. There you go. Come on. There you go. Oh, oh. Did it, did it. Oh, ice, ice, ice. No, 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 no. Damn it! Still, I still got hit. Remember, if he, I was, was going to say, if you just go straight for the top. Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. You have to stay up a little bit or else he'll, or else he'll land on his head. That's fine. That's fine. That was pretty easy to dodge. Pretty easy to see coming. It gives you lots of time. Now the music's going nuts too. I love it. Alright, it's going up the wall. Find an opening. Find an opening. You have to get so precise. Come on, go down, go down, you bitch. Nope, nope. Stay up, stay up. Alright. Come on. Yes. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the counter. Bing. Switch. Come on. Oh my. I was gonna say, if I miss again. Turn that shit on. I got a present for you. <laughs> awesome. What a great fight. I will say the the drill robot fight is much harder but what an awesome fight oh, i love that that felt good and god the trope of like or not the trope but like this happens in a few metro games where you like go into it to fire off the power bomb every time so good stop on the egg wait Yep, so you know the whole thing with Other M and uh, all the different games that reference the Metroid that, like, imprints on you. I love that you can see inside of it. That's such a, that's such an amazing visual. Because, like, yeah, your gun is, like, just going fucking ballistic. And he's still just like, Mom! Yeah, so you just got this Metroid that follows you around now. This is the final power-up. You got a little buddy. Question is, so what does he do? Yep. That's all he does. Oh, shit. And as you can see, you, you can not shoot him on accident. Cause that's, I remember when I played the first time, like, that's what I was afraid of, that, like, what if I hurt the little guy? But, um, nope. You just got, you just got this little guy that follows you around now. Now, I'll be honest, I don't remember what's, I don't remember what's left. Cause, yeah, the, uh, you know, the plot of Super Metroid, right? That, like, you know, it, it takes place after two, and they're like, alright, you did it, you... They did it, you ran off and killed the Metroids. Good on ya, way to go, Samus. And then, um, 
they're like, oh, you, there's still one left that's following you around. And she's like, yeah, it imprinted on me. It thinks I'm its mother. Because that was the first thing it saw when it hatched. And it's like, oh, well, can we study it? I mean, it's docile, right? It's like, yeah, it's docile. Sure, you can study it. And that's what causes the space pirates to find, uh, to find the Metroid, destroy, or uh, breed more. I think they clone it, technically. But um, that's they find to breed more and cause the Super Metroid to happen, but... Um... Oh. And, like, you'd hear the music's, like, kind of, like... Upbeat. Part of me wishes... Okay, so on the scanner on the bottom, it says zero Metroids. I kind of wish it said one. That's, like, there's one on the scanner, but we're aware of it. And I, I get the reason the idea is supposed to be that, like... Yo, Met it's not Metroids so much as it's Metroids to kill. And since we're not actively trying to kill this one, you know, like it's therefore it's fine. But um, yeah, we just got this little we just got this little guy with us, and he's the one who um, I forget if he has like an official name, but yeah, he's the one who sacrifices himself in uh. And, uh, at the end of the fight, uh, let's do a Metroid against the brain. This giant, oh, this giant Metroid is like, I'll save you, and, like, tries to... Yeah, I got a prediction. Mama, you move so fast! Mama, that was cool. <laughs> That's what I imagine he sounds like. It's like, Mama! Wow! I'm not really sure where they're leading me now, though. Because I feel like there wasn't any necessarily... There wasn't really a villain. Uh, well, okay, there was a lab. I forget what how they said the Metroids got here initially, or if it was just, like, another infestation, but... I can just leave. So this would be... Yeah, you can see how the map it gets us to the top. This would be the part of the game as well that, like... I love that. That's so cute. To see the little guy like, <laughs> but um, this would be the part of the game as well that if you wanted to go back and uh, collect everything, you could because we do have all the power ups now. We're not going to, but we could. Oh. Bink. I don't know why bink is the sound effect I use in Metroid. Yeah, but it is. I kind of wonder, though, like, if there are some puzzles that require you to have those things, like, active the little crystals. But, um, considering that, you know, between the spider climb, turn into a ball, or turn into a ball, the spider climb, the space jump, the screw, screw attack. Not really. So I'm not really sure what, they're, you know, those spots that are, like, oh, those spots that are, like, the, uh, it's like a row of spikes, a row of nothing, and then another row of spikes. I'm not entirely sure what the answer is there. Because, I mean, we just got near some spikes right there, and the little tyke didn't do anything about it. That'll be some. Awesome. Why? Why right there? I can't roll up there. Well, let's see if I can be cool and... Yep. That was literally the answer. That... Like, I love that that is a mechanic that they want you to learn in this game. That, like... The ability to, um... Turn into a crystal... Or turn into... Not crystal. Turn into a ball midair. My brain's shutting down. Can you tell? Really though, like, just to kind of give my thoughts on this game while we're, while we're nearing its final moment. That's the situation, yeah. That's like it's a downside, but the little guy's got to eat. Um, just to kind of give my thoughts on this game as we're going, so that way we don't spend so long at the credit screen. I, God, I really do love this game. Like, if you're like, what's your favorite 2D, uh, 2D uh, Metroid game? 
I know Super Metroid is like the stereotypical answer, but I, I posited that like I really I really like fusion and I really like um Zero Mission. I think Zero Mission is like the perfect first Metroid game. And Fusion has a lot of really fun ideas and concepts. It's kind of horror in a lot of ways, which is awesome. Uh, they all, I mean, basically all the games are horror in a way, but you just can like really tell in, uh, especially with fighting the SAX. Like it very much feels like a horror game and I love that. What's with this wide ass open area? Why is there this wide ass open area? We're almost done, dearie. Promise. No, that's not it. But, um... Yeah, it has a more horror theme, and it's unique because of how it, uh... Because of the SAX, and, like, the X-Parasites in general. That was an spe oddly specific challenge. Wasn't what I thought was, but um, why can I go all the way up here? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore them because I can. I, I, I. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's my ship. Let's go home, little guy. And the little guy's like, "Yep, I know that." Oh shit! Ridley is in this game. I did not think Ridley would be in this game. You grab my, this my son? You son of, at least I don't have to use ice. I can just fucking kill you. It's like, it's not Metroid, it can't. Oh shit, that whip. Yeah, it's not Metroid if you can't fight Ridley. I'm having a hard time you moving around a lot. Fun. Yeah. I will say this fight feels almost token, but I don't know the original, so I don't know if it was like there as well. Tyler, I halfway I halfway need to I wonder if I use ice if I can like freeze in place enough to use missiles. Yep. Oh my goodness, it's still hit. It's still hit. having a hard time actually landing blows on him. He seems to only have like three moves though. Like that's that was move two, the tail is move one, and then the stomp, right? There you go. Man, I'm so fast. Come on. Yeah. It's like that fuck! Yeah! Oh, that's so cool! Yeah! Go, little guy, go! Yeah, my boy! Oh, oh. I'd, I'd plant, I was gonna say plant a few rounds. At least now I don't have to worry about the baby. Oh, there he is! Oh my goodness, I just realized how beat the shit I am. At least he has like a constant weak spot. Shit. Yeah. I also say compared to his other Ah damn it. Compared to his other designs, not the biggest fan of this one. But that's just because like he's not fully flesh, he's kinda like in between or fully flesh or fully metal, he's kinda like in between, so it looks kinda wrong. Right, go for speed. We need, to, we need to end this. Yeah, I almost... It's weird. I feel like I need to... Hang on. Damn. Yeah, I think now's the time to use this. Because the thing is, he moves around so much. He moves around so much, I need the 
Yeah, I was gonna say I need the tri beam just so I can accurately hit him. Now's the time for me to use missiles. Or at least it's a better time because his hitbox is still frustrating. All right. That's it. You're gonna you're gonna give me energy, and I already have I have full energy right now. So fuck it. Wait, is the little Metroid actually? The little Metroid is actually moving depending on where I am on the map. Oh, that's adorable. I didn't realize it shot played out. Or er, yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, he's got he's got drag now. Awesome. Like I have had a long ass day, Ridley. I want to go home. I, I don't like that. It's we that I weirdly enough shouldn't use rockets. I'm not used to accuracy being a problem. The tail still got me. Bullshit. But at least we blew through the first stage. So like, now we know the trick. It's just it's literally just power. It just just, just overwhelm. Just don't don't bother with rockets. Just. Just take your gun, turn it on. Yeah, tail kick me again. Yeah, that, yeah. When uh, when he does the stomp, I have to not jump, or else the tail will catch me. See, the tail stays up in the air a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't as accurate as before, but it's still pretty accurate. Just a little, just a little spurt, just a little, just, just a quick little, just to remind you that I'm still here, motherfucker. I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Such a super. You're like you're not flying, I'm flying. You, you, you can't do that. That's illegal. Come on. Come on. They're super right in the kisser. He's in the air, so it's not worth it. I have no idea how you're supposed to dodge that. Oh, shit. He's going to drag. Damn it. Oh. Oh, mother. Come on. I am a struggle of technological competency today. I just want to be done. I just want to be done. Yeah, how? There might be like a sweet spot there that I'm missing that we can like hide in. But I'm not sure. <gasps> All right, come on. Beautiful, beautiful. Shit! The baby! <gasps> yeah! Holy shit, I can't get over how strong. Oh. I can't get over how strong Metroids are. Like, how much it just drained him to the point where, like, it looked like it was gonna kill him. Run, run, run. Switch that off. Shit. Little guy, if you could... Little guy, if you could rough him up a little bit more, you're tall... Uh, you're bigger than I thought you were previously. Yep. Okay. Yep. Keep nailing with those supers. Yeah! Yeah! Beautiful! Oh shit! It all went away. He got it. I'm like, I'm so proud of you, little guy. Immediately gone. Is this bitch immune to rockets now? Or what? Oh my gosh! I think he's just immune to rockets now. Why does he get to be immune? He's, his ass is just immune to rockets now. 
Why is his ass just immune to rocket sounds? Bullshit. I'm just gonna go up. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> Nope, nope. I also, I do appreciate that about this map, that, like, it is a legitimate option. Oh, fuck. It is a legitimate option just to move up. You know what I mean? Just to move up. Oh, wait, come on, come on. We can do this. Okay. Yep. Oh, shit. Not that. Right. Nope. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you can occasionally fire off missiles, but for the most part, there's virtually no point. Got it. Okay. Okay, that's that's stage one. Follow up. And I land on top of Oh, good snipe. That was good. That was good. Oh, oops, not not there. That's the drag. Alright. Nope. Alright. I should call that the drag. Or er, nah. It's called slam. Yeah, upside, there is some time there to get some more shots in. Okay, he's pretty red, so... Oh, ooh, that was close. Nope, one. Just one. One, two. Got him again, okay. That feels like two for. Nope. Nope. Oh. Yep. Right. Nope. <laughs> God, I love realizing that grab is the grab he uses in a uh, Smash Bros. Right. Nope. Nope. Come on. Oh, it's, nope. Just, just go over, just go over, just go over. Wait. Jose, is that it? <gasps> he actually healed me. Oh my goodness, he does healing and then Aeon. Nice. I really hope it's not a matter of like you have to hit him with the Aeon Blast and not and not the uh, normal health. Because like if you have to maintain full health and fuck this guy up, that would be miserable. Okay, he's gonna do the rush. Nope. Okay. Ow, damn. I walked right into that. Nope. Okay. Nope, that two. Nope. Okay, just, just leave. Just leave. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think he's just fully immune to missiles now. Which I get, I get the idea. The idea is supposed to be it's just like you just going ham with all that you got. But I'm a little annoyed by that, personally. Right. Over it. He's turning red. He's turning red. I say push him back a little bit. God, he is locked on during that. He is keeping pace. <gasps> yep. Lovely that you turn that beautiful shade of red just so we can shit. just so we can take it away from you. <gasps> 
Mon! Drain him! Drain him now! Drain him! No, 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 I don't care if his lights flicker just like a computer. Just say, if I can drain him, just run over there. Suck the brains out of his Put myself in his mouth and fire super bombs. It's like, no, 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 no. <sighs> I swear you were bigger earlier, little guy. Yeah, dead good. Oh, I think we did it. Uh, we went later than I thought we would. Because some of those fights are rough. I got thick ass arm. Like, look at the armor on that. Hi, little guy. Here's some double A's. You keep yourself. You get some snacks. Get some fruit snacks. Oh, so freaking cute. Ah, what a good time. Ah, I love this game. This game is so good. I love that, like, there's so many thoughtful, like, design choices. I love how open it is. I love how they're, like, how, how they're just, like, you're in an area. Here you go. Figure it out. Here's your target. If you bring them back. That's actually a detail I didn't really talk about. If you try to bring back the DNA early, it gives you a hint on where the next one is. Like, the countering. Some enemies, I feel like, have a little bit of an over-reliance on countering. But it still feels super good. Um, the missile system feels great. There's no speed boost, which honestly I think is for the better because like the time slow works really well there. The Aeon system is great. There, I really can't think of anything in this game that I'm like, that I have like a real complaint about. You know what I mean? Like um, some enemies being arbitrarily immune to missiles like Ridley just was there. Yeah, but that's super far between. The window on especially the drill robot is so tight, but that's what makes it so cool. Um, nah, this game's just really good. I love how like the save stations don't heal and refill you, so you still have to find it in the environment. I love the designs of the Metroids. The animations are so cool, like that like you get thrown up in there and you like move your chest like as you like flip over. It's very anime. It's very it's like superhero. Flipping them over. I still think it's weird, personally, that to teleport, you kinda like go limp a little bit like your Dark Samus. I don't know if that's supposed to be just foreshadowing or a reference or just kinda like whatever position, but God this game is so Yeah, what an incredible fight. Hard as balls, but what a good fight. Like, I just love how this game regularly encourages you to use all your tools. Um, and the simplicity of, like, how you switch between stuff and it doesn't take, like, an egregious amount of time. This game's just amazing. It's just extremely, extremely good. Probably, like, I have very high expectations for Dread because of how everyone was hyped it up and how long it like i forget exactly when this game came out but dread was like a long time coming so i lost my, I lost my train of thought basically to say that like this is the game that i'm gonna be holding dread up to in terms of standards like because this game is really clever. Now, I don't think it has the speed running aspect of sequence breaking and whatever. But I think that's fine because each area is self-contained. Like, I honestly really like that. You don't have to go back to any area. There is no backtracking at all. Like, you don't have to. You can if you want. If you want to find more health or more power-ups or whatever. But it is by no means a hard and fast requirement to go back back and i think that's so great because it makes you feel like this is my zone this is where i am like the, the the ways to solve the problem are here somewhere but here and how the game doesn't really like the game gives you each item forces you to use it once so that way you get used to like oh the red or the blue is how you grapple oh the the red shield is for the missile the green shield is for the missile so you get like a good grip on how the weapon works and then it's just kind of like, figure that shit out. Like when I had to pull on the drill, drill robot's eyeball, I forgot that it's like, yeah, red, red, just pull. This game just kicks ass. It's just very well done. And I can't gush about it enough. 
I would gush longer. Oh, did I get the bad score? Because I'm not... Samus isn't... Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's probably because of, like, the... Uh, I didn't get enough items. Or I probably could have done it faster. She's like, eh. Main theme is so good. See you next mission. Yeah, she's like, you kind of did shady, let's be honest. Kind of, you know. <laughs> oh. Sites. The X parasites, which are objectively horrifying, they are so fucking scary. I love them, especially because it's like the Metroids are the one thing that can eat them. Oh, hard mode has been unlocked. You can select it. That wasn't hard mode. I forgot. Uh, you can now use Metroid-related amiibo to unlock new content in the gap. Oh, that's when you can do it. I forgot about that. I probably talked about that last episode. Ah, uh, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this game. I think it's super good. I, gal. Play, okay, I played Other M and played Super Metroid. I thought Super Metroid was good, but I got lost a lot. And then I played this game. And I was like, this game's fucking amazing. Now playing all the other Metroid games, it really makes me appreciate how good this one is. But... We need to end the episode off here with a quickness because my wife's going to kill me. Um, yeah, we need to end the episode off here. Uh, next time we stream will be on Tuesday. We're going to be continuing with Baldur's Gate 3 with Spooky and Act 3 goodiness. I think we're going to be taking on a... That's right, we're on the portal to hell, which I'm really excited about. And then um, we will start Metroid Dread on Friday. Next Friday. Now switch! We'll be on Twitter and Discord because I suck at social media. The vibes will put you to relatively quickly. And let's end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have fun. I know I did. Sorry that my brain shot for this went so long. But I'll see you guys then. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bloop.